damn it, it's the same old thing. Holy Geritol, Gertie. I am so sick of friggin' bingo. I wish there were some other games for senior citizens. Me too, Ernie. <laughs> Why can't old people have some fun and exciting games to play? Hold on, folks. Now there is a new game designed just for elderly people. Friggin' All Toys brings you a new spin on a classic game. It's Senior Citizens Twister. <laughs> yeah, with Senior Citizens Twister, you and your friends will enjoy hours of fun as you spin and then find out which body part you put on the brightly colored circle. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see. Okay, I gotta keep my left foot on blue and put my dentures on red. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay, your turn, Gertie. Give her a spin. Oh. oh my, that's impossible. I have to put one leg of my walker on orange and one on green. You can do it. Come on. <laughs> I can do this if I stretch just a little further. Uh, Whoops. Oh, dear. I just pulled the hose out of my oxygen. Senior <laughs> <laughs> Shannon Twister, you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll writhe in pain. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> well, this says here, my left foot on the green. And my right foot on blue, and oh boy, I, I tried. I don't know if I can get my legs that far apart. Oh, oh damn it! Oh, I broke a hip. <laughs> it's Senior Citizens Twister. Look, I did it! I win. That's no fair. You have a plastic knee joint. <laughs> Panties, you pathetic loser. <laughs> senior Citizen Twister. Look for it wherever fun senior citizen party games are sold. Hey, is my leg supposed to bend like this? Oh, my God. The bone is sticking out. Oh, no. He sh himself. <laughs> because he busted his leg, he always Senior Citizen Twister, get yours today. Eh? What'd you say? Uh, I said get yours today. What? Get Doris Day? Yeah, yeah, that's right. Doris Day. That's exactly what I meant. Doris Day. You got it. This one's just for us. I think that's how Marty sounds now. We finally got to that age. <laughs> I tell you what. Hey, you suck the bitches. Hey, uh, uh, Christy, uh, 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 have you seen my state fair spoon? <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the Bob and Tom Show. There's so many uh, so many things going on so I, far, I can't tell you. We got one ball mail. What? A lot of oh, one, one ball. A lot one, of testicle mail. Testicle one nut, mail. One nut like... Nick, one, uh, one, one ball man. What was the other good one? Uh, single jingle somebody. Yeah, there single you go. Jingle, yeah. single jingle Joe. And then of course Toby won Cajone. <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Yeah, how do you beat that? Yeah, I think we're all changed after hearing that. Yeah. Hi, there's Christy at the news Hi. desk. There's Pat Godwin uh, guzzling some sort of oh, liquid. Oh, brought her from home. <laughs> Hello, baby. Ah. There, <laughs> don't, don't touch that. It's half a run. Oh, that's okay. mine. Oh. Irish oh. that up. Uh, there's uh, Josh Arnold. Bit of a creature in the morning. He's at the <laughs> I hate Stephen Singer sidekick chair. I'm Chick McGee at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. That's Ace Cosby. Hey. And here's Tom. The people always go, you guys drink in the morning? Yeah. Every morning. Yeah. Every, every morning. Yeah, now, right. I'm not saying... It's afternoon when I start drinking, but it's afternoon for me. Sure. Yeah, you know yeah. that time zones are complicated. Well, when you get up really early, 5 o'clock comes really early. Yeah, 5 o'clock's like yeah, 11. Like <laughs> yeah. Oh, you mean 5 in the afternoon comes, yeah. I, I see. Right. Yeah. Happy right. Hour. Sure. Happy hour for us is a lot earlier. It's than a math happy. problem. Yeah, but I, we, uh, for some reason, and I don't know why, we were talking about um, testicles yesterday. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, I, I I think it was. How did we get on that topic? I, I never can remember. It was either the dog nudicles, which are the yeah. faux testicles mm -hmm. that you can put in your dog if you want. I did not opt to do that. Um, if you're having your dog neutered, which you should, unless you're a, a proper breeder. Um, but uh, we got talking about uh, human beings of the male 
side of things. Well, yeah. And uh, for various reasons, sometimes a testicle or two has to be removed. Sure. And um, that led to a discussion of nicknames. Mm -hmm. But uh, it turns out that sometimes uh, someone that has just one testicle will have a nickname related to that uh, particular yeah. uh, aspect of their life. And hence we had, what was it, uh, Juan Cajone? What was it again now? Toby Juan, Co Toby Juan Cajone. Oh, look, at that's so good. Um, I, I have this uh, nice letter here from um, uh, Lonnie. <laughs> um, and the serious part of this is he's a survivor of testicle, uh, testicular cancer. Mm -hmm. It's a uh -huh. thing. It's out there. Be sure. careful. Uh, check yourself. If you don't know how, go on the Internet and look it up or talk to a medical professional. He goes, um, uh, the, I, he, I, I'll read this verbatim. Uh, I lost lefty. Back in 2008. Oh. I was never offered a prosthetic. Mm. I never asked. By the way, the one that I still have did not increase in size. I've never heard of that happening. It did not center itself either. It stays to the right. Okay. We, were, we were told that happens. Yeah. But it, it compensates for the loss. In of my the opinion, I think everyone should cut one off. There's more room and it's less binding. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Lonnie. I am not sure... That's a I don't think. Can you walk in and go? I'd like to have one less. I don't right. think. Possibly. Um, I, I don't think. think I think. I bet. Doc, you can you get rid of one of these, please? I don't think you. I, I don't think can. an ethical physician would do that. I wouldn't think I so. Bet, but that he would. Uh, no. Well, I mean, if you you can't just say. Well, I. I, I None I, of my pants fit, Doc. Look how big it is. Or yeah, oh, I did. Yeah. I did read about someone who had two fingers removed. Because they had some kind of psychological issue with having ten fingers, it was just you know there are people that have mental issues. Uh, I mean, that's well, yes. insane. Um, but uh, <laughs> I, I didn't mean to start this conversation. Well, you remember the guy that uh, was arrested in Fort Wayne, Indiana? He yeah, he was volu castrated. Volunteered people. to be castrated on a dining room table. I mean, yeah, that, 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 I thought it was in his garage. Was it in the, I th in the a, dining room? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The kitchen table. Crime. I think it was the kitchen yeah. table. I don't think he could afford a dining room. Yeah, that's probably. Oh. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. You want to do in the privacy of your own home? <laughs> no. <laughs> you really? <laughs> Medical procedure? Hey, if the guy's doing the procedures up for it and you want it up for us, uh, who, who's it hurting? Now, didn't we have a, a guy that had uh, was born with three testicles? Didn't we get, uh, yeah. wasn't it, like, three some, ball? Some guy said that, yes. Three ball Lonnie or whatever it was. Um, so uh, we also are exploring great nicknames, uh, particularly ones that are given to someone uh, by other people. Off, often in high school, and yes, uh, we all know people that have had a that go by a nickname and have gone by a nickname forever. Mm -hmm. And didn't you say you know someone you didn't even know their real name until recently? Turtle. I don't still know his real name. Turtle. Yeah, called him Turtle all through high school, and I saw him like two years ago. I didn't say anything because I. <laughs> walk up to the guy and go, Yo, Turtle! Hey, Turtle, how's it going? That's great, though. If I, well, my, my this guy's since passed away, but a guy I went to high school with, uh, his name was uh, Cubby. Called him Cubby forever. Forever. And he was an amazing athlete. Played uh, varsity football when he was a freshman. Cubby Wilson. Oh, man. His, his real name was Alfred. Oh. So you could see. He, he did look like a little Cubby. I can't really read this one all, all completely. Um, the second word is the S word, okay. plural. We call my brother Tickle mm -hmm. <laughs> because okay. when he was a kid, he would s his pants every time we tickled. Oh, God. <laughs> That's cruel. There you, go. That's, you know, let me cruel. tell you. Let, let well, me say something right. We haven't now. spoken to him in twenty years. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't come to stuff. I normally don't abide <laughs> to you going low rant and talking about people crapping their pants, but in this case, I will make an exception. <laughs> this poor guy probably now God. runs a large, yeah. successful bank. I hope. So, I hope he doesn't share it with any of his brothers. I have um, one from Cowboy. My brother-in-law has one testicle. We call him Church Bell. <laughs> oh, here we go. Our classmate Bob had three testicles. He was always known as Tripod Bob. Thank okay. you, Lisa. Three. Here huh. we go. Uh, Seems like too many. Pat, you'll like this one. Okay. Because you were an athlete in high school. I was indeed. And you were in, on the track team? Yeah, football track. Uh, and, uh, and the track team? Yep, track. You did what? It was Pole vault, uh, the relays. Uh, this is from Robert. Uh, a buddy of mine in high school was pole vaulting. The pole vault, uh, the pole snapped in the middle, caught him in the nuts. Lost one. Ooh. Oh. Uh, has three uh, three daughters. Well, mm. yeah. But he's still half nuts. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah, we certainly appreciate you taking the time and trouble to write us. Um, 
Well, I, I can continue this all day, but I won't. If you have any good uh, nicknames, by all means, let, let us know. And uh, if you are interested in uh, checking your, uh, the, the health of your testicles, by all means, talk to a medical professional. Definitely. There are some very helpful videos uh, out there as well. Coming up in today's show, we're going to have a visit with uh, Ms. Allie Breen, uh -huh. known for her segment here called Sexy Time, and also known for her new uh, enterprise, she is on the OnlyFans. Uh, oh, is that out and about, huh? Uh, apparently, it's going crazy. Good for her. I, from what I understand. We'll get a full report. Are you getting your cut there, Josh? Yeah, you're like a, a de facto <laughs> uh, manager, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to speak to Allie today. I'm <laughs> oh. still waiting for an envelope to exchange hands. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, I'll let her know. I'll get to send a message. Uh, we'll find out. Um, I had an incident walking into the uh, parking lot, and I don't know when uh, walking in from the, from the parking lot. I, I I don't know how to mention this. What do you mean? Because I know it uh, it hits Tom kind of where he lives. But uh, I was walking along, minding my own business, and I looked down on the ground, hmm. and I see this. Oh, a large feather. Oh. What do you think that is? It's a big feather. feather. It looks like an eagle feather. Doesn't it? An eagle feather. Yeah. That there's a even goose uh, there's some kind of there's some kind of yeah, some kind of Canadian Blood history. there on the end or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Huge bald eagle that's right out here in the. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. 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 That's a big eagle's nest right near. You can have yeah. this feather, Tom. That's what do you think? Feather in my cat. Okay. Enjoy your goose feather. Yeah. <laughs> goose. Is that well, is... All of a sudden, you guys are avian experts. Is that right? Not a, not on the on all avians. Just you know just goose, goose feathers. Feather. Did you see something? <laughs> I was hoping you saw the mutant crawfish out there. Ah, uh, here we Again? go. I saw that last. I saw it. I saw it too. We saw the mutant crawfish. Yep, it was out there. It was a. A langostino lobster. <laughs> I, I, I saw it too. Yes. You're both out of no, your mind. I saw, Gigantic. I, I saw it. Why don't you? Did you take yeah. a picture? As Tom would say, do you I was in my car. I saw it from my car. What? And you did? Yes. Yeah. You did. It was the size yeah, of a and sandal. And you didn't stop the car and get, and take, get out I, and take a picture. I almost did. Well, why it, didn't you? Because it raised its pincers. <laughs> if it really <laughs> happened, you should have taken a picture. Uh, we'll move on here. We you have too. A, I, you probably don't have a phone that can take a picture, Ace. I know, but still, uh, you should. Coming up, we have um, Oktoberfest news, uh, gravy in the news. NBA playoffs last night, Caitlin Clark uh, and uh, TV ratings keep rolling right along. She's doing fine. Thank you very much. And uh, farmers, uh, we have some news for you uh, that involves Axe body spray. You may want to stock up. I saw that story. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> wait till you, yeah, wait till you hear this. Well, speaking of scents, you can thank me now. Thanks, Tom. Uh, there had been some uh, odor issues in the building. So yesterday I was... You uh, farting in the hallway, you crop no, duster. No, I, <laughs> what odor issues? I missed that. Well, there was you big crop a couple, duster couple you? days ago. I was, oh. I was, that's not me. The point is I purchased um, uh, some Febreze. Oh, God. Here we go. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> that's a good idea. I've got, there's a spray bottle now in both the main bathrooms in this wing of the building. So. Oh, great. All right. Now you can... It's, I, I got the nice scent. It's, uh, it's a, 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 a linen... Linen. That is nice. So, yeah, now it sounds like someone had explosive diarrhea in their bed oh. as you exit the building. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, you can thank me now. Well, th you're, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, we need, come on, we needed it. There, there were, every, every, every once in a while you walk in there and go, oh, my God. Yeah. Did someone burn a tire? Uh, okay. So <laughs> Only when you're out in the hallway. Okay. Crop dusting. Yes, I'm not crop dusting. <laughs> uh, also, um, we'll find out about uh, the average American and their understanding of their personal finances. It's mm. uh, somewhat disappointing. Uh, you'll find. Right now, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is all about uh, gaining access to therapy in a much more elegant and simple way. And uh, y y your brain's a complicated thing. And uh, helping it uh, move forward is always a good thing. Getting yourself recharged is a good thing. Therapy can help you learn about the lots of things like setting healthy boundaries and uh, improving your social skills, et cetera, et cetera. Become a better version of you. And BetterHelp can do that because uh, it's all about, as I said, accessing therapy. Find your social sweet spot with BetterHelp. What you do is you'll uh, fill out um, online, you'll fill out a um, questionnaire, and that'll uh, get you uh, placed with a licensed therapist. Um, 35,000 plus therapists are participating in this program. You can switch anytime, by the way, no additional fee. So here's how it works. Um, you'll visit betterhelp.com slash BT show. That'll knock 10% off your first month, by the way. If you do the uh, slash BT show part, betterhelp.com slash BT show, you'll be hooked up with, as I said, a licensed therapist. And the therapy itself is done online, so it's a lot more convenient. You don't have to get in your car and drive across town to some office. You can do it in the privacy of wherever you want to be. 
Also, of course, when you do it is a lot more flexible because you're doing it online. So visit BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. That's BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, BetterHelp.com slash BT Show. Tell them the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Now, uh, coming up, we have... Um, uh, robbery in the news, of course. Always, always crime news. Uh, if you look out your window and see an elephant, well, it recently happened. And uh, can you imagine that? No. Just sitting, just sitting there in your regular town, USA. You look outside. What's two thousand pounds and lives in the circus? That's irrelevant. That's uh, exactly right. Yeah, yeah. That we'll find out about that. <laughs> and uh, giant pumpkins in the news, even though it's not Halloween. Oh, and coming up, an airline just for dogs. Whew. Oh, really? Very excited. I about forgot it. the first thing you mentioned. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Hi, this is Mike McCray. You might hear bits of conversation as you pass through public places. Some loud talker on a cell phone or a tiff at the next table. Most washed by and not remembered But one evening last December I passed two women talking by The front door of my hotel <laughs> I stopped and thanked them by the curb The moment that I heard their words And said it was the finest line of eavesdrop I'd ever overheard their words stuck inside my head so i wrote down the words they said and with a hotel pen i wrote then they had to taser her again <laughs> cause then they had to taser her first time wasn't phasing her whatever she did she did it Twice who was this gal? Why weren't she nice? They zapped her once. She improvised a twitchy break dance jazzer size. <laughs> Didn't get the hint, cause then they had to taser her again. <laughs> These swirling words did not relent. Speculating about this incident, and it's gonna drive me crazy. Wondering what went wrong. Were there warrants unresolved? How much alcohol was involved? And did her stepson remember to return to the trailer the next day to feed her snake? <laughs> Cause then they had to taser her. First time wasn't phasing her. Whatever she did, she did it twice. Who was this gal? Why weren't she nice? Her hair, it spiked. She spilled her bong. They upped the volts. She soiled her thong. <laughs> Didn't get the hint, because then they had to taser her again. No, she didn't catch the drift, because then they had to taser her again. <laughs> hey, with banks. Somebody go back and feed the snake. That's a bad day. Boy, uh, soiling a thong is a bad day. Ooh, yeah. not a lot. Of, not a room. Well, you know what? Not, not a lot of room to catch anything. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. A thong isn't hard to do. Yeah. yeah. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. 
That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Mayor Belsheba. Mm -hmm. We're looking at one now uh, called, out of a styre named Whiny Bull by a, a mayor named Girl on Girl. We named it Rosie O'Donnell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Rick Schrader is our guest, uh, and uh, Rick is uh, on his, uh, well, frankly, you're on your second marriage. I don't know if I should bring this up. Yes, but. yes, I am. Maybe men and women living together is just too much anyway. I think, you know, it's just too much pressure. I think men and women should live around the corner from each other. <laughs> <laughs> much yeah. better let you call each other up every morning. Hello, you being a jerk? Yes, I am. Click right next to you. <laughs> Go to a movie, you know, instead of uh -huh. getting up every morning and spinning the big pain wheel. <laughs> Today's mind game vague remarks about your failures at work. Hey, right. <laughs> Bob and Tom 24 7. Not on air, online, all the time. Bob and Tom 24 7. <laughs> hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Got some updates for you. Here's Tom. Very exciting. <laughs> Go right ahead. Patty G. Yes, sir. Um, your hint is uh, castration you know? and uh, psychedelic mushrooms. Okay. Now, we were discussing, um, right. we, we were discussing uh, uh, nicknames and uh, at the same time, uh, 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 gents who only had either one or no testicles. Uh, because like Ken. Yeah, yeah, uh, but you know, and there obviously there are oh, times. He doesn't have a, um, a hang down either. Oh well, yeah, but that's uh, is that another uh, topic? Yeah, that's another yeah. topic. I'm not helping. Uh, you. Um, yeah. No, no. Uh, but we were we were talking about those. Uh, <laughs> what do they call artificial testicles? What are yeah, uh, nudicles. Yeah, nudicles and in, in dogs, but they make them for human beings. Mm -hmm. We had a letter from a lady that uh, works at a clinic that deals with those. And she has those fake balls. Well, no, but she presents them to people. and Oh, she's not sporting them. Yeah, they have no. like a saline in them, and they get to choose a size, I guess. You choose, you choose, they bring them out on a tray, and you get to pick one. It's, it's kind of like a fancy restaurant where they bring the steaks out, you get to choose your... Or, or the dessert tray. Yeah, sure. It's the same kind of thing. But um, this got us talking about uh, testicles, and, and I found a couple of uh, very unusual stories. Um there's there's one in which I don't know if you remember this. This involves uh, apparently uh, psychedelics. Okay. Um, uh, the headline is illegal castration at a cabin in the woods. Mm. An Oklahoma man has been sentenced to prison, according to the Associated Press, after performing an illegal human castration at a cabin in the woods. Now, by the way, um, if you have to have a surgical procedure, my recommendation uh, as a non-professional. In the medical field, uh, generally speaking, I would say a nice a hospital would be the way to go. Yeah. Perhaps a clinic. A sterile surgical yeah. unit. Cabin in yes. the woods only in the event of an emergency. <laughs> uh, uh, according to uh, prosecutors, Mr. Bob Lee Allen performed a castration on a volunteer at the cabin. Mm. Huh. Okay, who's going to go down to the well and bring the water up? Okay, how about, uh, okay, yeah. Who's, who's going to stay here and get castrated? Who's going to, okay, good. <laughs> Um, uh, How's it illegal if it's a volunteer? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Well, um, it's illegal to do a medical procedure like well, that. Well, that's I ridiculous. <laughs> no, it's not. If you're not licensed. Um, by the well, way, that's just a way for them to make money, the licensed the, people. The, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, big, uh -huh. big medicine. Yes. <laughs> uh, okay, now you, you can't smile when we take your picture holding your balls in your hand. <laughs> okay, uh, the, by the way, it says the aforementioned uh, testicles that were removed were then stored in a freezer. Oh. So it must be a nice cabinet if it's got electricity. <laughs> 
Uh, the person told police um, that the... Uh, well, cash- I have a cabinet if you don't have electricity. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I there's They're rough in it, few. but there's being, yeah, there's yeah. being stupid. <laughs> right. Okay, um, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, he later joked about eating the testicles. Oh, oh, oh but he joked. Part. You know what? Oh, remember when I said go ahead? I'm sorry. Oh. I now I'm really sorry. The 54 year old was arrested after the victim went to a hospital due to bleeding after the surgery. Again, the aforementioned cabin location probably contributed illegal to castration. That. Yeah. Um, uh, the uh, arrested man pleaded no contest to felony counts of conspiracy to commit unlicensed surgery, practicing medicine without a license, and attempted distribution of psychedelic mushrooms. He was sentenced to uh, two years in jail. Uh, now, um, the psychedelic mushrooms are an interesting component of this. Why? Uh, I just, it doesn't that, don't you want any, every, everyone who's dealing in this situation to be well, sober? Uh, is the guy getting castrated the mushroom taker or the man doing the a castration? Fair, a fair question. Because that would be a problem. Do you have anything resembling an answer? No, yes, I mean. I do know that after the surgery, they all had s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. You don't put mushrooms on s'mores. <laughs> s'mores <and> mushrooms. <laughs> well, putting a pig in a dress. You've I, never had s'mores. I have a stupid question. I've never taken a psychedelic mushrooms. Do they make you hungry like par- mug marijuana? Is that I don't know. I don't, I don't, think, don't, I don't no. think there's a general statement you can make about psychedelic mushrooms. Okay, okay. So this is the, the Grateful Dead fans and the fish fans selling the cheese sandwiches. I don't think no we can label people who take mushrooms as Grateful Dead and fish. I food. think we can. I, 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 I think I just did. Uh, so anyway, oh, what if this guy's got a sign like big billboard off the freeway? <laughs> Get a vasectomy with a nice view. Uh, but Pat, you Get have a... cut now. Ask me how. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, come on, baby. Gonna hang out in the woods, find some psilocybin, do a little castration after I've been imbibing. Gonna lay around the cabin, mama. Cut some good balls off. (laughs) (laughs) I think I'm pretty skilled. I know I'm no physician. How hard can it be to make a little testicle incision? I'm going to lay around the cat mama. Cut some good balls off. Oh, you know I'm going to. But then the cops came and got me. Found that I had done it twice since. Chopping off privates without a license. Going to lay around the jail mama. For cutting good balls off. It was an epic fail, mama. <laughs> cutting good balls off. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Broke the penal code, ironically. Oh, mm. uh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, it's out there, folks. Uh, there was a uh, guy, that a preacher, that was uh, urging their uh, flock to cut off their testicles to get closer to God. Wow. Mm. How about that? Well, that guy's got that guy should go into sales. Ah. You're, you're, you're wasting your time. Um, but uh, we now turn to Chick McGee at the Bob and Tom Sports Desk. Keegan Murray scored 32. Darren Fox, 24. in the Sacramento Kings stayed alive in the playing tournament, eliminating the uh, the Dubs last night. Golden State, 118-94. Sacramento advances to play at New Orleans on Friday night with a chance to return to the playoffs as the eighth seed in the Western Conference. Speaking of the Pelicans, Zion Williams had 40 points, 11 rebounds in his NBA postseason debut, but it ended in a sad way for New Orleans. He uh, could not finish the game due to an injury. He missed the final three minutes, a 110-106 loss to Los Angeles and New Orleans. So now Sacramento and New Orleans get together and play. I don't know why I don't care for this part of the NBA playoffs. Just get the teams together and... Do the and now they're going to do a best of, the best of seven in the first. I don't know why it's, um, it's no money. Good. Yeah, I'm sure it probably TV is. money. Probably money, 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 probably money. money down in the bottom there. And hey, in the NFL news, Kansas City Chiefs tight end Travis Kelsey is set to host a new television show called Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? <laughs> Are you ready, Tom? Really? Are you ready for this? <laughs> Sounds like a good idea. How did I know you'd think this was Is a good idea? Is he still playing football? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The 20 <laughs> oh. episode project. Uh, Jason. Uh, uh, oh, he's retired. the one that retired. This okay. is Travis. Uh, right. This is uh, Taylor's uh, boo. Friend. Oh, 
Oh, God. Mm, no, one, no one's sick of that, Ace. Keep hammering at home. The 20-episode project will be a spinoff of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? Oh. What's, uh, what's this Jeff one for you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Travis said, I grew up loving game shows. I'm excited to be following in the footste footsteps of so many TV icons hosting my very first game show, Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? The three-time Super Bowl champ said the original show is a great success of the fifth grader, so to be bringing a new format with everyone's favorite celebrities to the screen a lot of money, and I'm going to enjoy doing it. It's going to be on uh, Amazon Prime. He has a pretty good personality. I've, I've never yeah. really seen him talk. Yeah, they very, all, uh, very, yeah. They just, uh, Jason and Travis, uh, weren't uh, able to walk with uh, their graduating class at the University of Cincinnati, so this, what was last Thursday, I think, or this past weekend, uh, they they participated in graduation ceremony. They had the cap and gown. Oh, that's neat. And they let the Kelsey brothers get their diplomas. And, of course, uh, Travis uh, got the diploma from um, a dean, I'm guessing. Sure. I don't know who it was. Probably. Could have been Dean Martin. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but uh, he receives the uh, diploma, chugs a beer from a can, and uh, spikes it on the stage. Oh, classic. Not, everybody, not every student could get away with it. No, I don't yeah, think yeah. so. I don't think so. But, but most uh, would like to. Uh, sure. A, a grown-ass uh, three-time Super Bowl champion man can yeah, yeah, obviously yeah. do that, I guess. So there you go. How about that, Tom? That's exciting. I mean, it'll be fun. I, I, I enjoyed uh, the college bowl, whatever it was, with <laughs> Peyton and Cooper. Do you mean the uh, Manning brothers? When we were kids, they used to. Well, it was called College Bowl, right? I don't remember. And there was a game show. They had two different uh, colleges. Oh, yeah, they brought, oh, they, yeah. they brought it back. Yeah. Yeah. Like four, 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 the, the yes. four player yes. teams. They were good. That was fun. Well, yeah, it was Cooper and, uh, and, and Peyton. Right? And Cooper they did it locally yeah. here with high schools. The high schools yeah. do yeah, it. Yeah, they've done that. Yeah. Cooper was really funny. The this, brain game. or I have a little bit is. more information. If Go I right may. ahead. Contestants will compete for a $100,000 prize by enlisting the help of celebrities to answer questions. About celebrities. Based on subjects pulled from the curriculum of elementary schools. <laughs> mm, okay. Well, these shows are always interesting because you find out who the really bright actors are. And it's not always who you think they are. Or how stupid. Stupid you are when you can't answer questions from well, elementary school. <laughs> true. But, I mean, if you had to pick an actor to be on a show with you, who would you pick? Uh, oh, Anthony boy. Hopkins. Uh, you know, yeah, he's I'd the one I'd pick Josh came Arnold because he's really smart. Mm, no, I just pretend on oh. TV. Um, okay. Gary Busey or no. Tom Hanks. Tom I mean, you have to see what I mean? Of course, okay. yeah. By the way, I found more information about this castrating guy. Oh, son oh, of a bitch. Geez. I thought we were out of the woods. I thought we were out of the woods, Pat. We're not out of the woods. This religious figure... He castrated more than 400 people. Men, I should say. Uh, wow. Uh, I mean, this is insane. Can you imagine volunteering to, for this? I guess uh, uh, he, he's a kind of a guru. His name is Ram Rahim Singh. Hmm. So uh, I, I, I don't know which, but apparently, this is apparently a Christian sect of all things. I, I, there's that one part of the Bible, New Deuteronomy. That uh, That's suggests. A, if you read it closely, it does say. <laughs> often overlooked chapter. <laughs> Think you'd have buyer's remorse? Uh, you know, some did, yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I did what? <laughs> Wait a minute. I was supposed to do what? Yeah. Okay, so sorry. Uh, back to sports. Uh, some of these questions with, uh, with Travis Kelsey hosting in the new game show coming up on Amazon Prime Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? Uh, I found some questions oh, cool. from, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Oh. And these are just, uh, the, I have 10 here. If we get that many, that's fine. But these, there were a couple I was puzzled by, but it, it, they catch you off guard. When it's a question. You go, well, uh, what is the capital of Russia? Well, St. Petersburg? Isn't it, I don't know. I thought it would be Moscow. It is Moscow. At one, point, Moscow. It, at point, at one point, it was St. Petersburg. That's uh, what I, okay. When uh, Peter was alive. At one point, ah. it was Washington, D.C. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of guys. Now remember, we're going to try to keep it unpolitical. <laughs> we're not going to talk about it. What is the process? That's the key term in this question. What is the process of water turning into vapor called? <laughs> this, evaporation? These, these are questions. Are you smarter than a fifth? fifth, fifth grade? What was that, Christy? Evaporation? Nope, it's evaporation. Ah, well that. done. Uh, what is the tallest mammal on Earth? Oh, that's a fun question. Giraffe? Yeah, go with, yeah. Now, yeah, the, the my first guess would be giraffe, but is uh, um, would I'm, it be I'm a, going it be a sea go critter? Giraffe. Pat, you got a you got a guess? Tallest mammal on Earth? I'd go with giraffe. If a, if a whale could stand up, but a whale but can't, it can't stand up. 
It's giraffe. And oh. what do we know about giraffes? <laughs> Their necks is too long. Yeah. That's all there is to it. So, now you, you've been able to pet the giraffes at the zoo, right, Christy? Yes. Um, they have long tongues, too. They do. Yeah. Aren't, aren't they tongue... don't like peanut butter as much as you think. Are there are, are their tongues purple? <laughs> black. Uh, black. 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 Black tongues. Well, that would creep black me out. Cool. Once what you is... go black giraffe, you never go back. <laughs> you never go back giraffe? <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Black tongue sounds like a, a, a late 70s punk band from black England. Tongue. Who was the first person to step on the moon? Pretty easy. Not Neil Armstrong? We all... That's Neil Armstrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Fifth grade these question. All, I thought these were trick questions. No, no, they're, no, they're, just, they're elementary school questions. What is the process, once again, process. Oh, no. What is the process of a caterpillar turning into a butterfly called? You know this. Yes. Chrysalis? That's what's oh, in. That's what that goes into. Anybody uh, say hymen Metamorphosis. Hy hymenization. Yeah. Hymenization? Mm -hmm. Correct. <laughs> that's, the, that's the second answer. The first one is metamorphosis. Oh, sorry. Exactly right. <laughs> that's not an Ovid. Uh, who, wrote, uh, who wrote the book series Harry Potter? Oh, oh J.K. Rowling. Yeah. No, no. Nope. You said J.C. first. You said no. <laughs> Incorrect. J.K. It's J.K. Rowling. What's the capital of Australia? Yeah. Oh, Brisbane. this is a tricky one. Yeah, it is. Melbourne? Sydney. Not Sydney? Nope, not Sydney. Mm. Not um, I don't even know. I've never heard of this city. Oh, okay. But it says it right here, and it's on the internet, so Kokomo? it must be true. Kokomo. <laughs> Close. Canberra. Ah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Canberra, yeah. Uh, what's the process? Another uh, like process. Well, they Photosynthesis. Like, they like science. <laughs> Farting. Pat is correct. <laughs> what is the process by which plants make their food calls? Oh, so somebody, somebody's been looking. Somebody's no, been just, looking at the answer. You're first. amazing. The process. I figured uh, that was next. You're, you're a psychic. Who, who wrote Romeo and Juliet? Well, Shakespeare. That'd be Billy I, Dub. I did really. <laughs> <laughs> Said Francis Bacon or whoever that guy is. Uh, good guess. Uh, Willie Shakes. That's right. And uh, what's the capital of France? Well. It's uh, isn't it Gay Perry? It's gotta be Paris, <laughs> right? <laughs> if yeah, by gay you mean uh, happy, yes. Paris. Paris. Be happy Perry, yeah. Very excited about the Olympics. Oh, here's a question. Okay, Ooh. ready. If a backyard's 50 feet long and oh. 20 feet wide, oh. how many square feet is the yard? I'm out. A <laughs> hundred. A thousand. It's 50 times 20. A hundred? A thousand. Yeah, I, 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 I'm always terrible at that. 50 times 20. Yeah, yeah right. I am too. 50 times 20 to me, there's two zeros, so I just go 100. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give up. You, know, you always just drop the zero, right? No, I, I have no. no idea. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> I'll take the D. Okay, yeah. this is a question. Uh, that's where I was. <laughs> this is a question for fifth graders. In, a class, in classical music, what instruments usually comprise a string quartet? Oh, you know that. Yeah, yeah, that's a good violin, one. a viola. Cello. And a cello. Oh, quartet. We need another one. Uh, two violins. Bass. Two violins. Oh. Two violins. A violin. Bum, 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 what bum, fifth bum. grader knows what comprises a string quartet? The band oh. geek. At Come the time, on. they're all oh, sure. They're, they're all, all, they're all, all getting that. In yeah, they're all being tortured. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes they're all being... They have Suzuki uh, or whatever the hell yeah. that is after. Uh, uh, Honda. Oh, Honda. No, Kawasaki. No, no, Raycon, that's your name you oh, need to oh, remember. Raycon yeah. and the Everyday Earbuds, the perfect way to tune out all the noise around you. What and... noise? What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> and listen to something great like the old Bob and Tom show. The uh, audio quality of the Raycons uh, rivals all the big audio brands you know and love at a price you love even more. Eight hours of playtime, 32-hour battery life, seamless Bluetooth syncing. Raycons are indeed up for wherever you're going in your busy lifestyle, Raycon's optimized gel tips. They fit every ear ever made. And hey, guess what? They don't fall out of your ears like some earbuds I could mention. And Raycon's have earbud tap functions, noise isolation, and they really do make a swell Mother's Day gift. It's unusual, and Mom will enjoy it. Everybody wants it. needs a pair of earbuds. You buy, buy a pair for Mom and get a pair for yourself. Plus 30-day returns, just in case, you know, because it's mom. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and, and get 20% off your Raycon order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. Bless you. Uh, uh, love the show, uh, writes Jeff. Uh, thanks for the laughs, et cetera, et cetera. He goes, a while back, Chick recommended checking out Donovan Woods. 
Oh, yeah. And recently, Josh recommended Whiskey Myers. Oh, yeah. And while the two styles are quite different, I've checked them both out. I enjoy them immensely. And, yes, I enjoy them, all caps, on my Raycon earbuds. How about that? Which I got for Christmas. Cool. Well, there you go. Thank you. Then he goes into one of our topics. (laughs) Uh, His brother's nickname uh, is uh, Chip. (laughs) Uh, short for buffalo chip. I don't know why. Oh, I wonder what happened. Boy, I'm boy. sorry. I had to that. step in one, right? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, coming up, we have an one. airline for dogs. Uh, we have a huge story about Axe body spray. And one, a couple more questions from Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader? I, okay. I look forward to it. And uh, the sexy time with uh, the now uh, 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 very exposed Allie Breen in the world of uh, OnlyFans. What? This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show. Bugs come out. It's not my fault. I know. I'm just going to cover just the edge of your nostril. Breathe, uh-huh. through, breathe through your mouth. That's freaking out. A little bit. I thought you said you were a mouth breather. I am. I did not expect to be attacked. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't expect what just happened right there. I'll be honest. That freaked me out. I don't know how the wax stays on the stick when she no, yanks no, it the out. No, sticks, the sticks just in the... How long does the wax take to dry? Just a couple minutes. It's not oh, long, yeah. So It'll Pat stick. has a stick sticking out of his nose. Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. And the wax is coating the, the hairs in his nose. But now you notice he, his, his hands were in fists. His uh, legs are crossed. He's all tensed up. Oh, gotta relax, relax Pat. Towel, though. Relax. Yes, gotta it's relax. Okay. It's okay. Gotta to relax, I have a stick sticking out of my face. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I have to get that. Uh, no, the wax is drying, uh, and it's... It, you want to make sure this is really good and, and dry. Oh, uh, I would hope. Yeah. Oh, sure. yeah. And I want people to know, we're, I'm a firm believer that you need hair in your ears and your nostrils, but we're just getting just the just stuff the that's sort of visible, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, like that gross guy at the store, the clerk. Yeah, we're yeah. The hanging, out. Chairs, hanging out. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, that guy. Yeah, the guy who's making your sandwich. Yeah, yeah. you don't want the nose mm-hmm. I kind of feel like I'm uh, drowning. <laughs> drowning? <laughs> can't you breathe out. Kind of you can't mm-hmm. breathe out your nostril. No, you're fine. Don't breathe out of my nostril? No. You don't want to suck it up into your nostril. <laughs> <laughs> no, then we got a problem. Yeah, then we got yeah, a major got problem. A it's one. a it's whole you know, The NFL will banish from all broadcasts. And- yeah. Oh, the story that. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> we did it. We did it. I didn't know we were doing it. I did not know she attacked it. She set me up there. Oh boy. That's the key. But you have to see this. Can you see those hairs? Holy moly! Look at the where did that thing come from? That's wax. That was in your nostril. That was from my mustache. No, it wasn't. How much hair is it? Let me see. Oh, is it bleeding? No, it looks great. How much hair is it? If anybody ever checks out the inside of my nose. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wow. Do you guys understand? She was setting it up, like patting it down, you know, like yeah, checking oh, on sure. me. And then all of a sudden, one wham. pat down, wham, stick out. That's the key. I'm not going to fall for it next time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. Okay. Well. Oh, uh, ow. Oh, back. Oh. oh, hey, Josh. What's wrong? My back is sore. My legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm-hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... Oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific! <laughs> See me. you later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. We know Paul McCartney went through the worst divorce in history. That's true. I would have been a great attorney for Paul McCartney. Mm-hmm. I said, ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my client, right over there, 1964, could not crawl out of a car without every woman in America tearing her hair out, yelling his name at the top of their lungs. Mm-hmm. He could have had any woman in the world that year. Mm-hmm. 
He went with the Manson family looking girl who was the <laughs> photographer who, who was relatively plain. Mm -hmm. Lived with the woman for 35 years. 35 years. Not one night did he ever miss with his wife in 35 years except when he was arrested for marijuana in Japan mm -hmm. and she was down the hall in a different cell. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. He loved this woman. She made him eat vegetarian food. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay? She was not attractive. He put her on the cover of the Band on the Run album. Mm -hmm. James Coburn looked better than she did. <laughs> True on enough. the cover of that album. This woman couldn't hold a tune in a bucket. Mm -hmm. <laughs> couldn't hold a tune in a bucket. He let her play in his band for 10 years. He loved this woman. Lived with her 35 years. Never missed a night. She passed away. He became a knight. Mm -hmm. I think he owns Happy Birthday. I know he owns Ramblin' Rick from Georgia Tech, a hell of an engineer. Okay. He's a billionaire. <laughs> the queen hit him over the shoulder with a sword and made him a knight. Mm -hmm. He is a sir. Mm -hmm. And that one-legged, wooden-legged woman <laughs> wants you to believe that he's hard to get along with. <laughs> Right out of the box. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> hey, this is Mike Perbiglia, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. We have just a few more minutes with uh, Kid Rock, and um, do you have a pre-show ritual of any kind? That's something that would be like a some a sports guy might put his socks on a certain way. Do you have two a, blondes and a sandwich? Wow. <laughs> or a blonde sandwich. sandwich. <laughs> or a blonde sandwich. I, I, uh, I'm not going to put sorry. words in Mr. Rock's mouth. Wow. Not really, but this tour, since we got Reverend Run on with us, we always say a prayer, which mm -hmm. is kind of weird. Yeah. It's great. You know, we say a prayer, and then I go out and sing, like, Devil Without a Cause, and I want to... Like, I'm never going to sing yeah. again. <laughs> I well, think... go forth and multiply. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, attendance at church yeah. would be a lot uh -huh. better if they did that. Mm -hmm. Is there... Um, often with, with uh, uh, bands, there'll be one particular country, one, like, oddball country, yeah. where the, they're gigantic. Do you have any uh, particular spots where you're uh, bigger than elsewhere? Yep. Louisville. <laughs> it's right next to Liechtenstein, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's this weird country called Kentucky. <laughs> Tennessee. Uh -huh. Essential morning radio. All day and all night. Really? No, seriously. Really? Great Joe Satriani. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Two things over here at the uh, orangeinsoles.com sports desk. I could be arrested at any moment. Why? And oh, yeah. uh, I'm having a, a sharp pain above my right eye right now. It feels like a knife. So if anything happens in the next hour, tell me uh, how I did while I was having this pain. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. That sounds awful. Man. I hope I'm okay. I just took an aspirin. Oh, do you think it's related to the feather you found? Yeah. Boy, oh, oh boy, aren't you, uh, aren't you Jimmy flu? the Squealer? My, <laughs> you found an eagle feather in the I parking lot. I came in this morning. I'm walking along, minding my own business, singing my song, and uh, I look down, and the, what I see, I think it's an eagle feather. Hang on, just a second. Uh huh. And, oh my God, there's an eagle feather, and the uh, co ornithologist in the room. Uh, <laughs> Josh and, uh, of course, Ace, uh, uh -huh. he knows everything about everything, so I well, should have guessed he knew what this was. I you see. both said goose feather, right? Or I see the Canadian goose out there every day. Yep. That's I, didn't you see an eagle out there? I did see an eagle there's out a, there. Suck a, on that, Cosby. Yeah. There's an eagle I can show right you a nearby, yes. video of it eating Thank something you. in the middle of the so field out here. Anyway, it's goodness. illegal to own an eagle feather unless I'm a Native American. Well, it's a good thing you have a goose feather. <laughs> yeah, the, the, that's what Officer the judge is going to say. Yeah, sure, feather. it's a goose feather. So, Lock them up. Oh. Evidently, no, I'm, um, I'm off to the pokey. <laughs> uh, just uh, yesterday, we had an interesting news story about a um, a fellow who had a uh, 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 the the male member snapped. 
Right. And this is oh. a real thing. We've had he a bunch of He was sleeping stories. and rolled over on it. Yeah. Right. We've had a bunch of stories about this, and typically, it, it, at least the stories we've had, it's it's occurred uh, uh, following the uh, ingestion of one of the ED drugs, um, where you get the serious uh, arousal, if you will. Um, uh, got this nice letter from, uh, we'll keep this fellow anonymous, uh, in uh, Beaver Creek, Ohio. Um, blah, blah, blah. What's his first name? You can um, give his first name. I can't give his first name. Is it Jim, Jimmy? <laughs> You're close. Is it Harlan? Is it John? Is it Barrett and I are getting even closer. Rob. Is it Josh? I'm not going to say. Oh. Sounds like it's a Josh. Uh, he's a, uh, this comes to us from a, a small town. Uh, okay. Beaver Creek, Ohio. Was he born, was he born did I ever say that? <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really a small town. It's a lovely suburb. Um, a, a, a person had to recently be uh, admitted to the emergency room. Okay. Um, with a one of these broken male members, mm -hmm. and it was described just like it was in that news story as an eggplant, Oof. purple from, and yeah, swollen from the, from the bruising. Mm -hmm. When asked how it happened, quote, "I was drilling her and missed the re-entry." <laughs> oh man, just slammed right into the. Oh, that's okay. romantic. You gotta like a, a plain spoken patient at the ER. You know, oh. my romantic adventures <laughs> are are, are, long, are they're documented and very legendary. Uh, and there's no, there's, no, there's no drilling. Certainly, uh, no s real successes. Save, you know, I'd never, even with a bunch of. <laughs> So there I was. Yeah, yeah. Thrilling her. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell? And your buddy goes, yeah! What the hell? Then it's a fellow, but, hey, Skip, am I in the lineup today? Uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man. Uh, and then uh, we have a, 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 an unusual request what coming is, up. What do they say in Dumb and Dumber? You know, the first moment I saw her, her eyes, and she was just a wonderful person. I knew I had to bone her. Remember? <laughs> <laughs> That's, okay. That's great. Uh, yeah, have you yeah. ever said drilling? To, uh, no. To some I, of your I, I, Ivy League. Uh, no, uh, no. Uh, maybe perhaps it's re referencing my teeth. Good um, God. Drilling. <laughs> I would hope you wouldn't talk like that. Yes. I think uh, a, a gentleman... Christy, have you ever said, boy, I get drilled last no, night? No, of course not. I'm going to say, boy, that guy wrecked my... No. <laughs> oh. Let alone... I mean, this guy apparently <laughs> claims he was drilling with such vigor... That he broke it. Yes. That, upon, that it, all he, he tried hit? to do was go back in and <laughs> just... Slammed it. <laughs> I mean, are, are you against her butt cheeks? Are, are, are you running up, running up like it's the long jump? And then, man, what did he hit? Yeah, what's he sleeping with him? Do you have any arms? Yeah, good lord. Okay, so. <laughs> this, this, I want to spend more time with this guy. Uh, this injury is relatively common. Sure, sure. Especially well, with it, reverse cowgirl. That's it the well, big Yeah, be. but. Uh, but that makes sense because it's the weight of right. a human being. Sitting but in some, on case, top of in some cases, they have to resort to surgery to get things fixed up. Sure. And we had that yesterday, and we had the dis really disturbing story about John Wayne Bobbitt. <laughs> Oh, and, poor guy lost his toes. Well, like, I say poor guy, but he was a monster. Now, a Pat, you worked with him on the radio. Yeah, and he was. I'm not. I'm not insult. I don't want to insult him, but he doesn't seem to be. No, very he wasn't intelligent. real bright. Yeah. yeah, he's not very intelligent. He was actually mm. nice though. He's an uh, He's quite guy. the ladies' man. I understand. Oh yeah, not, yeah. Well, it was if you him. consider rape uh, <laughs> a oh, good move. God. I bet, yeah, let's I bet Bob and his buddy say drilling <laughs> all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah John okay. Wayne. Yeah, it probably did. Uh, but he was really. back in the news. He famously had his male members severed um, uh, by his wife and then thrown out yeah. the window, and they actually found it. Sure they did. Reattached it. And that, I mean, the best part of that story is the, the, the brilliance of contemporary surgery, not to mention the, the, the good luck that they found the thing. Yeah. And lucky one of the dogs didn't fight. Yeah, no, yeah. yeah you know, <laughs> hey, well, we got the marijuana sniffing dogs out there. Uh-oh. <laughs> Looks like Spike just <laughs> thought it was a sausage. Well, we got it back. Uh, we had to shoo of, away the crows. Uh, <laughs> so it's a little uh, We're, we're, uh, we're going to need a strainer to get it. <laughs> oh, what's that? Oh, there, the little beak in there. But, yeah, he, he was back in the news, sadly, for losing all of his toes. Just awful story. Um, now, do we have time to do one quick question uh, from the uh, new TV show? Uh, there's a new TV show coming on Amazon Prime called Are You Smarter Than a Celebrity? being hosted by Travis Kelsey from the world champion uh, Kansas City Chiefs. It'll be fun. And this is uh, an offshoot of Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader that our buddy Jeff Foxworthy hosts. And we were going through some questions for the fifth grade we show. We have time for one more. We have time for one more, I'm being told. <laughs> 
<laughs> in colonial America. Yes. Yeah. What was Rogering the Sugar Act? Oh, <laughs> oh, that's uh, that's that was the act that uh, prevented people from. Uh, using equal or Splenda in their tea at the Boston Tea Colonial Park. America. Colonial. It's interesting because I have this in my new book, uh, uh, tough, tough Times in the Colonies, oh, oh, My yeah. Life in Virginia. You've seen this book. <laughs> a Diary of a Virginia Gentleman is where I got the phrase oh. rogering. <sighs> well, of course, no one's going to Who Who knows this question? I don't remember. It's no, impossible. I, don't, I remember I don't the Sugar it. Act. Yeah. They taxed it. In yeah. Colonial America, the Sugar Act was a tax on molasses and wine. Yeah, there you go. What the f see, see, hell? See, see, yes, even then. Yeah. Yeah. Wine has sugar in it. Oh. Well, so, well, so does the cake, but they didn't tax cake, now, did the they? The bread well, has sugar in it. Essentially, it was a sin tax. Molasses <laughs> is a sin? Uh, back then, the sugar part, yeah, oh. back then. And I didn't know this, but I, 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 the, uh, the Tropic of Capricorn lies mm -hmm. in which hemisphere? The West. Oh, that's a good one. Take it's right it, next uh, to the Tropic of Cancer, right? <laughs> Uh, it's in I'll give Henry, you a hint. Hen Henry Millerville? It, no. Yeah. It, the Tropic of Capricorn is underneath the Tropic, Tropic of, of Cancer. Oh. Southern well, Hemisphere. Nice. Southern Hemisphere. Nice. That's exactly right. right. Didn't, didn't, know, didn't OJ star in that movie? Capricorn won. That's exactly right. Sam Waterston yes. and uh, James Brolin. Was that any good? I never saw it. It was a fun movie. And I, OJ. Was it to Mars or the Moon? Uh, Mars. They were supposed to be the they first the men on Mars, and they faked fa fake right. them on Mars. And yeah. then the government tried to kill them. Yeah. Oh, yeah looked, I, I always kind of wanted to watch that. Well, that's because you're, you're basically a conspiracy theorist. Oh, boy. Yeah, for some things, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sure. Of course. Of course, the moon land. Anything involving the government, I pretty much don't, okay. don't well, believe. Yeah, but by the way, you're and still you're still working for them. By the way, <laughs> you just paid them all of your salary for this year. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Keep working. You're not, you're not you're not making your own money yet. We'll uh, be back. Uh, we'll we'll be back. We have yeah. an airline for dogs. A huge axe news. Wait a minute. Axe axe. Uh, an airline for dogs. Yes. yes. An axe body spray in the news in a really I don't cool hear, way. I don't want to hear about anything else but the airline for dogs. Well, have you, right do, you don't want to hear about uh, salmon semen on your uh, face. I oh. no. Of course not. Oh. No. It's, a big, it's a big thing that it costs you a thousand bucks. Oh, really? This is a, this is the Bob and Tom show. Got something to say? Send us an email. Bob and Tom at bobandtom.com. <laughs> yes, I'm just getting ready. Oh, oh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, seven, eight, eighteen wheels on a big rig. Everybody, here we go. Oh, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, four, seven, eight, eighteen wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, 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 roll. Okay, let's back them up. Here we go. Oh, there's 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 4, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Wheels on a big rig. Okay, the even numbers. It's easy. Oh, there's two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen wheels on a big rig. And they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, roll. Okay, by one and a half. Here we go. Uh oh. Oh, there's one and a half, half three, four and a half, half six, half, half, seven and a half, nine, <laughs> uh, ten and a half, eighteen uh, wheels. We on a big rig. <laughs> and they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. Okay, the odd numbers. Here we go. Oh, there's one, three, five, seven, seven, eleven. On a big rig. And they're rolling, rolling, rolling. Rolling, rolling. That was hard. Okay, Roman numerals. I'm here. I'm ready for this one. All right, go. Oh, there's I, 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 V, 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 I, V, I, I, V, I, 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 X, 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 I, X, I, I, X, I, 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 X, I, V, X, V, X, V, I, X, V, I, I, X, V, I, 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 wheels on a big red. Yes, very good. Roman, 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 Roman. Okay, Roman numerals backwards. Here we go. Oh, there's X V I I I X V I I X V I X V X I V X I I I X I I X I X I X V I I I V I I V I V I V I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for watching this morning's show. To listen, just go to bobandtom.com. Check out the list for a station near you or stream the online radio station on our website and the Bob and Tom app. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. 
The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. Other barges, there were no injuries. And a portrait of Winston Churchill by an artist whose work the British leader loathed is going up for auction. The painting by modern artist Graham Sutherland was made in preparation for a large portrait that Churchill's family later destroyed. The episode was recounted in the TV series The Crown. The surviving oil-on-canvas study shows Churchill's head and profile against a dark background. It will be auctioned at Sotheby's in London on June 6th and is expected to bring in almost a million dollars. And that's your news. I'm Christy Lee. More of the Bob and Tom show on the way. Ladies and gentlemen, Bob and Tom. Uh, this is from Brian. You must have missed part of the WNBA draft when they showed the commissioner with her name on her apron while cooking in the kitchen. I did miss that. <laughs> oh, anger nice America, guy. Brian. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's so ridiculous. <laughs> she, in fact, I, I love the notion. She's the commissioner she of not, major yeah. sports. She, uh, she not only has to cook because she's, she has to do it during that. I hope I pick number four next. Thank you. Bob and Tom in the morning and highlights all day long. The Bob and Tom Show, weekday mornings at 6 a.m. Eastern on Bob and Tom 24-7. Bob and Tom 24-7. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you just ruined it. <laughs> Hello, Americans. It's that time of year again. You received your tax forms in the mail, and now it's time to settle up with the IRS. <laughs> when it comes to tax preparation, well, listen to this. Honey, we got our tax forms. Are you going to try to do it yourself again this year? I don't know. It's such a pain in the butt. Taxes can be a pain in the butt. That's why you should let the specialists at Tax Preparation H Incorporated do your taxes for you. Tax Preparation H Incorporated relieves the pain often associated with filing your taxes. And Tax Preparation H Incorporated can reduce those piles of paperwork to one small form that you simply have to sign and file. Did you go to Tax Preparation H Incorporated? I sure did. Do we owe much? Yep. Oh, we really got reamed by the IRS. <laughs> but I'll tell you, it doesn't hurt as much thanks to Tax Preparation H Incorporated. Tax Preparation H Incorporated. We're just itching to oh. do your return. <laughs> Tax Preparation H Incorporated. <sighs> hey, and if you want, we'll even tell Uncle Sam to shove it up his... <laughs> Hi, this is Kostaki Economopoulos, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. Okay. So, Moody, is your apartment, is it tidy? It is tidy. It's small, it's tidy. It's, uh, it's a basement. Oh, no. <laughs> Even better. I thought <laughs> Looks I Looks like we made it. <laughs> and I thought, I you knew can't. the ceilings are low. I thought I had seven-foot oh, ceilings my ah, until my six-foot-six buddy came over and had about an inch of clearance. <laughs> Your ceilings are that low? They're low. You can't wow. even get happy. Low. I think my apartment's illegal, to tell you the truth. It's oh a basement with only one exit. The and the exit door. is yeah. blocked by my never. meth lab. So I think the whole thing uh -huh. yeah, is illegal. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I would never do. stay there. Beautiful never neighborhood, though. I live in a great neighborhood. Uh -huh. A little, it's in New York City, Astoria, Queens. It's very peaceful. My neighborhood is so quiet. If there's any yelling at night, that means Ecuador scored a goal. <laughs> I love it. Great. It's a little rowdy. World Cup's a little rowdy. Other uh, yeah, I'll bet. Uh -huh. oh, it's it's yeah. oh, you got to come over during World Cup time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And Jesus said, take this bread and eat it. It is my body. And the disciples said, Jesus, we're all on low-carb diet. <laughs> We appreciate you dying for our sins, but we're all trying to slim down. <laughs> we want to look good in the painting. You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. 24-7. You win donation. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Chrissy Lee at the news desk. Hello. There's Pat Godwin in the performance room. Hey, Chick. There's Josh Arnold. Chick. He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Let me tell you about the 24 karat gold dipped rose in red wine. It's now available. <laughs> All right. At Steven Singer Jewelers. Uh, 24 karat gold roses are the number one gift for Valentine's Day. And remember, they're exclusive to I Hate Steven. Well, that'd be Steven. Yeah. 
Not Stephen? No. That'd be seven, wouldn't it? It would be seven. A whole different thing. I hate Stephen. Four, five, six, Stephen. I hate Stephen singing. Here, Bob and Tom have somebody else read this. There's Ace Cosby. I'm Chip McGee at the orangeinsoles.com sports desk. Remember, orange insoles are orange, and here's Tom. Thank you very much. Then, uh, once again, uh, Stephen Singer Jewelers, uh, they got that uh, beautiful rose for your mom. Mm -hmm. We got more questions from Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader, Tom? I, I just learned something last week on this show. What'd What's you learn? That? Mother's Day is always on a Sunday. Yeah, May 12th this year. Very convenient. I must have known that. We, we must have known that deep in the back of our heads, but just... Uh, this is the kind of stuff something I, that yeah, you don't... Right. I, I file yeah. away under really recognized the... Uh, Do you know that Father's Day is always <laughs> on a Sunday as well? No, again, that's another... <laughs> you gotta be me. Yeah. No. No. Uh, uh, oh, you doing more questions? All right, ready? Uh, how many adjectives are in this sentence? Okay. Oh, boo. <laughs> Go ahead. Billy made a rude noise in class. One. 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 Yeah, yeah one. How That's many one. are in the phrase, I don't care? None. Uh, none, yeah. What <laughs> landmass on Earth is known as the island continent? Oh, you know Australia. this. Australia. I don't know. Three mile. It is correct. Australia. <laughs> Australia. <laughs> Three mile island. And now we have a special uh, fifth grader question for the one, the only, Mr. Paul Lynn. Is here. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I'm, ask you, away. Are you smarter than a fifth grader, Paul? Here's the question. Yeah. Where is the Sistine Chapel? Oh, uh, right next to the 15th. Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 He's uh, incorrigible. Yes, so the, the bathroom's called the Cistern Chapel, you see. <laughs> we go into the loo. <laughs> and now we have something special for Leonardo Tom. Leonardo let loose. And, oh, dear God. It's There's gone. something special for Tom I found on the Internet this morning. What's that? Uh, you're aware of electronic drums. And I did not yes. know this, but uh, the electronic drums, they're just, they sound exactly better and better every time they make a, a version of electronic drums. You can't tell real drums from electronic drums anymore. But there are settings like Paul, or like Paul, <laughs> yes. like Pat Godwin has on his keyboard. Back. You can make adjustments yeah. as to what sound when you hit a cymbal or a tom, oh, sure. what, what sound it would make. Well, some guy on the internet decided, let's... Make them sound like a fart when I when I oh, hit gosh. the drums. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I and like it. Here's what it sounds like. <laughs> so that's 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 what he's working with. That's what he's working with. He's just he's had drumsticks. Right. Okay, so, right. so that's the sound check. That's yeah. the, this is yeah. sound check. Now does he do a song? Okay. Here's a sound check. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's good. Okay, and now here, uh, see he... if you can name this tune. Okay. Ready? Uh, Tom Sawyer. Rush, right? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was Tom Sawyer. Very well. How did you know that? Pat, are you looking at his notes? That's nope. the second one. I'm a little no. skeptical here. Yeah, really you had really photosynthesis, well too, you yeah. Before I even asked the question. He's a bright he has guy. The notes. Yeah. And here's the big finish from Mr. Fart Drum. Mr. Fart Drum. Is that the end of Tom Sawyer? Uh, I don't think so, no. Okay. But does, could that replace... Should we use uh, this instead of uh, Greg Hahn playing the drums? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why not? Uh, uh, Maybe for Ace's jokes. <laughs> let's well, let's try it. You ready? Okay. I'm we'll try ready. it. We'll try to. We'll do this properly with yes, the proper sir. intro, etc. Okay. Ace Cosby. Here he is with his joke of the day. What did Bruce Wayne do on his little league team? What did Bruce Wayne do on his little league team? I don't know what. Bat Boy. That was Ace Cosby's joke of well. the day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. It adds a little something. I like that. I, I'd be prepared. Okay, I am well, prepared from my, now on. I want to send that to me. Um, uh, another unusual request here. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, th we've been talking about castration. What, what are you talking about? Castration. Oh, I bet some people do make that noise when it happens. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, oh, that right. is good. Oh, okay. I got the all right. I better not. Uh, we were talking about castration, and I don't know how this came up. I guess it might have been with regard to John Wayne Bobbitt and the, uh, that, the although that's right. a whole different procedure, lopping off the male member itself. But we got talking about nudicles and 
whether or not if you get uh, if you get uh, one testicle removed, you get the fake one put in. Mm-hmm. Some do, some don't. But uh, it ties into this, and this is going to be a stretch here. But um, you'll see maybe if you listen very carefully why this is appropriate. And uh, this is a this is a request. Uh, and here you go. I've decided I'm the only guy in the world that likes the hell out of Prince Charles. Oh, really? Like I really? I want to drink a Budweiser with Prince Charles. Yeah. You think Prince Charles drinks Budweiser? <laughs> I, if he hangs out with me, he's going to. Yeah. Well, then he won't do either. And I'm positive. I'm positive that Pat Carlini and Christy both despise Prince Charles. Oh, I don't know. Which is a little strange, but no, he's, he's kind of a geek. Yeah. Well, yeah, because he's got big ears and he can't dance well. Oh. But the man's going to be the king of England. He's going out with his old college girlfriend, Camilla mm-hmm. Parker Down Bowles, the ugliest woman in England. Uh-huh. <laughs> so apparently he can see past outside beauty into inner beauty, uh-huh. which makes him one of them Oprah Winfrey sensitive types. Yeah. Right. He could be sleeping with every woman in England. That's true. He's going to be the king of damn England. If I was king of England, I'd be sleeping with every woman in England. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be knocking on the door. Fred? Go to Home Depot for about an hour. King of England. Good to see you. How you doing? <laughs> Doug, bring your wife over in a bathing suit. Go with him. Bring me back some pliers. King of England. How you doing? Good to see you. <laughs> What's the fun of being King of England if you can't sleep with every woman in England? Oh, God. King David in the Bible did that. You remember that? His sure. big sin. He's up on the palace wall. He looks over and sees Bathsheba, the new girl next door, taking a bath on the roof. Mm-hmm. Boy, look at the breast on her. Well, it turns out her husband's a captain in your army. Well, screw him. Send him to the front. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Prince Charles can ride a horse without falling off. He can ski down a hill without wrapping himself around a pine tree somewhere. Takes care of his kids. Looks good in a kilt. Yeah. And he's got to take crap off his brother-in-law in front of five billion people at one time at the funeral and keep a straight face. Mm-hmm. You know, good and well, he wanted to reach over and bitch slap that brother-in-law. <laughs> mm-hmm. We yeah. hope that the children will be raised the way that Diana wants them raised as opposed to the way that Charles... I said, hey, 400 years ago, you're nuts would be a door knocker on the Tower of London. <laughs> <laughs> How about you head back to South Africa and run around on your wife some more? <laughs> Sell trinkets at the grave site. <laughs> Get the gay guy back up there and play piano some more. I'm going to impale both of you. King England. King England. <laughs> I've heard candle in the wind that makes my butt hurt. King England. Uh, Tim. Uh, the great Tim Wilson. And a uh, tri- tri- tribute from a few years back to King of England. And, of course, the reason it's appropriate today is because the topic of uh, testicles. Thank you, uh, Gunter, for that suggestion. Gunter in Cincinnati, a very, very good idea. Now, uh, tell me what's coming up in Sports Chick McGee. Uh, sadly, we have uh, sports figures uh, passing away this morning, a couple. Very famous oh. uh, sports figures. Uh, sorry to hear that. Yes. On a lighter note, Josh. And uh, more about the Olympics. Coming up in the news, gravy. My cat? Uh-huh. No, no, no. No. Oh. The, uh, the, the, oh, the, the, the semi-viscous uh, fluid of love. <laughs> Gravy. Okay. The meat sauce of love. I like yeah, fluid of love. Yes, also fluid of love. We have um <laughs> salmon sperm. Okay, I don't want to hear about in that story. cosmetic news. And if you do you know how much that costs, by the way, Christy? A lot. expensive. I know how much this uh, uh, salmon uh, treatment. Sa- I've not I don't know of anyone who does it or has done it. Well, it's apparently it's, it's very, a big Jennifer Aniston big thing. Fish, uh, it's big, a big it's a big Hollywood thing. Big fish, uh, they, they have some sort of price thing going on. Caviar is crazy expensive. The salmon sperm. And, uh, there's you imagine going having what, what going a, on, kind yeah. of a gig that would be collecting salmon sperm. Hey, Lou, yeah. you got any more tweezers? Mine broke. Okay. <laughs> Spring is here. Days are longer, and that means you're out of your house more. Uh, how do you know you have peace of mind and all of your stuff's going to stay your stuff? Well, uh, Simply Safe, Home Security. That's how I did it. The only home security we recommend. We love it. I love it. And here's why. Sensors from Simply Safe Home Security to detect break-ins, fires, floods, and more. Let's say your sump pump uh, malfunctions, you get water. They have water sensors at Simply Safe. Indoor and outdoor high-definition cameras to keep watch over your property day and night, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Great way to check in on your, your sweeties. That's your pet's dogs of course mm-hmm. backed by 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day and simply safe professional monitoring agents help stop crime in real time by talking to intruders through the wireless high def indoor camera that uh, police are on their way and they are being recorded no contract 60-day money-back guarantee try simply safe risk-free 
And if you don't love it, you can send the system back for a full refund and get the Simply Safe app for your smartphone. You can check in on your pets in your house anytime you like. Simply Safe has given us and many Bob and Tom Show listeners real peace of mind. And you can have it too at a great price. Get 20% off any new Simply Safe system when you sign up for Fast Protect Monitoring. Just visit simplysafetom.com. That's simplysafetom.com. Remember, there's no safe like Simply Safe. I read the reviews. People love Simply Safe. Once again, uh, coming up, we have uh, gravy, baby gravy, and meat gravy. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, you can pick your morning radio show, and you can pick your nose, but you can't wipe Bob and Tom. Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. <laughs> Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. <laughs> That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Apollo Johnson, and not even the shuttle can hold all of his cargo. Look at that load. Apollo 13 and a half from Monumental Pictures, rated PG-13. And a half. Oh boy. Hey, this is Larry the Cable Guy, and you're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. If you're not, you're a communist. <laughs> 
Morning, Bob and Tom Show. Hey, boys, is it a Pope? <laughs> hey, hey your pontiffness, how are you? <laughs> hear me okay? Yeah. Uh, I'm on a Pope phone in the Pope mobile. We were, we were talking about road rage. <laughs> well, you know, you just gotta learn how to calm down. Uh-huh. Take it easy. We all are brothers out of here. Yeah, that's right. Hey, idiot, it's the one on the ride. Step on it. <laughs> <laughs> wow, even the, uh, the Pope. Uh, the, the Pope. The, the, you know, the, that's the trick is to just to kick back and relax, you know, maybe sure. pick up some tunes or whatever. And, well, you're a very... Hey, Grandma, it's a green. <laughs> hey, the horn blows up at the drive. <laughs> uh, Tom Simmons is our guest. You were, I understand you've been to Afghanistan, I assume, on, on one of the uh, USO type tours. Uh, the comics on duty. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, good, yeah. good for you. Afghanistan is desolate, man. Everything is dirt. Every building, every structure is like dirt. We don't need satellite guided bombs. We just should drop water balloons. <laughs> 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 that, 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 that muddy wow. Turn that place into mud and farmland, and it'll be great. Have you run this strategic idea by the people at the Pentagon? Yeah, yeah it'd save us a lot of money. Hey, this man. is positively we're launching brilliant. a massive uh, hydro attack. That's uh, what we're going to do. And, uh, All of these fire bombs are merely drawing it out. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> You're so weird. You have no idea. Essential Morning Radio. <laughs> this is Bob and Tom Radio. Fishing, fishing, fishing. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. There's Christy and Josh, yeah. Ace, Pat, I'm Chick. Hello, Tom. Hey, what's going on? Uh, we just uh, did a new uh, version of the Ace Cosby joke of the day with the new ending. That's right. <laughs> I don't approve. Uh, <laughs> we don't approve. Okay. I can see approve. why you may not be yeah. uh, yeah. here for it. Yeah. So we'll see how that goes. Um, now, um, we have a lot to get to. We haven't completed our sports cast, as, I, as far as I can tell. Uh, Whitey Herzog, former manager of the St. Louis Cardinals, who passed away at the age of 92. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, remember how he got the name White? Or Whitey? Yeah. He, uh, he, he was, uh, what was it, Josh? Go ahead. Uh, his hair was white. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone called him the White Rat. The White Rat. Ooh. We're kind of sneaky like a rat, you know, making all those decisions. And, and it was not, a, that was a term of endearment for it sure. It was? Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh yeah. Everybody loved the white rat. They loved him, Tom. Okay. Yeah. The term, uh, Whitey? You know, that nickname kind of, yeah, out of favor. You think so? Yeah. I, wasn't there like, well, there was a Whitey on uh, and Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> Yes, I don't, yes, I don't think any was. contemporary sitcoms have anybody named no. Whitey. They had a long tradition of baseball, though. Whitey Ford. And yeah. I wonder how many, yeah, people have been nicknamed Whitey. Whitey Bulger. Whitey sure. Bulger. Yeah. Again, yeah. Wasn't uh, he a He lobster? was a, yeah, yeah famous, famous. Right. Died in prison. Yeah. Uh, well, Ace, have you ever called anybody Whitey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you really have? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I thought that was just between us, Ace. <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of any other than Herzog and uh, Whitey Ford. I think that's it. I'm out. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, uh... And Carl Erskine, who pitched two oh. two no hitters for the Brooklyn Dodgers and was a 20 game winner in 1953, he struck out a then record 14 in the World Series, has passed away. Among the last survivors from the Brooklyn teams from the 50s, Erskine spent his entire major league career with the Trolley Dodgers. He helped uh, them win five National League pennants from 48 to 59. Erskine won game three of the 53 World Series, Boy. beating the Yankees 3-2. He appeared, appeared in five World Series, and the Dodgers beating the Yankees in 55 for their only championship in Brooklyn. This is one of those things. I didn't realize he was still alive, but, yeah. man, that's incredible. He was in his hometown of Anderson, Indiana, when he passed away at the age of 97. Whoa. Wow. Hung a 97 up, Tom. All when right. did the Dodgers move to L.A.? 57, 5, 6. Uh, I haven't gone yet. Hang on. <laughs> you just pick everything in the late 50s. That's, okay. that's, I need to learn to speak like Tom sometime in the late 50s, Christy. Mid to late 50s. That gives me 55 all the way through. Yeah, that, that's right, yeah. yeah. Oftentimes, I'll just say, long ago. <laughs> <laughs> I like when the, the world was young, <laughs> when the president was nicknamed Whitey. 1958. So you 58. You, you got go. it. Nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah, I love, I love that one, like, at academics go, well, it was, you know, of course, 17th century. Uh. Oh, that's that nails it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now we know. That guy, you got it right there. Erskine played, he played with Jackie Robinson. I mean, yeah. 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 amazing baseball back then. 
Man, oh, man. No, any, any happy news in sports? LeBron James plans to go back to the Olympics. Steph Curry, now that he doesn't have to worry about this season, uh, he's out of the playoffs. They're planning on uh, – uh, Steph's also going to the Olympics. Kevin Durant uh, wants to be on the team. They're just a part of star-studded roster the Americans have assembled for the Paris Games. USA Basketball has gotten confirmation from 12 players. Listen to me now. Jay, uh, LeBron James, Steph Curry, Kevin Durant, Bam Adebayo, Devin Booker, Joel Embiid, Jason Tatum, Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday, that's spelled J-R-U-E, Holiday, Tyrese Halliburton, nice. Anthony Edwards, and Kawhi Leonard. Oh, cool. Uh, they will accept invitations to be on the Olympic roster. That's after the embarrassment of 23 when we did not medal in, um, in the FIBA World Cup. Yeah. The Americans were shown shown the door disrespectfully. German, Germany went on to win that. But I think I watched the, the FIBA Cup at your house, Josh, now that I remember that. Oh, yeah. yeah. yeah we had to have a hell of a yeah. shindig. Hell of a, hell of a thing there, Tom. <laughs> and an Australian man has converted a prize-winning... Will, have they already picked the ladies' Olympic basketball team? I have not had any update on that, but what a great question. Thank you, Supreme I mean, Broadcaster. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I'm, sorry. <laughs> sorry. I'm just wondering. I, I do not uh, know the answer to that. Look it up for you right now. Because they announced the men's yesterday. I'm sure the women are right behind them, but the WNBA season, the 36 games, I know that. There are 12 teams. I know that. Okay, no, I'm just curious. Because uh, with they, the, with they're all going of... to be in season during... The Paris Olympics. I don't know if they're going to take a break and and or I, I I'm not sure. Tom, do you even know if there no. are women oh. are women participating in basketball in the Olympics? Yeah, they, they are. Yes. I just don't know. I was just don't know who's in the team because obviously with the so you decided to ask me and embarrass me on not a national radio station. <laughs> Australia, Belgium, Canada, People's Republic of China, France, Germany, Japan, Nigeria, oh. Puerto Rico, Serbia, Spain, and the U.S. Will I compete. don't know any of those players. I don't, no, I've never no, heard of any. I've never heard of any. No. She's answering a different question. No. <laughs> That'll teach you to ask her. That's right. They don't, it doesn't say who's going to be. Well, somebody better Ace? by God find out. Tom, did you watch the video of the torch lighting yesterday? Oh, I did not. I was very busy yesterday. Sorry. You how, and how your did torch go? lighting. It's very uh, dancy. Dancy? Dancy. Hmm. Mm. They dance. did have some Grecian... Uh, uh, yeah, it's Greece. Gre uh, the Grecian formula dance? Ancient <laughs> Olympia. They did have a lot of ladies dancing around in gowns. Yeah. Well, in ancient Greece, it would have been a bunch of guys dancing around naked. And hey, <laughs> I don't know the names of any... <laughs> I don't know the names of any of the women who were dancing around, Tom, so don't ask. Jake, I do have a question for you, though. What's, oh, a, what's a Grecian urn? Uh, uh, 15 bucks an hour. Oh, okay, thank you. I'll let you go euros. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the Grecian um, money used to be? What? Uh, drachma? Was it drachma? I don't know. There you go. That sounds right. Right? Uh, don't you hate those in there? Did we find a uh, women's basketball team being uh, announced? No. <laughs> hey, I, I'm going to I'm gonna anger some of America here for a second. Okay, all right. Uh-oh. Hey, hang on a second. Se second. Josh is going to anger America. I've seen too many headlines already about <laughs> people uh, furious that Caitlin Clark doesn't make what a man makes in the NBA. You you really don't know why that that answer isn't so obvious that this is a, a still a discussion. Caitlin's first year in the league, according to the uh, collective bargaining agreement in the WNBA, she'll make south of about eighty thousand dollars. Now that is way too low. But she's Certainly. already she's making three million plus an endorsement. That's exactly already. Sure. at sure. least yes, at right. least, and that might be a very conservative estimate. She's not making enough, but no, to hey, compare hey. it to the NBA is just idiotic. None of us are making enough. <laughs> well, right, and okay. okay. And the NBA gets paid in Chinese money, right? <laughs> well, m many of the players, yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you are just hitting on all the topics today, aren't you? Hey, Chick, here's a question that I know you won't answer just to make you look stupider. And well, let's remind Josh of China. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Do you think you're helping when you act this <laughs> way? Sorry, I was just curious uh, because be, you and I were talking off the air uh, about I the fact not. that the WNBA draft had a huge um, number of people watching. Yeah, this is a great and thing. And that the, the I think the most the most watched in America basketball game in the last two years was 
the final game in Iowa. That. I think, and uh, the, of, of of the ladies, the WNBA draft uh, set a new record. Uh, it was it was viewed by more people than the Major League Baseball draft and the National Hockey League draft? Sure, I mean that's great. Uh, Two point six million people watched it on ESPN. The previous <laughs> yeah. record was half a million people. That's, for the that's WNBA. my little girl. I told you I came home from picking something up, and she was, Daddy, what channel is the WNBA draft on? Okay, here I found this. It's uh, a good thing. I found it. Okay, we, go ahead. We what, have a what, roster? Have, what have you got? The 2024 USA Olympic qualifying tournament team includes Ariel Atkins, Aliyah Boston, Aliyah, Nef- Aliyah Nafisa Collier, Kalia Cooper, Ryan Howard, Sabrina Ionoscu, Jewel Lloyd, Kelsey Plum, Brianna Stewart, Diana Tarusi, uh, Elisa Thomas, and Jackie Young. Uh oh. Well, that's just not go right. ahead. Go ahead, Tom. Con- climb up on your Caitlin Car- Clark box. No, I'm that. Why, why isn't she? Well, I think the other, they're in the WNBA. Aren't they competing at I that time? I think she just came out. I think there was a timing thing more than, more than anything. But I don't know. Okay, all I found was the thing saying it's always been her dream to play in the Olympics. I was going to, boy, you'd think somebody right now behind the scenes is going, how do we make this happen? But, but do we know that the deadline has passed and the forms sure. have been submitted? Yeah. And, uh, but even the Olympic committee, you would think, would be going, we need, we want her. Yeah. This is going to help everybody. So, but... I don't know how Google. Anything works. else you uh, want to talk about there? Not, yeah, I wonder, how does Google work? I just I just Googled Caitlin Clark in the Olympics, and I've got a uh, video for Sam Kinison, and then one for Henry Lee Summer. Well, that's <laughs> my that's because singers. that's what Google wants you to look at. Okay, okay, what? thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, isn't that crazy? That's all we know. You're uh, not you're not doing something. You're, right. you're not <laughs> doing something right. right. I don't know. <laughs> this looks like a nice. Uh, you can type in any. Google does what it wants. Sam Kinison video probably pretty. Well, now you hate Google. Oh no, I've hated Google. Oh, well, yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. What what do you what search engine do you, what do you use? Duck, duck, go. He's a big man. Duck, duck, go. <laughs> That's right. What, what That's do you right. Use? It's a bunch of guys what in the garage. Use? I use Duck, duck, go. And duck, duck, go. <laughs> never even heard of Duck, duck, go. Well, you should. It's so, a, yeah. You know why you haven't heard of them? Because they're not following you. They're not tracking what you're looking at. It's like a Google does. search. <laughs> they they mind their own business. <laughs> they absolutely mind their own business. They only do one state. <laughs> well, then they don't know what I'm looking for because Google. No, no, they're very good. They know what I'm looking for. And they know where you. Google knows what they know where you live they know what size brazier Google you wear. knows what they want you to think you want to look i don't for. have a problem with that i need somebody <laughs> to be in charge of me i don't i, I don't mind that at all uh, me well, neither. i think that's what all search engines do it's no. just the no you type in a, you type game. in a topic in google it, it gives you the top stories they want you to read not th- everything I trust don't even me know. They, they've proven this <laughs> So if I go to Google and put, type in DuckDuckGo, will it go, uh, you've been disconnected from the internet. Your computer will explode. <laughs> okay. I'm Flames going to type it in. Hey, you didn't know that your keyboard has this, but it burns your fingers. <laughs> you have no finger oh, listen to this, Christy. Okay. All right. Hippie. DuckDuckGo. Privacy, comma, ah. simplify. Oh. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be privet. What's happening? What is happening? I'm playing Josh's theme song. What? This is the uh, theme for... <laughs> if you use Google... <laughs> yeah, this is, this is what you play every time you Google pops up. <laughs> this, is, uh, this is the Russian version of the International. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, DuckDuckGo is... Uh, they I'm, don't. They don't follow you. I like their. Uh, I like their logo a lot better than Google's. Cute little duck. <laughs> it is <laughs> on the go. It's a little duck. He's got a. He's got a bow tie on. <laughs> yeah. Why did you Google? Why did Google change their icon to this stupid red box instead of the big? I, this is bothering me. Don't they change it every day? Yeah, they, they change, change the. Different. No, no, the icon is now different. Oh. So I, every time I look at my screen, I don't know. Oh, that's that. I forgot they changed it. And what? by uh, Google, don't be so it proud. It just doesn't about say that. Google. Mine says Google, and it's the no. I've got a red a red box with a dot in it. What? what? Red box with a sure dot. Sure, you're not on in Google. It. Oh Jesus! Oh my are God! On, are you on Giggle? I'm on Giggle. <laughs> are you sure you're not on Walton Goggins? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm on Walter Goggins. I'm Walter Goggins. Red, green, and yellow box with a blue dot in it. He's got a new show on Amazon oh, yeah. Prime, by the way. It's something about uh, nuclear. Oh, uh, Fallout. Fallout. Yeah. It's really good. I, what? I've heard uh, it's really good. What uh, holiday that four people in the world celebrate is Google? Uh, have uh, I don't art have for that today. particular. I don't. <laughs> boy, oh boy! <laughs> I, if you 
queer this internet deal for me. I'm really going to be upset. <laughs> nothing. You're, nothing. They're listening to you right now. Uh, Google is. DuckDuckGo isn't. Uh, <laughs> those two guys are on listen, break. They don't follow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Privacy uh, simplified. Privacy. You go right ahead. We don't want to get in your way. I just want to know why when I Googled Caitlin Clark, I got a Sam Kinison video and a Henry Lee Summer song. That this is, is all your fault. That is weird. Hey, Caitlin Clark in the Olympics. That what happened? I mean, don't they want to get any ratings? Tickless. Yeah. <laughs> you did something wrong. I thought clearly. <laughs> You're all on a list. Thanks, Josh. Yeah. Thanks a lot. We're on a list now. If, I, yeah, if, I'm sorry. I will take responsibility if nothing works here tomorrow. <laughs> get a duck, duck, go. Well, that's a good idea using duck, duck. That way you get... Uh, what? You get what? They're not, look, they're not watching what you do. I don't, I don't need to. Care. Yeah, but what would be the best way to watch what something does? Tell them that, that, you're not watching. Mm -hmm. oh. That's the oldest oh. trick in the book. I, I have considered that. Oh, that's the old. <laughs> There's the rub. But I thought I thought it was like if you ask a narc if they're a narc, they have to tell you, right? <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You remember? You remember? Every web, stoner knows that. Yes. You remember web crawler? Yeah. yeah. Well, web the internet, crawler. It was a spider. It wasn't a bad search engine. It wasn't bad. There were like twelve. Yeah. 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 Excite. Uh -huh. Uh, yeah, you had all these weird ones. Is Bing, Bing still yeah, out there? Firefox, yeah, Bing is, yeah. is that one? Yeah, Firefox? That's more of the uh, it service, the internet uh, service, isn't it? But I don't know. Are there? Do they have search engines that are um, geared towards specific uh, nationalities or ethnicities? Or? Here we go. What a great question. I know. Oh, I, so, Lovely. like if I wanted to learn, since I lived in South Korea for a couple of years, if I wanted the top news from there, I could go to Google Korea, that kind of oh, thing? Oh, but I'm wondering if, if they've got their own, like, Google. Or, oh, uh, they did not when I lived there. It was ever, we just Googled everything. No, okay. We have Safari, right? Oh, Safari. here's a little message from Google at the bottom of their homepage. <laughs> Our third decade of climate action. <laughs> Join us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd like to see. What does that mean? I'd like to see where your servers are. <laughs> the, 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 the carbon footprint of your servers, yeah, yeah, Google. Right, yeah. See how much you're actually. <laughs> Good job, Google. <laughs> Hey, you better stop. If we my are in such trouble. Working, <laughs> no chance you'll get a ride in the private jet of the owners of Google. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which, oh, by oh, way, oh. which, by the way, that that that, that does not run on actual oh. jet, jet fuel. It's it's poop. <laughs> <laughs> and the way I've been talking, I'll get half a ride if you know what I mean. Uh. <laughs> well, we brought you up. You're on your way down. You're on your way down. <laughs> Did you remember to pack your parachute? <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I'm sorry. With what sportscast did I just interrupt? What were you talking about? I How's feel like I can't. Eye? I feel like I can't uh, proceed until we find out why Caitlin Clark's not on the ladies' Olympic team. Oh God! What's it going be, on? It's it would be. Wonderful. It's got to be a paperwork. It would be thing. wonderful. Yeah, yeah. It has to be. So we would ask the Olympic committee because they just announced we... the, they just announced the men's team yesterday, uh, a couple days ago. So what was the big rush? What do you mean? It's the Paris in what? hundred days? In hundred days to the Olympics Did today. You? Yeah, 100, 100 days, yeah. She was unable to attend the national team's most recent training camp because it occurred during the Final Four. Okay. Oh, she was busy winning games. But yeah. called the invitation a tremendous honor. There are no more training camps scheduled before the July 7th deadline to submit the U.S. Olympic Wasn't team. being oh, in the Final Four a training camp enough? <laughs> yeah. Don't yeah. you make an exception Don't for the they, biggest? Going to. Isn't one of the women on the team going to have a obscure, weird injury something? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Where Absolutely. she happens to be at a Tanya Harding event and yeah, yeah. gets whacked yeah. in the knee. Look, Tanya, uh, you don't feel right. Right? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to see? Have a seat. Come on. Come on. Uh, well. Uh, Can you imagine? That would be a huge, it would be a, a ratings bonanza. She's a, is I guess there is yeah, a chance would. she could still oh. be selected. Okay. okay. Yeah. I don't know why they're not trying to get Taylor Swift to play yeah. female basketball at <laughs> the Olympics. <laughs> so, or at least uh, be the, the honorary, uh, toss the ball up. Yes. Uh, flip the coin or whatever they do at the basketball They game. light a cigarette. It's the Paris games. Uh, hundred days from today. It's yeah, B.O. Paris game start. Yeah, B. Paris. <laughs> Parisian smell. Fine yes, sculpture. I guess. B.O. and cigarettes. Yes, that's what Google told According to Mad Magazine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in, 40, yeah, in 1962. Sergio Aragonis margins. Look at that. And the, and the British smell. have no teeth. I will die on that hill. <laughs> <laughs> I was on a French train, though. It was, it was a bit rank. A little rank. Was yeah. it Metro? Yeah. Okay, why don't you yell at Pat? Uh, great story, Pat. He was on a French train. There why don't you do that? Because he's affirming my my contention that the, the French Olympics are to be based on B.O. and cigarette smoke. <laughs> really big pumpkin coming back in uh, in sports. Okay, You don't care for pumpkin. 
I don't I'm care. I'm sad that you have to do the story. The flavor, I don't care. You I don't, don't like, like the, the smell. Texture, I don't like the smell. <laughs> you don't like a pumpkin pie? I, I didn't watch, I didn't participate in Charlie Brown's The Great Pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> I liked, I liked you don't Charlie like Brown Christmas. Didn't participate. I didn't watch it when I was a kid. I didn't like it when Are I was you a kid. Serious? I'm absolutely serious. I, where, where do you, I dislike pumpkin. You went outside and sat on the porch. Intensely. I went outside and sat in our channels. car. Where do, you, around the where, where do you stand on carving pumpkins for Halloween? I don't care for that either. Yeah. Dangerous. I know. I'm, I'm a savant, you know. I won't do it. No, you you're not. You should see him. On October 30th, he walks around the neighborhoods kicking jack o lanterns <laughs> I will never forget the day he brought a pumpkin. Remember this, Christy? He brought a pumpkin in to, to carve it. Yep. And he has this gigantic knife out, and he's whipping it around. Yeah. It's like he's going to cut his hand off any minute. <laughs> Saws all. Yeah, you got to drills. Oh, I, I, I used to win that competition every year. Yes. You know, uh, you know, now, um, very also coming up, <laughs> we have a great story about, uh, I'm sure most of you were following this ace. You probably saw the Chinese half marathon. Uh but there's actually something pretty funny going on. Oh. Yeah. Uh, put it this way. Some of the participants were deliberately slowing down. Really? And waving the Chinese guy up front. Because, <laughs> you know, you don't want to get you. shot. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll find out about that. Uh, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. at the studio with right. the Wizzo meter and um, we have uh, the crew standing by uh, Chick are you going to come and follow me and uh... yes no, okay this okay. would be wonderful mm -hmm. and do you want to explain what the Wizzo meter is Christy yes it's a small device that you hook to a urinal and men of course uh, urinate into the device and it reads out a velocity, I guess, would be the correct term. It's like. Are you there, Tom? Can you hear us now? Can you can you hear me? Oh yeah, we yes. hear you loud and clear. Can you hear me? I hear oh, you yes. also, chick. So you guys are moving down to the oh, men's room. I want to tell you something. Um, our, like a our radar gun. Our crew member is. Uh, Dressed in a rape. <laughs> I see he's in a poncho, in a and uh, you know you take every precaution because <laughs> these guys you don't know where it's going to go. Yeah. No names. I hope you don't get that bifurcated thing, you know. We have set up the Wizzo meter, uh, Christy. It's just kind of like a radar gun for urination. Kind exactly. Of, but they don't yes. use radar. No. Okay. It uses a little here? wheel that you yeah. spin. We're like going a in the minutes. We're going in. <laughs> Uh, you two are gonna. You, um, are you two Tom, gonna whiz together at the same time? No, no, no. no, no. Tom is at the. Uh, I'm, I'm at the urinal. Where's he Chick? Is, uh, can you? Can, do you want? Do you have the tester? Should we test it one time first? I have a squirter bottle with water in it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna squirt. The, this is a really heavy squirter. I don't think any human being could do. Okay, I'm squirting, and the whizzo meter is reading 10, 14, 8. Uh, looks like um, the total readout, uh, 14 was the high. You know, you really didn't even squeeze it. I Give was going to say. Okay, you're coming out of a squirt bottle. Are you sure it's not on spray? out of it. Oh, my God. There, what? there's, uh, it got up to 80. You got to wow. squeeze it, Tom. Yeah, that's what. Oh. 80? 80. I can't go up to 80. Well, I know you can't go up to 80, but you were, like, doing this like a little Nancy guy. <laughs> I was like, it's a little wheel go around. Eh? Okay, <laughs> okay, Flo Max. We'll see how you do. Okay, I'm going to. So the way it works is after you checked it again, and uh, it's um, reading up 50. So it, is, it, it works like a radar gun. Right. Okay. Okay, I am going to. Uh, Are you going to oh, unzip God. and uh, see what you got? He's, he's reaching yeah, now is any, we've not tried this with, no, I don't want to splash in anybody here. Oh, he's, well, let's uh, hope not. We're getting ready to go. Okay, I'm going, I'm ripping it here. This oh, is the best God. I can do. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> this is no good. What kind there of speed? Are taking, there are people taking pictures. <laughs> what kind of speed you got going on? I, I'm afraid there may be some additional audio. You get a warm-up lap? There may be some additional audio. <laughs> 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 yeah, sorry. Did I, did uh, you 26 was the high. I'm sorry, what? Uh, 26. 26. <laughs> oh my God! There's your prostate check. It looks what? like. And it looks like chick. When you did it, there's there's water all over the floor. Okay, okay, come on in, prostate king. Uh, okay. No, I'm not saying I'm gonna do any better, but okay, yeah. now chick's gonna you get know, up I, there. I have a. I have a shy bladder. Well, I'm not going to look. Well, he's going to stand there for an hour trying to whiz because he has a shy bladder. He needs two hands to handle the monster. I can't. Did you find it yet? I don't know. He's digging. Have you found it yet? I don't know if I can do this when everybody wants me. Okay, are you going yet? No. You haven't even started? No, I can't go. Hey, everybody turn your head. 
Hey, nobody look. <laughs> oh my God! I can't think, about, think about Niagara Falls. Uh huh. Think about think about wet uh, things. Think about Niagara yeah. Falls. Think, think about, about water. Turn the faucet on. I have to turn the faucet on. Jeez. Why? You don't want to stay in the water? Oh, my girl. Oh, oh, he's finally started. Okay, there we go. Uh huh. He's going. What kind of? Well, I can't get the wheel to turn. <laughs> now, no. now if, if there's any kind of gaseous emission, it voids the arena. Forty-six, arena. fifty-four, fifty-six. Oh. <laughs> So, okay. well, did you get 56? What, what, what is the readout? 56. 56. Ooh, chick. Very and, uh, Tom, you had 20? 24. Mine was, what was mine, 20-something? 20, 20. Wow. Maybe you should uh, have your prostate checked. Are you, still, are you still going? Yeah, I told you I had to go, man. <laughs> <laughs> You're, I'm sorry, the well, test is well, over. Maybe we, can do, maybe we can do a commercial break. <laughs> <laughs> the camel releases. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so well, Okay, wow. uh, anybody else have to go? Well, we've got the whole Would you wait? I'm not done yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So the whizzo meter, let me see the readout. Oh, the the okay. key is to get the wheel to spin. Sometimes you, okay. your aim is, is a lot, uh, a key to it. You oh, probably I see. didn't hit the wheel. You have to aim? You have yeah. to aim. You can't arc the it in there, Tom. Well, I got a question for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who's going to take this thing out of the urinal? <laughs> oh, well, well, I'm we sure we can find an intern Why to not? do that for us. Do we have any interns? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we're heading back in. Hey, it's Josh from the Bob and Tom Show. Thank you for watching this morning's show. To listen, just go to bobandtom.com, check out the list for a station near you, or stream the online radio station on our website and the Bob and Tom app. The Bob and Tom Show, on air, on app, and on demand. <laughs> You're listening to Bob and Tom Radio. <laughs> Essential Morning Radio. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7. 24 7. Eyebrow dandruff. That's yeah. disgusting. <laughs> Is that a thing? I'm not proud of it. There was, that's, why that's you, why would you bring you. that up on the air? That's I just... didn't. It was Christy did. It was said in oh, confidence off sorry. the air. Yeah. Don't ever say eyebrow dandruff in front of a potential lover. Oh. oh, okay. oh no. Hey, look, ladies. If I'm on top, you might get sprinkled on. <laughs> well, let it snow. If you're on top, well. yeah, I'll just let everybody else finish that. Oh, I see. Oh. If you're on top, you got about eight eight <laughs> seconds to live. Is that it? I wouldn't say eight. If you're on top godspeed to your ribs ladies <laughs> that we're getting up? <laughs> now we've got a couple of heads in here that have a lot of skin on them one would be mine the other would belong to clint howard actor now are, are you in every one of your brother ron howard's movies oh no there's been a lot actually um the one that stopped the streak was um oh ransom and then i wasn't in Beautiful Mind, and I wasn't in any of the Da Vinci Code movies. Did that hurt your feelings? Can I say it pisses me off? Yeah, of course you can. Sure. Your honesty is wonderful and refreshing. Yes. <laughs> you don't say we didn't warn you. Oh, my God. There's laughter ahead. This Corner. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Just uh, gliding right through a... Uh, a hump day, Tom. We're switching to glide. Hump day, baby. <laughs> how's that? Uh, how's that hump day treat? Makes me feel. Old, right? How's that hump day? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, here's something for you. Uh, <laughs> it's like my old radio game. Who's responsible for giving him that? Um, Actually, Rex Chapman on Twitter had put that up for me uh, a couple hours ago, and he said, "You're not going to believe this." <laughs> Uh, Rex has a new book out, by the way. It's not easy living with me. It's, it's a great a, book. A, a memoir. It's really he has an opioid addiction. He's a really great guy. So okay, cool. Check um, that out. Now, um, we are, uh, once again, stumbling through something resembling a sports cast. Stumbling. Um, an Australian man, good day, has con- And what is the capital of Australia? Uh, Camber. Uh, oh, that's a cheese. Coheed and Cambria. Um, Cambria, right? Second City TV. Cam- I'm Camber. 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 That's America. right. Give her a um, fish. Uh, Australian man has converted a prize-winning pumpkin into a canoe. Oh, I like when people do they this. Do that every year. ABC. You know what? Rip it up. <laughs> <Don't> they... <laughs> 
Isn't that done in the late fall, Ace? Yeah, usually. What See, the this hell? is because Where's Australia is upside down. ABC. Yes, it is. The Australian Broadcasting Corporation. Oh. They, stole that. they stole that from America. They sure did. <laughs> they report that the nearly 900-pound pumpkin grown by Mr. Mark Peacock. They stole that from NBC. <laughs> Mr. Peacock was the biggest pumpkin awarded in any show across the country in 2024. Now, oh. you're probably wondering, why would I choose this dumb story? Oh, no, I'm, 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 I'm coming to, up to you, it. You're about to find out why. His friend, Adam <laughs> Farquharson. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. No, That's, uh, spell his name. Get, get, a, uh, get yep. a pencil. Here we go. All right. Adam, yeah. traditional yeah. spelling. A-T-O-M. Adam. F-A-R-Q. F-A-R-Q. U. H-A-R-S-O-N. Farquharson. Farquharson. Uh, but you say Farker Farkerson? It's not Fark you <laughs> Farson? <laughs> and, 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 and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> no, yeah, I believe it's so uh, I think it's it's I think the maybe the H is maybe it is Far wasn't, Farquharson. Wasn't that the guy on the Hee Haw radio show? Hi, I'm Al Farkerson and welcome to wasn't that <laughs> Oh the, yeah, something like that. Uh, yeah. Something like that. Huh. Yeah, Farquhar. He saw an opportunity to have some fun and convince his friend to hollow out the monstrous gourd nicknamed Tormund after Game of Thrones character, the red-haired Tormund giant Spain, Mr. Farquharson, a former Commodore of the Tumut Canoe Club, T-U-M-U-T. Uh, Tumut? A lot of silliness in Australia. Uh, took the pumpkin canoe on a one-mile journey down the Tumut River. Mm. The mighty Tummet. <laughs> that there's the, the Tummet. Uh, there's the a, mouth of the mighty Tummet. And the guy, there he is, sitting in the canoe with a captain's hat on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which makes it even funnier. It's like Lord, it's huge. like he's about to take on <laughs> some passengers. That. And it looks awesome. You know what? I've looked at that. The, that actual hat that guy's wearing, to start wearing that in my... Uh, I can get you one of those. In my evening years. I, uh... You know who did that? Oh, yeah. Um, Hefter did uh, it. It looked yeah. ridiculous. Not a chick. You could do it for I think, sure. I think I, you could absolutely do it. You would look ridiculous. No I, boat in sight, I, and I don't care for boats, or wa I'm not that crazy about water. I just what? got rid You're like of a one lazy of those. river. I used to until Tom ruined it for me. A right. captain hat in a lazy river is, is real funny. Because <laughs> yeah. you're really not captaining. <laughs> yeah, just don't let the hat, don't let the hat get in the, the river because the urine will stain it. <laughs> That's a frat party waiting to happen. It isn't me and a captain's hat in the lazy now, river. The photograph I have is a close up, and he has the word Cinderella written on the. On the pumpkin? Yeah, in huge letters. Well, so I don't know why coach. they said he named it the Tummet or whatever. The... But they named it after Tormund. Right, it it, that's wrong. right. Pumpkin yeah. coach was her coach. Yeah. yeah. Sure, yeah. Yeah, of course. But I mean, okay, so there's a, the, the boat has two names? It's bad luck, it seems to me, to have to name a boat uh, to a yeah, Okay, of course. It's going to sink. Um, and this, by the way, do they show it sinking? Because uh, water was seeping in the eyes and mouth holes. Uh, he carved it. Oh, <laughs> boy. Yeah, you're not supposed to. Yeah, I wonder what happened there. <laughs> oh, he carved the pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, gourd for him. Uh, gourd for him. That sports. Are we going to sit here and accept gourd for no. him? Gourd no. For no. Him. Oh, wait a minute. Did you say him. gourd for him? <laughs> <laughs> Coming up, we have gravy news, and I'm talking baby gravy from salmon. Organizers of the Beijing Half Marathon are investigating allegations that three African athletes slowed down to allow a Chinese star runner to finish first. You know why? <laughs> yeah, yeah. They'd be shot if yeah. they did. They wanted yeah. to. Well, yeah, they, they, th here's the sound effect. Uh, th this is not the beginning of the race. This is the end of the race. Oh, just short of the finish line. Jeez. Footage appeared to show Kenya's that Robert so Keeter. Loud. I think I lost all my hearing. I thought I, I wasn't looking at him. I thought he pulled a gun out. It was so loud. It, it was really loud. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's I can't okay. hear. Do so you dead. have access to your God. volumes over there? No, they don't work. Uh, <laughs> I believe him. I, I, uh, I told Eddie to fix this thing. He has no, no idea. They don't work. Uh, Eddie doesn't do anything around here. Yeah, what's his yeah. problem? <laughs> Talk about lazy. Huh? Yeah. Oh, he's probably soldering something. Footage right. appeared to show Kenya's Robert Keeter and Willie Mnangat. That's M-N-A-N-G-A-T. Mnangat. <laughs> and he wrote Ethiopia's the song Mbop. Oh. <laughs> Ethiopia's Dejean Hello. 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 <laughs> Dejean. Slowing Hello. down and waving past oh. China's He G. H-E-J-I-E. He G. He G. No, me G. 
<laughs> Meat chick. E-G. E-G. Meat chick. <laughs> the incident was criticized by some Chinese social media users. Those accounts have been deleted. <laughs> those <laughs> names will be appearing in the China obituaries <laughs> coming up soon. According to a spokesman from BBC Sport Africa, the trio ran as pacemakers and were not there to compete. The runners were contracted to help Mr. He break the Chinese half marathon record. He missed out on the record by a little over a minute. It did not work. That's right. All the other runners here to help me, to aid me in my running. <laughs> yeah, the, when the finish line is at Tiananmen Square, you, you, it makes you run a little quicker. <laughs> uh, you run up to the tank and take a right. <laughs> yeah. With the, the guys on fire next to the bicycle, leave them alone. <laughs> okay. Uh, there you go. Chinese half marathon. All right. right. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, right. Is that complete our sports broadcast? That's complete. You know what the problem sport, yeah. what? with Chinese marathons is? is uh, you, you finish wanna... one, and then an hour later, you want to run another one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's sports. <laughs> there you go. There you go, whatever you do. Always remember, Chinese sport. marathoner, PG Michik. Uh, thank you very much. Coming up, we have um, Axe body spray in the news. and um, Yeah, Daddy, tell me. Uh, baby gravy. And uh, Jennifer Aniston in a face full of sperm. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. That's not. No. That's not She's America's that. sweetheart. Yeah. You can't yeah. say that. How you dare no. talk about her like that? Because that's what the story's about. Not. Oh, that's what she uses? To yeah, that's what she uses on her face. It's salmon sperm. Oh. All right. I don't know well. where your filthy minds went. Well, she's not, the, not that she hasn't entertained the occasional. <laughs> I had no idea Brad Pitt had seen the salmon sperm. I had no idea. When we come back, we'll elaborate. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Hey, thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show. Two comedians. We are joined by uh, Jimmy Pardo. Uh, also, another guy. It's comedian Chad Daniels. Chad, I, I understand that you have a, an injury, that nothing humorous about it, but uh, you look like you're in a little bit of pain. I broke my tailbone. Yeah. Did you break it like Damn. recently or uh, a week and a half ago? Okay. Tailgating, I was, tailgating you, too, you following too closely. You, what you the? can't uh, put a cast on that, can you? No, you mm-hmm. can't. No. Mm-hmm. Uh, I was drywalling. I kept bending over to measure and cut and everything, and I guess my leg muscles were too tight or something like that, and it kept rocking it back and forth till finally it snapped. What? From so you didn't even hit from it on I didn't hit it on anything. From right. bending over and yeah, that's the kind of shape I'm in. Where's it? <laughs> oh. and, oh, wow. Uh, Never heard of such a thing. Yeah, the doctor said it happens a lot to pregnant women, which was really awesome to hear from your doctor. Mm-hmm. Are, are your breasts tender? <laughs> no, You're the first uh, first man for that to happen to. Mm-hmm. Was it? I, uh, wow. It must. It sounds like it was incredibly painful. It sounds like it. Yeah, is painful. my wife actually couldn't sit down for a while. Sympathy pains. <laughs> what? Hey, what? Well, what? Well, Nailed it. Yeah. Ding, 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 oh, ding, 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 ding. We said there was nothing ding, funny about ding, that. Ding, ding, Bam. ding, oh, ding, Wait ding. Wait a minute, ding. hold it. Hey! Yeah! yeah. Hello, right. Friday morning. Hello. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh. It's so. time for the air base. Ooh, here we go. <laughs> Come on now. Everybody got her? This is the guy that perfected it. Jimmy Pardo, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Hey. Hey. the lyrics a little red bone hey, hey. <laughs> what seven we the get get back get back get get back say it again hey hey <laughs> what the matter with you wake up my chicken <laughs> oh wait we've got something new what happened oh Lou Reed oh yeah <laughs> oh <laughs> Jimmy Pardo on the air base, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Man, like you just don't care. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you know what? I go this way. Oh, oh, oh now suddenly it's in a stand-up stand up, stand up acoustic bill. That's Fair new. Enough. Yeah, right. I like that. Very nice. Hold your hold your left hand higher. Remember, it's you. Holly Kiss <laughs> Jerk. It's not a stand-up cello. Turn it off. Turn it off. It's not a stand-up cello. Got it. That's it. That's it. You ruined it. You ruined everybody's fun. Uh, sorry. You ruined everybody's fun. Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. 
ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or any time. Excuse me, are, um, are you serious with it? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I, uh, look, there's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Josh, what's wrong? My back is sore, my legs. What's in your shoe? Nothing. Mm -hmm. I mean, here, look, nothing. Ah, uh, Joshua, you have to have proper support. Huh. Orange insoles. Orange insoles, you say? Yeah, look. Yeah, yeah I see them. Look at this. They're great. Yeah. Orange insoles. I'll give them a shot. Great. All see right. you later, buddy. Give it a... oh. Yippee! I can mow and dance while I do it. Ha! No more pain. Thank you, orange insoles. <gasps> oh, Josh, Josh, did you get orange insoles? Jessica, I sure did. Thanks to orange insoles, I feel great. Terrific. Give See you a... later. <laughs> orange insoles. Feel better, do more. Britney's new look, Bob and Tom Labs is proud to introduce their new perfume, Bald. B-A-L-D. Bald. A fragrance for today's unraveling woman. <laughs> she's kooky, she's crazy, and she's getting bald. <laughs> Tomorrow's my girlfriend's birthday, and she'll definitely be getting bald. <laughs> what woman wouldn't love to get bald? My wife and I are celebrating our 30th anniversary soon. I thought she'd be thrilled when I told her she was gonna get bald, but she just rolled over and went back to sleep. <laughs> okay, almost everybody wants to get bald. Be sure to get some today. Just look for the slick box. And you'll know you're getting bald. B A L D. Bald. <laughs> Lord Coretta is a fine young comedian. Uh, are you a health yeah. guy? You run, you look very slender. And uh, I'm not a, a big health guy, although I'm healthy. I just uh, had a complete physical, and uh, unfortunately, I'm at that age where you get the real intense physical. No, yeah. yeah you know, I hope I'm not sharing too much, but mm -mm. the doctor actually stuck a camera. In my rectum. Oh. It wasn't part of any procedure. He just suspected that his nurse was stealing from him. <laughs> Bob and Tom. Well meaning, but Yeah, they're they're Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom show. Christy Lee at the news desk. Yo. There's Pat Godwin. Hey, Chick. Being all Pat Godwin over there in the performance That's room. Right. There's Josh Arnold. Chick, how are you, man? He's at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. I'm okay. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee at the OrangeInsoles.com sports desk. And here's Tom. Be careful. About what? About you. About Christy? I think we, uh, I think we angered her during the last uh, me? exchange. Well, I have no doubt. <laughs> I'm sure we anger her all the time. Real whiny. I'm fine. Okay, well, just now the award-winning newscaster, Christy Lee. It's the latest. She's day. in her high school Hall of Fame. Huh? <laughs> Are you, Josh? No, not at all. Do you have a Hall of Fame? She's in the... Uh, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. She's in the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Wow, yeah. You're in the Broadcasters yeah, Hall of Fame. Yeah, but I'm not in my high school Hall of Fame. Bob's in the Broadcasters Hall of Fame. 
<laughs> Might be your year. Nah, I, evidently not. I pissed some people off the Hall of Fame, I guess. I don't know. It's Ooh. fine. I don't... You know what, though? <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. The darn right. <laughs> don't you love that with something like that? Obviously, Actually, and honestly. It's eating them alive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all they care about. Yeah, I, Ace, I'm not going to tell him I'm working on your acceptance speech <laughs> with you. Oh, my um, God. If Ace gets in, I will walk in. I mean, I think that would be great. <laughs> there's, been yes. a, there's been a little bit of a shakeup over there, so great. we'll see what we can do for oh, you. Oh, if I Wouldn't ever... it be awesome if I was thinking about Christy yesterday? You were. In a, not a nice way, yeah. <laughs> Yanking Wouldn't it, it be great? <laughs> no, <laughs> I would never. I would never disrespect you like that. No, no. I'm sure I wasn't listening. How can I do this? <laughs> you were thinking about me. What? I'm sorry. I Wouldn't mean... it be amazing? I, I, there's a chance. There is a chance now. It's highly improbable that Christy Lee is a trained operative for some sort of elite <laughs> fighting squad, <laughs> and it just takes the right code word to to get that going. You know what I'm saying? It's in her brain. Where if somebody were to say Wolverine. Wolverine. Municipal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, yeah. Inside, yeah. inside and then joke. I just go nuts in here. Yeah. That, what, that's your least Silver, favorite word to say on the air? Silver minnow. Municipal. Municipal's hard for you to get on. Yeah, I, I, we all have words we can never say. I have yeah, several. True. But we say it on accident, and she just starts like, whipping butt. Like Kill Bill? Yeah, yeah. I think I, I'm Uma Thurman. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I wished. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Who would be the first I'd take out? That's what I was wondering. <laughs> She's looking right at me. What did I do? Uh, Who she would just leap for. Uh, all right. Let's do some news, shall we? It's the latest anti-aging treatment, and it has people injecting salmon sperm into their skin. The oh. facial treatment first garnered widespread attention after Jennifer Aniston revealed that she does it. And, and by the way, it's parenthetical. It's not in this article. Someone... Uh, uh, texted me apparently this cost a thousand dollars now probably they started actually in south korea i know a little bit about it the facial treatment first garnered a uh, widespread attention with jennifer but writing for the standard melanie mcdonough said she tried the procedure saying she received an injection under each eye five shots on each side of the face and five injections on her hands the effects are said to be immediate and last for about six to eight months. She said after three treatments, she saw fresher, firmer-looking skin and more even tone while her hands had a plumper, less spotty appearance. So Less spotty, even. Yeah, take, take rid of the sunspots, huh? Hmm. Um, how does one access salmon sperm? Well, that's all, you don't want to go into that. That They take no. the DNA out of the sperm and then they make it. Whatever's in the DNA of the salmon is what... The chemical that is hmm. causing the collagen. This sounds, this sounds very L.A. fake to me. Kind of like those vampire facials that yeah. Kim Kardashian Oh, yeah. Was, yeah. Yeah. What about the odor? I mean, you know, as it is, you've already got the fish thing going down south. <laughs> salmon scented <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> the salmon thing. <laughs> you make a stranger. <laughs> I don't want to ruin your jokes with facts, so you just uh, go right ahead. Okay. Oh, boy, that's the our policy here. The old uh, Saki yeah. Bukaki. Oh, <laughs> is, isn't Saki a Korean? Is it, it's yeah. Japanese. Oh, yeah. sorry, wrong country. <laughs> My fault. What's the big Korean booze? Um, oh, what is it called? Um, oh boy. I mean, it tastes like rubbing alcohol. Eek. What is that guy? I'm so sorry. I don't remember. It'll come to you. Yeah, it will come to me. Well, that's what happened to Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> <laughs> the salmon. Oh, come to me. Uh, soju. Soju is soju. the. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. How do you spell it? S O J U, and that's that's an alcohol. Yes. Is it? Yeah. What color is it? Clear. Is yeah. do they do shots of it or do you put it in stuff? Uh, you can like uh, a show, both. Soju margarita. Uh, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Yeah, you can do both. First thing of a again. You know what it was? It was <laughs> that's a German. <laughs> One of the allies. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Axis. <laughs> well, well. Here we are. Yes, indeed. You could mix, they would mix it with uh, yogurt. It was this yogurt. Oh. Uh, I'm not kidding. Oh, it was this my. yogurt drink that was sort of like, it was like. Like kind a of, smoothie? Kind of milky. Oh, uh, and God. it wasn't bad. And then you would have, you'd put mix with soju with it. And it, it actually wasn't terrible. But you oh. said it as, uh, when you, as a shot, it tasted awful. Oh, just. I mean, it is just pure alcohol. It's, it's, uh, and just, you get so hammered. Just. <laughs> anyway, so, so you, you, they, they don't just rub semen's. Uh, excuse me, no. salmon semen on your face? No, it's Bane. an injection. Okay. Wouldn't it attract bears? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, think. 
I mean, you're out in the woods all of a sudden because those they have a really good sense of smell, right? Oh, they, sure, they can yeah. tell when a uh, woman's cycling, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Or jogging or skating, <laughs> walking. I can let you guys go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they know. I'm just saying, you got, it's a seafood buffet. Some chicks got all the... Menses is what uh. I meant. Okay. Uh, so anyway, it's a headline, <laughs> shooting seed all over Rachel. And <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> So sorry, my fault. Speaking of smells, livestock farmers have discovered an unusual method of appeasing aggressive sheep. Axe body spray. Mm. According to the Wall Street Journal, the unique solution was shared amongst the UK face group Ladies Who Lamb. Boy, that's exciting. That's group. odd. <laughs> oh no, they're 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 shepherdesses. Shepherdesses. Is it, what is right. the, is it is the is shepherd, shepherds a a shepherd gender would be neutral a boy, term, right? I would think. Can a shepherd be a lady? Shepherd herder, or is it she shepherd? It's a sheepherd if it's a woman, right? Uh, oh uh, no, but uh, sheepherd. Uh, very, very clever. Those who have sheep say the body spray, known as Lynx in the UK, masks the hormones that cause rams to butt heads. The women almost exclusively use Lynx Africa for its very distinctive, strong smell. Retired police officer Sam Bryce told the journal that she sprays the deodorant regularly on her rams to keep them from fighting. Suffolk sheep dress Caitlin mm. Jenkins mm. said she also employs the body spray to convince ewes to mother orphaned lambs. <laughs> but mm. this is bizarre. I, I saw the video this morning on the uh, network news. Are you serious? And they showed a woman going around <laughs> spraying <laughs> Axe body wow. spray on the sheep. Oh. Wow. Interesting. This quiets the sheep down because uh, they're concerned that horny teenage boys could come after them. <laughs> they're, trying to, you know, they're trying to keep it within the species. Um, that's really amazing. Yes. Uh, I didn't. I didn't. It's also interesting to me that they changed the name of Axe over in England. to Lynx. Mm -hmm. I wonder why. Maybe there's another product called Axe already. That's it. Yeah. Oh, you think? Probably. Yeah. Or is it, does does is there a sad history of axe murderers or something? Oh jeez! In England, <laughs> yeah, I thought mm. that was an American thing. Well, Jack the Ripper. Did he, did he use he an axe? axe? He did not use an axe. No. I thought he strangled. No. Did he strangle? Oh no, he <laughs> disemboweled. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I guess that's where he gets the Ripper part. Doesn't <laughs> yeah. it? A, lot of, a lot of stabbing. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, surgical uh, almost. Yeah. Uh, what's Thanks. coming up in the news, Christy? Stabby. Oh, we still have time. You're getting ahead of us. According to NBC <laughs> Montana, the Asian elephant named Viola escaped from her pen recently from the Jordan World Circus and was spotted roaming the streets of Butte, Montana. Hey, how uh, you doing? <laughs> how funny was that? Oh, so funny. She's driving down the street. Look, there's a loose elephant. <laughs> Witnesses told <laughs> Witnesses told the station that the elephant defecated on a lawn before she was captured by her handlers. Sure. Boy, Good I don't think her. my pooper scooper would handle that. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I need your snow shovel. <laughs> Got there with a big bag. It's like a garbage bag. <laughs> As for how the animal escaped, it is believed Viola got spooked by a truck that backfired while she was getting a bath. Oh, so Aww. they don't ever tie it up? Or? There she is. Oh, my God. Oh, wow. oh, there she is just walking across the highway. Right How's it going? by a gas station. It's crazy. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? <laughs> Oh Cars just having to yeah. deal with it. Her Nothing to see off. here. That would be amazing. She's crossing like a six-lane highway. Yeah. Yeah. Man. God, that's great. Elephants do have the right of way, though. Of course. Yeah. Always. Yes. Yes. Can you imagine the meeting where they announced that, well, fellas, uh, I guess we're going to have to address the elephant that's not in the room. <laughs> <laughs> because because she's uh, she's outside yeah, somewhere. Yeah, she, she escaped. Uh, Chris, do you have an in with a zoo, right? Sort of, yeah. Can I pet an elephant? Yes. You can get me to really? Yes, absolutely. <laughs> can I French kiss a giraffe? <laughs> well, you that do get close to them. Tougher. You get very close. You can yeah. feed them. So no, no. I will never my elephants Feed them my tongue is what I want to tell you about. Uh, good luck with I that. They're so hot. We were shooting a TV spot with a uh, with an elephant. Uh, and it, it was <laughs> you in were? a... were? Yeah. It got real messy. And it was in a... Um, <laughs> it was in a uh, 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 covered parking area. Was this mm -hmm. here? Yeah. Uh, at the old Market Square Arena. Yeah. And they had the, they had the covered parking, sure. whatever you call it, parking, parking garage, garage thing. Yeah. <laughs> and um, that's where the elephants were. And the elephant has, is one of... He, was right there next to me and with the handler. And uh, well, I was interviewing the handler, and uh, I was wearing, believe it or not, um, there there used to be a brand of, I don't know, they may still have them, sweatpants called Zubaz. 
Sure, <laughs> sure. And they were kind of like lightweight, like beach pants, sort of. I can't believe you were wearing them. Oh, yeah, he wore Zubas. Yeah. Oh, and I had red Ray-Bans. It was a little... <laughs> Well, it was effective in its time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, and uh, do you remember this, Christy? And the and the yep. elephant. This was a circus elephant, yeah, right? The, yeah, the elephant yeah. reached into my pocket and took my keys. Huh. And uh, There's where you got your fear of pickpockets. And the, <laughs> and the the guy grabbed them very quickly Yeah. before the elephant could eat them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and, I don't know that an elephant would just eat And them. I don't know much about elephants, but they do have... Um, a, uh, a, a, you know. a serious amount of uh, a viscous uh, elephant snot, if you will, oh. covering my keys. Absolutely true. Well, count yourself lucky. What if he, the elephant, she, he, had swallowed your keys? Oh, yeah. yeah. It would have been colander time. What yeah. a great car. 280Z. Wire oh. wheels. Were good. Those wire were wheels. Yeah. Sunroof. Yeah, had that light blue. It was so uh, pretty. Five-speed ah. transmission. Those were yeah. the days, my friends. Yeah. Anybody can hook me up with an Opel GT I'd like to talk an to. Opel an GT. Opel GT? Okay. Yeah, yeah, I, I can get you one of those. Yeah, those are... Those, the, 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 the Hang on. For free? No. Oh, no. The, <laughs> Datsun, the Datsun 280Z, far superior uh, to an Opel problem GT. The with the Datsun 280Z is the rust thing, but... Yeah. I think so. Yeah, it's yeah. an it's an overlooked car. The Opal. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Look like a little that like look a junior Corvette. Wasn't as you right when you think I'm being insane. Wasn't an elephant the official spokes animal for the Opal? The Opal Cadet. I don't remember. I don't look remember that up. That. You the look Opal that up Cadet and you was. Tell that, me about the elephant. You the see. Opal Cadet was a different car. The right, Opal right, GT right. was the one that looked like a vet. But Opal was. Uh, uh, could be. Yeah, I'm sure it was an elephant. I always like the name Opal for like a, an old lady. I like it for a, 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 a birthstone. It was my dog's oh. name, oh, yeah. Opal. Oh. Opal and Ruby. Mm -hmm. What happened to Opal? She died. Yeah. Mm. yeah. How about Ruby? Uh, hey. Died. Yeah. By the way, I actually had someone come up to me yesterday and go, Oh, no. <laughs> about my mom? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They I'm said, getting a lot of comments on said, that. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with Chick? I'm sorry. Oh, Terribly sorry. Oh, you know what? Okay. Life, death, man, yeah. woman, yeah. birth. Come a long on. Yeah, it's all cycle. Circle yeah. of life, yeah. isn't yeah. it? Yeah. By the way, right. they, they, did, they did capture the elephant, right? Yes, they did. And they, I, put it, they had to put it down. Oh, uh, they did it? Oh, oh. I was wrong <laughs> put, it, put it right down. Oh, my goodness. I guess the elephant right, hold still. still. I guess the elephant was going to say, Hey, I heard about that thing with no animals at the circus. What the hell? Where's the backhoe? Uh, right now, <laughs> the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is all about, uh, well, it's a really smart idea, g making it e much, much easier to access therapy. So um, if you've been thinking about therapy, uh, well, how about uh, thinking about this? Yeah, which The way it works, it's everything's done online. So you, you take a questionnaire online and you'll be matched up with one of more than 35,000 licensed therapists. And if uh, the, that one doesn't work out, you can switch therapists. No additional fees are involved for that. And the way it works is the therapy itself is done online. So it could be done like a phone call. It could be done like a Zoom call with the cameras on. It could be done texting back and forth. It's all about what suits your needs. And of course, the one thing it's going to suit is saving you a lot of time because you're not going to have to drive across town devoting a lot of time to that and sitting in an office and wondering what, what's that guy here for. It's uh, all about privacy. And it's uh, about using that tool that you've got somewhere probably carrying with you all the time. And that, of course, is uh, is the, your access to the Internet with your phone, et cetera, et cetera. So see what I'm talking about. Find your social sweet spot. Uh, improve your ability to socialize. Whatever might be bothering you, there are things you can do to recharge and feel better. That's where BetterHelp comes in. BetterHelp.com is the place to go. And you add that slash BT show to get 10% off your first month. It's BetterHelp dot com slash bt show and that's help h-e-l-p better help h-e-l-p better help dot com slash bt show uh, and this part of the bob and tom show is brought to you by better help when we come back we have oktoberfest news um <clears throat> you're going to be quite surprised by this one also a airline for dogs it's coming Yay. this is the bob and tom show Well, Mummy Cats, can you favor us with a tune? We got something, baby. This song's called Kinda Lingers. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda Lingers. That's right, baby. Get those words right. <laughs>
song about molecules and that kind of lingers there. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, a fantastic arrangement. Great, great saxophones, etc., etc. Thank you, mummies. <laughs> Bob and Tom. For your information, these are two of the worst kids I have ever encountered in my life. And I worked the state fair. We were stupid before stupid was cool. There's a trend that I've, I've been noticing uh, in uh, watching the news that uh, who are these people that protest death row inmates when the prisoner wants to die? The word nosy comes to mind. <laughs> It's inhumane. It's inhumane. Oh, yeah, because he was real human. A lot of humans keep a freezer full of heads. <laughs> they're, they're so self-righteous out there on the picket line. Stop the killing. Stop the killing. No, I think you're missing the point here. <laughs> he wants to die. State wants him dead. Families want him dead. Oh, but you want him to live. Fine. He can live <laughs> with you. <laughs> <laughs> and when he's done drinking soup out of your skull, <laughs> dabbing his mouth with your peace pan, <laughs> we'll come by, put a bullet in his head, and the world will have two less psychos to worry about. You don't say we didn't warn you. There's laughter ahead. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Hey. We're all here in our places with bright, shining faces. Got a letter. Here's, here's Tom. We're talking about nicknames. 
Yes. And uh, especially when a, someone gets a nickname that's really valid, that's based on some real event. Um, got this great one. Uh, this is uh, uh, from uh, a gent. He goes, I was stationed at Fort Hood in the early 80s. We had an exercise in which we had to overtake a machine gun point. Oh. We were in teams of four. On the way back to our starting place, one of the guys I was with broke off from our group to relieve himself in some bushes. Hmm. Just as we got even with the bushes, we heard a rattle of a rattlesnake. Oh, man. The guy had been peeing on a curled-up rattlesnake. He let out a scream and took off running. Oh. The snake tried to strike but missed. Oh. This guy ran all the way back while flopping in the breeze. <laughs> when I left Fort Hood in 85, he was still known as Snake. <laughs> oh, that's oh. very good. For two reasons, yeah. apparently. Yeah. yeah. Apparently, Snake was uh, extraordinarily well endowed. Oh, lucky he didn't. Imagine? Lucky he didn't get. Uh, yeah, like Ken to, Stabler. Yeah. All right. The snake. The snake. You know who Ken Stabler was Christy. A uh, football player. Yes. What yes. Who did he play for? Uh, was Cowboys. His... No. 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 Who, who was his coach? Psst. I have no idea. Bart Starr. I don't know. Yes, Bart Starr coached the Raiders. Right? <laughs> Three seasons. I never will forget it. Yeah, I know. it was Joe DiMaggio. But yeah, let's move on. Who was it? Oakland. He's going to let me coach? answer because John, John, John Madden was his oh, coach. Oh, okay. There you go. Yeah. Ken Stabler, the snake. He was famous for smoking cigarettes and boozing it up. He's not the one that dated that. <sighs> he dated everybody. Joey Heatherton or whatever. Her name Did, was his oh, nickname the was... snake because of his endowment? Oh. Uh, I don't know if that's ever been verified, but. <laughs> oh. That's yeah. the rumor? Speaking of snakes. That's Wait why, a minute. That's oh. why a certain drag racer is... Oh, Don the, the Snake Perdome? Yes. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, dear, Legendary. Dear superb gentleman and splendid Christy Lee. Well, how nice. Oh. While listening to the elephant on the lamb story, I had to pull over my semi to send this to you, uh, tell you about the time that I had an elephant defecate on me. Oh, no, on this person. <laughs> As a child, we had a party at a certain zoo. <laughs> Could be Cincinnati. <laughs> As a part, we got to wash an Asian elephant. Wow. I had the rear legs. Well, as I scrubbed the back of the right <laughs> rear leg, this awful beast <laughs> let loose its bowels all over me oh. in an intense spray. <laughs> yes, I was crapped on by an elephant. That is brutal. They rushed me off to wash me up and gave me fresh new clothes. Assigned poop, exclamation point. Gave him now, fresh new clothes, so it must poop. not have been the first time that happened. Josh uh, sent us a video. Yeah, what is the and history it's some, on? it's some guy, he's, uh, again, it looks like he's washing the f rear foot of an elephant. Yeah, or maybe even the floor around the elephant, something. Yes. And uh, the elephant sits down, and his <laughs> head is entirely immersed in the elephant's but rear back yes. cavity. The man's head goes into the elephant's butt. And then someone has to come up and help him get out. It's, I know this sounds like a cartoon. It's this amazing. is real. And then this woman comes up and helps pull the guy out. And then what happens, Josh? Immediately, the guy immediately starts vomiting. Oh, well, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I, mean, I didn't watch the video. He told me what it was. And I didn't watch. Well, it's, no, the description. So it's I, staggering. But I'm getting sick now. You're telling me he vomited when he was got out. Yeah. That's awful. I mean, Jonah didn't even have to go through that. Uh, <laughs> well, no, Jonah went you through the mouth. At least. You don't see the vomit. You just see him retching. Yeah. Uh, but uh, it's clear uh, that uh, uh, he's... he's uh, Certainly, yeah, being around elephants is tricky. I wouldn't want to. They've got a smell just standing next to them. I mean, you see, you when you you know where the elephants are in the zoo by scent, in a way. Shameless can... plug. If you want to know more about elephants, you can listen to uh, my new podcast, Worth Your Time. We talked to Dr. Charles Foley about elephants. You know, I listened week. to it and I was shocked to hear that you are very pro ivory. Uh, oh, John, that you <laughs> you. You Come think on. that elephants should no. be detusked and uh, that their ivory uh, oh. should be finer key? I was. I, 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 I thought well, you that's where mother raised her. I know. Jesus. Yeah. How she? How she doing? I, I couldn't believe that you said that. Uh, you want to explain yourself now? Rob Shoemaker and Shocking I talked to Doctor Charles. Okay. Where, where, excuse me, Chris. I'll try to. I'll try God, to I hate you. Negotiate this uh, at last. Where would one find that, Chris? We haven't had a good blatant hostility lately. Any, anywhere you find your podcast, Apple Podcasts, okay. all once, that. Once again, Spotify, yesterday. Everything. Worth Total stranger walked up to me and said, what the hell's wrong with Chick McGee? Okay, let's address this. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> you brought this up yesterday. <laughs> yes, my mother passed away. Yeah. It was in October. Under suspicion. <laughs> <laughs> she was 84, sudden yeah. illness. Right. Um, but we hadn't talked about it on the air. and It was in October, it. though. It was. That's a world away. <laughs>
<laughs> You're talking about Mother's Day. Yeah. Fairly fresh. My first Mother's Day without her. You hang know, on a second. Hang out. on a second. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But, um, yes. It's, yeah. I was shocked to hear in your podcast that you <laughs> fed your mother's body to elephants. <laughs> <laughs> It's one way to dispose. No, it was it was to wild boars, you idiot. You think an elephant can eat a human? What what's wrong? Oh, that's with you? Why, one of the reasons I was so surprised. Well, you got to take the teeth out. Oh, you guys. Oh boy. Well, well. Again, well. total stranger walked up to me yesterday. Hey, Tom. Yeah. I think Josh. What is the hell's the wrong with that, Chick McGee? Josh what? is the only one who has a mom left, right? Pat's oh, Pat. got a mom. Pat's got a mom. Pat's got khaki. Yeah. Good <laughs> God, how old is that woman anyway? Excuse She's got to be 112. Well, let's just uh, Christy read anything in front of you. <laughs> Please. I don't care what it is. Read it. I have a Mother's Day coming up. It would be the Oh, take oh me like a dog, <laughs> Elvis. Is there a dog a airline? Oh, well, Thank you, yeah, Ace. there is a dog airline. A company that makes dog toys is launching an airline for dogs. Bark announced that it has partnered with a <laughs> okay. jet charter company to launch Bark Air. If this if this airplane, when you when you board, walk through and say hello to the stewardess, you put your foot down, and if it doesn't make a dog squeak sound, what are they doing? They've got to do this. Uh, wiki, wiki. But this is strictly a, a charter, right? Right. It's described as the world's first air travel experience. So this, is for, this is for billionaires. Specifically for dogs first and their human companion second. <laughs> the new airline offers pre-flight socializing with fellow pooch passengers as well as dog-centric in-flight experiences that include treats and beverages, noise-canceling earmuffs, and calming jackets. Hey, how was your flight? Oh, it was terrible. It was like the guy next to me had a uh, an emotional support man. Yeah. And he, uh, he crapped. And there was a drunk Irish setter in the back, of course. <laughs> Of course. You know the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> the company added that the plane will be treated to a dog's fly first flight prep with calming pheromones, music, and colors that pups prefer. What color does a pup pre- I heard yellow once. Oh, is no that kidding. Correct? Yes, it is. Yeah, I is just ordered a bunch of dog. Yeah, they're yellow dog toys. That's oh, awesome. okay. That's their favorite color. This is very sweet. I, I really want to see pictures. I mean, will it be dogs just sitting in airline chairs? and Premium flights are currently available, Josh, for booking with the first flights taking off from New York on May 23rd. <laughs> Destinations will include Los Angeles and London. What? They can fly from New York to London? <laughs> There's a photograph of a dog oh, <laughs> on Bark Air. Got a, wind- oh. got a window seat. Yeah, Boy, that looks like a very nice plane. Yeah. Yeah. That looks like yeah. a private jet. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah, globular window. They're serving Fiji. That's ridiculous. If <laughs> I want to sit next to a bunch of hot bitches, I'll just go to a Pilates class. There we go. They're serving, I they're serving Fiji. <laughs> I'll give you $100 if you walk into a Pilates class and go, hey, hot Bitches. Uh, I'm going to one this afternoon. Hey. Uh, what would it take? 500? <laughs> <laughs> um, wow. That's so sweet, oh, yeah. though. But yes. it, it doesn't say how much the tickets are. They have to be thousands of dollars. Oh. Mm-hmm. I didn't know you could just fly with your dog into London. I thought they had to be quarantined or something. Uh, that's a good question. I, I don't know. I think you're right. I, huh. I don't know. Some places you have to quarantine them, others you don't. I don't know. I'm going to look up Bark Air. Sweet dogs. Um, seat 4B uh, contains a K9. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Pat, why don't you tell us a little bit about this via song? <laughs> Both my nuts are gone. I'm ready to fly. <laughs> this chihuahua's shaky. I'm going to cry. Oh, I'm in a duffel bag up in the sky. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gonna be sick. Bring me a doggy bag. Airline bones make me gag. I'd rather stick my head out of a car. So pet me and scratch my scruff. This turbulence could be rough. (laughs) I'm watching old Yeller. So far, it's slow. Oh, no. I'm barking on a jet plane. Don't know when I can chase again. Oh, squirrels, I hate to go. Oh, is it Bark Airlines? 
There was there was an airline food joke in there. <laughs> the airline bones, yeah. the dogs don't like them. No. It got nothing. <laughs> oh, in my head, I was like, that's hilarious. Airline, but, uh, the, airline <laughs> bones are the worst. Yeah. Yeah. What yeah. would you pay to fly with your dog to London? One way, direct, with your you dog. guess? Private charter, how much? <laughs> oh, oh uh, 5000 Want to guess again? Ten. Too low. Too low. Eight thousand dollars. Wow. Okay. All right. Hmm. For you and your dog to go to London. Hmm. That is pretty nice, though. You just get the dog on there. Yeah, but that's one way. Well, Let's see what it so, would be. To I, LA. Mean, I mean, obviously, the dog is going to have to relieve itself. It, that's a long flight. About six hours. So or do something? they have a? It's six thousand to L.A. Do they have a? A little uh, doggy pad a, a in little, the back, yeah, maybe. Thing in the back where you go. I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. Um. Okay. Maybe, I don't know, leave your dog at home. Uh, that's, that's what I said. No, I mean, uh, it's if you can afford it, go for it. That's amazing. Uh, no, no thanks. You wouldn't take your dog on vacation ever? Well, not to, uh, no, not to London. <laughs> <laughs> then what, do you do, then what do you do once you get there? Well, we're going to... The place my dogs stay, they love it so much. They, I, I'm sure they'd rather live there than with me. They Are you a, serious? They have a bone pool. They, they have two bone pools. <laughs> it's nuts. They love that place. Yeah. So Today, why would I? Yeah, today's kennels are not like the old days. Oh, that's they, true. Yeah. They, they fence them off and leave them alone. No, our dogs love it too. Yeah, my dogs get back. They go, Jesus, play, play can't wait time. to just lie down for a while. <laughs> yeah. well, yeah. Do I have any more activities? Yeah, art class, <laughs> Pilates. Always a fun name. Soccer, too. basketball, yeah, like Barkingham dog, Palace, yeah, Dogtopia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was cute. Yeah. What? What are better, hair places or dog places? They're both, both Fair, just yeah. terrific. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, the place, that's an interesting place question. Yeah. The hair place on The Simpsons, Curl Up and Die, is <laughs> one of the best. <laughs> that's, Spelled D-Y-E. Yeah, yeah. Mm, of course, yeah. Very, very nice. <laughs> uh, once again, we have Christy Lee we about st still at the news desk. She hasn't hit chick. And no. We were talking about snakes earlier. Authorities in Tennessee say a man tried to rob a convenience store with a five-foot-long snake, <laughs> according to W-R-E-G. <laughs> Or just regular. Yeah. Don't regular worry about news. it. We're fine. Yeah. If you want to see the news, we got it. 26-year-old suspect, a Mr. Reginald Cook, made a purchase at a Shell convenience store in Memphis and left, only to return 30 minutes later and demand money from the register. The cashier refused. The man left, but he returned again. This time with a five foot long snake wrapped around his neck. It was kind of cute though. The snake had a little ski mask on. <laughs> <laughs> huh. However, he did not make off with any money and was instead arrested for attempted aggravated robbery while his snake was seized. I'm just so aggravated. <laughs> <laughs> now give me all your money. So, how do they, if you're a police officer, you're working hard to get the call. So, do you have to? grab this snake and take it away from the guy before you put him in the squad car? They must have. I would think. I, mean, I know they hold the snake's head as they put him in the back seat. I know. <laughs> yeah, watch your head. Watch your head. <laughs> <laughs> they tried cuffing him, but he just keeps sliding down. <laughs> uh, I mean, what, what was he threatening that guy with? Uh, you can't make a snake... Bite somebody, can you? ...on command. Well, can you, Josh? You can kind of... Push it. Well, what kind of snake was this? It doesn't say. It just says a five foot long snake. This it thing could... probably wasn't even venomous, yeah, really. It's just a uh, python. Just tried to scare him. Mm -hmm. It's funny if the cashier pulled out a bigger snake. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah? You call that a snake? This is a snake. If the world hadn't invented gunpowder. <laughs> <laughs> snakes. Snakes. This is, why I, this is why I pay at the pump, Josh. I don't want to be. You don't go in? I don't want to be in there dealing, dealing with something like that. Mm. Um, this just in. Yeah. Uh, Dear Bob and Tom show. Uh, I took my dog on this international aircraft. Oh. Yep. I can't believe for the kind of money I paid, he only got half a can of Alpo. <laughs> that is. Why do they do that? <laughs> they wouldn't give him the whole can. Ah, huh? <laughs> uh, the classics. Uh, thank you very much. Sir. You know what you need when you're on the uh, on the airline, you're flying anywhere. You need your Raycon everyday earbuds, oh, don't yeah. you? I sl slip those right in your ears and enjoy it. You don't have to worry. Uh, hear about it. the plane and the roar and the engine. And you're not going to hear the Iris setter. That's drunk in the back, barking. <laughs> That's right, a drunken Irish twice for the same. Pat, your thoughts on that? Uh, well, it's true. So what are you, you going to do? Raycon's everyday earbuds uh, would make a great Mother's Day gift, and they are the perfect way to tune out um, uh, airline travel. And you can tune into something like the Bob and Tom Show. Raycon's optimized gel tips fit every ear ever made, and they're oh so comfortable, and they stay in place. They don't fall out of your ears, and... You lose them or on the ground, fall into the toilet. Come on. Not Raycons. Go to buyraycon.com slash Tom today and 
we've got a deal for you in case you're thinking about buying Raycons for a Mother's Day gift. Get 20% off your order plus free shipping. That's 20% off and free shipping at buyraycon.com slash Tom. That's buyraycon.com slash Tom. They're, they're the best. Read the reviews. Coming up, we're going to have sexy time with Allie Breen. We have um, a psychic fraud. No. No. Uh, Oktoberfest news. That's kind of interesting. And um, do you know much about your finances? It's amazing. The average American doesn't hmm. know about yours or their own. Wow. Uh, we'll talk about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Just got to get a hold of us. Call, fax, mail, or email. Get all the contact in. You know, here at Charlie's Tavern, I stay mighty busy making drinks. But the phone, it never stops ringing. I love Tendon Bar. This job is really great. My customers are thirsty and I hate to make them wait. But it always seems the phone rings as I start to pour a beer. It's some fella asking me to page his friends. He says are here. Okay, buddy, you hold the phone and I'll check to see if they're here. Is Seymour butts around? Have you seen Dick Peter? Are you Jack Hinoff? Is anyone Sharon Peter? <laughs> Have you seen a Harry Beaver or you a Peter Stroker? And it seems like almost every night I'm paging Richard Smoker. <laughs> paging Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Uh, yeah, his uh, name is Richard, but they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. And check back later. Could you find a hairy ball sack? Not right now, you'll have to call back. Fill the bracket if you please. He's among the absentees. Do you know I won a wiener? Sorry, no, I haven't seen. Phone rings. There it is. You know, this worked yesterday in rehearsal. I had. Does anybody hear the phone ringing? <laughs> I hear it. I had phone. Oh, you heard the phone ring? Oh, you hear the ring in your headphone? Wait a minute. Ring it again. Did I answer it or not? Oh, there it is. Uh, there it is. Oh, oh, I, wait, I just heard it. Uh, hello, Charlie's Tavern. Uh, yeah, I was wondering. <laughs> hello, Charlie's Tavern. I'm sorry. I can't hear. There's someone. Speak up, Dan. Clearing their throat in hello, my mic. Hello, Charlie's Tavern. What's the matter? It's a noisy as <laughs> Yeah. I was hoping you could paint somebody for me. Sure. Who are you looking for? I'm trying to find a Mr. Padasso. His first name is Stuart, but they call him Stu. Oh. Stu Padasso? <laughs> That's right. Uh, all right. Hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> hey, is there a Stu Padasso here? <laughs> right here. Does anyone know? <laughs> A stupid asshole. He's over there. I see him. <laughs> see him I'm more. sorry. Right. Someone said he just left with Haywood. <laughs> Haywood who? Uh, Haywood, you blow me. <laughs> no, but buy me dinner and drinks and, and we'll talk. <laughs> wow, that'd that be a wild. Well. That'd be a wacky twist, wouldn't it? Hey, Bob and Tom are hey. doing it. There's the phone. Oh, the phone's ringing. The phone's ringing. Uh, hello, Charlie's Tavern. Oh, uh, yeah, hi. Uh, could you pay someone for me? Uh, uh, sure. <laughs> who are you looking for? I'm uh, looking for a Miss Finger Do. What do you uh, want to kill her? First him? name, Wilma. <laughs> Wilma! Wilma Finger Do! Uh, sorry, somebody says she's in the back room with Willie. Oh, uh, Willie who? Oh, uh, Willie Fisterbottom. <laughs> Ooh, that's got a her baby. Whoa. <laughs> what ethnicity was that supposed to be? Hell <laughs> was that? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they call here several times a night, and it's always the same. He asks me if I'll page his friend, and then he says their name. Hey, is BJ Hunter there? Can you find a Peter Wanker? I'm looking for a mandicus. Have you seen Woody Spanker? Paging Richard Smoker. Richard Smoker. Yeah, his uh, name is Richard, but we call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. Really? <laughs> My song is nearly over now, so I'll cut to the quick. Who knew there were so many guys named Peter, Rod, and Dick? 
And if you see somebody, or if you need somebody, Paige, let me be quite blunt. Uh oh. I'll try my best to find him, or my name's not Michael Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Richard Smoker. Oh, yeah, his name is Richard, but they call him <laughs> Big Dick. I'm looking for a big dick smoker. Hey, Richard Smoker. Is Mike Hunt here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Paging Michael Hunt. It's Paging, not on the script. <laughs> Paging Michael. You're supposed to say. Paging Michael Give me the Hunt. last part of the song again, would you please, Steve? You're supposed to say, Paging Michael Hunt, then say, Paging Richard Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Oh, yeah, name is Richard. <laughs> they call him Big Dick. I'm looking for a Big Dick Smoker. Paging Richard Smoker. Paging Michael there Hunt. There we go. Paging Michael Hunt. Is Mike Hunt here? Ah. <laughs> that went well. See that <laughs> really makes a difference when you <laughs> when you when set you it do up. That stuff, yeah. Right? yeah, yeah. Hey, hi, it's Tom from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show on air, on app, and on demand. <laughs> That's why I think women should have shelves next to their bed filled with prizes, depending oh. on how well you did. You know mm -hmm. what I That's mean? That's a good idea. Like they do at the carnival. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure. That's they great. have something to shoot for, you know. Are you going to take anything from the third <laughs> shelf? Right. Oh, no. right. I'm going to go for the Van Halen mirror tonight. <laughs> <laughs> you never figure this out. They're telling me it's a crime for me to forget to fasten my own seatbelt. Mm -hmm. And yet every other block, we got a fast food drive through restaurant with some idiot pulling out with a 16-ounce Coke squeezed in between his legs, <laughs> a Big Mac sandwich in his fingertips, steering with his wrist, an order of fries wedged between this leg and the console, eating, drinking, slurping, steering with the other knee, and that's perfectly okay if this guy buckles up. <laughs> And until you see a man pour a piping hot cup of coffee in his crotch at 40 miles an hour, you have no idea the maneuverability of an automobile. Hi, this is Bob Kegel. Coming up soon. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. We're all here. Hi, how are you? Hello, Tom. Reading the mail over here. Do it. My dear Bob and Tom Show. I was surprised to turn on YouTube last night, and there was the new Pat Godwin video. Oh, I yeah. really did laugh out loud. Oh. I particularly enjoyed the gang doing the background vocals. Mm. I watched it three times and sent a link to several friends. Well, thank you, Dan, listening in the Commonwealth of Kentucky. I'll have to watch it to I'll see to who's in it. that game. Yeah. Sounds like it was really <laughs> something, and um, I don't need to watch it. Yeah, <laughs> it's a uh, nice video. Uh, Pat, uh, your new is song nice? is entitled... Smells Like Weed. Smells <laughs> Like Weed. And uh, it's available now on the uh, world of the Internet, and you can watch it. It's very fun. And, uh, by the way, uh, we have weed in the news today. Yes, we do. There will be no reefer at Oktoberfest this year. That's right. You won't be smelling weed in Bavaria. They're prohibited, prohibiting people from smoking cannabis at Oktoberfest. The state's government announced the ban this week, saying pot smoking will be banned at public festivals, inside beer gardens, and at Oktoberfest. Local authorities will also prohibit cannabis consumption in public areas, such as outdoor swimming pools and leisure parks. The announcement comes after Germany legalized possession of small amounts of cannabis for recreational use earlier this month. Oh, okay, but they're just saying, hey, Oktoberfest is for beer. Yep. Yes. No. We don't, we don't want to sell any food. <laughs> <laughs> this is like banning, uh, I don't know, like banning a uh, beer at a fish concert. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah. We uh, need the more opposite. drugs. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet, a, I bet a soft pretzel at a Bavarian Oktoberfest is just the best. With a nice big mug of beer. Yeah, and the beer's oh, like... Stein of beer. And it's like 90% alcohol, isn't it? And a hunk uh, of sausage as big as your head. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm. 
If you want, Epcot has a really good German. I don't know what the ABV <laughs> for the German beer is. What the highest? Very. But there was a. There's a. It's called. It's a French. A Monde World beer to the beer of the world. It's a French beer and it's like eleven <laughs> percent. It's crazy. Hmm. I saw the night I drank all those. You guys were doing uh, bits for satellite delivered radio. Oh, that's uh, that's how I got. I that remember. Drunk. Chick. Yes. <laughs> Thank goodness the hotel was right there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. The police helped me right to my room. <laughs> and isn't Oktoberfest before October? Isn't it September? And Oktoberfest is not has nothing to do with October. It's the time of season, right? It's a season. Yeah, I think it's in September, isn't it? I think it late. Very, very confusing name. Hmm. Uh, yes. New research shows adolescents who eat a diet that's high in fat and sugar a.k.a. junk food, could develop long-term neurological consequences. Huh? According to, <laughs> according oh, yeah. to a study from the University of Southern California. What vaccine company put this out? Oh, rats boy. that were fed a junk food diet during their <laughs> development suffered memory impairments down the line. The scientists, scientists say findings show junk food, especially when consumed during adolescence, can have profound effects on your brain. Gotcha. Yeah, you want to eat brain food, right? Fish and... Uh... <laughs> This is why uh, little Debbie never got into college. Oh, that is Aww. sad, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. What a dope. She had a lot going for her until... Oh, that oatmeal cream pie, though. She doesn't need it. She can live <laughs> off that. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> hey, with AI, these kids aren't going to need their brains. <laughs> right? You know what the brain foods are, don't you? No, what are they? Well, you go your avocado. Yeah. Sure. Your salmon, obviously. Walnuts, believe it or not. Your omegas, right? Dark chocolate. Dark chocolate. Yeah. Blueberries, I Blueberry, think. Blueberry, very yeah. good. Yes. Pizza. <laughs> no. Well, if it's dark chocolate blueberry pizza. Oh, that's I, I think the, 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 geniuses, <laughs> the geniuses in Silicon Valley, uh, they created all these great things that we use in the world of the Internet with uh, a lot of pizza. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. I yeah. bet they do eat a lot of pizza. They do? Yeah. Especially when they're, yeah, kind of poor and starting out. So how do they know that the rats have long-term memory issues? Don't rats die after a couple, like a year? I, I don't know. And how do they know they remember anything? <laughs> you know, Mr. Jingles lived. Uh, yes, sir. Yes. For sir. 70, you saved years. it. It was very nice of you. Uh, Mr. Yeah. Jingles Speaking the rat. Rats? Yeah. yeah. Can, Can you see? I did they have Jingles from uh, Green, Mile. Yeah. Green Mile. Green do rats, Mile. Do rats uh, lick the Cheeto dust off their little tiny <laughs> Probably. I think, I think hey, they let it go. This no, is they good, let it go. This is a good test. I don't know what we're doing here. This stuff, this stuff's great. We were talking about rats. Did you know scientists have discovered they can understand numbers? Sure rats can? They can. Mm -hmm. No, they can. Yeah. Let's just say, sure they can and move on. Neuroscientists okay. found uh, rats right, we're were hear about it. Okay. able... Go ahead. No. Go ahead and fill. No. Go ahead. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you you want to hear the highest ABV for a beer? Yeah. I mean, we're going to hear it. I thought you what just told it? us. A rat would know what it means. 67.5%. Oh, oh, come on. That's no just... Way. That can't snake, be illegal. Snake Venom by Brewmeister <laughs> takes the top spot. A staggering ABV, 67.5%. The Scottish brewery is renowned for pushing the limits. <laughs> snake Venom, no exception. What would it taste? Would it, it taste awful? It's got to just taste like... Alcohol. alcohol. Half a glass of half <laughs> vodka, half beer. <laughs> Yeah, and there are a bunch of beers here that are twelve percent. Okay, and they're all. It all seems like they're from Belgium. That's the place to go if you want to. Oh, that's the best. Yeah, hammer some beers. Man, evidently not. Chimay, not true. Waffles and beer. Everybody. So what happened to the rats? Now? I don't know if they're drinking beer, but they found that they were able to develop a sense of numbers when trained with food rewards and sounds representing two or three numbers. Further research that blocked a specific area of the rat's brain called the posterior posterior. Per, uh, periatal cortex affected the animal's ability to understand numbers. So, but it doesn't say what they're understanding or what they're doing. I ah, think they're, they're probably counting people they killed with that plague. <laughs> <laughs> you can hey, find out more at doing, Science Daily. We're rats, doing great. Rats can dance too. I guess. They can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we talked about that. Yeah. yeah uh, Do we have a song for that? Oh, I got songs for everything. Oh, what do you, I thought what do you maybe... need. Well, if you were going to bring up rats <laughs> dancing, I'd, I'd be glad maybe... to do it. Do we have time? Sure. Uh, or... Sure. You got it right there? Because I got another rat story over well, here. I have another rat story, too, but... Rats can dance, rats can move, looking cool as they shuffle their feet. Oh, <laughs> look at that, taunt that cat, taking the dance and rat. Ooh, <laughs> Friday night and the river's low. <laughs> Dirty rat has no place to go. go. 
Jimmy hears the music. His tail starts to swing. Travolta's no longer king. You're the dancing rat, dressed in spats on your <laughs> tiny feet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> dancing rat feels the beat from the New York street. Oh, yeah. Oh, rats can dance. Rats can move. And Ratatouille proved anyone can cook. Oh, look at that in his top hat. In the dancing rat. Ooh, the lab. Oh, I love Jeez. it. Yeah. I'd pay good money to watch a dancing rat. Would you? Absolutely. Yeah, here's right. the, this is also from Science Daily. Yeah, this, New, is, uh, this is New York City birth oh, control thing. Oh, uh, yeah, but it said rats move their head to a musical beat. Oh, that's right. Uh huh. Yeah. Without any training or prior exposure to music. Yeah. There you that's go. Sweet. Yeah, that's cool. They can't help themselves. Could be anything. Well, in New York City, the uh, yeah, really, really want to curb the rat population by using birth control, apparently. Mm. The idea to distribute rat con contraception got fresh attention in city government following the death of the internet, internet famous owl Flacco. Remember Flacco? He was found dead after eating rat poison. Oh, so yeah. Like, Not the great that? quarterback, Joe. but No, this no, was the no, owl. Just, yeah. More city council right. member Sean Abreu proposed an ordinance that would establish a pilot program. How do you get a rat, rat to put a condom on, huh? Mm. Little tiny hands. Well, you have to teach them about, uh, you know, <laughs> no, some of the Tom. viruses of not wearing one. They would use <laughs> rodent birth control and, um, in pellets that they would scatter around in fisted, infested areas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some neighborhoods in New York, they're going to try to teach them abstinence only. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah. They don't want to. That has mixed results, doesn't it? They don't want to. Yeah. yeah. Don't mm -hmm. wanna, don't Why don't you put a shooter up on all the, uh, the high rises? <laughs> a little sniper? <laughs> yeah, a little sniper. Actually. Now, can it be a rat sniper? A rat that's been trained to shoot a little rifle? All of a sudden, oh. I see a rat with his hat, hat turned backwards <laughs> on, a, on top of a building. <laughs> a cigarette hanging out a of his cigarette mouth. cigarette looking through the. <laughs> what happened to the thing where they fires that takes a uh, I thought oh. they were going to create um, sterile rats and let them loose and mix with the population. Whatever happened to that idea? I don't know. Must not have worked. Yeah, who knows? Um, well, uh, that's our rat hunk. Yeah, we're aren't done with there, the rats. Aren't there far more rats in New York City than citizens? Or is that just me? Because there I is something in New York like City. there is some yeah. fact that there are more rats than people. Bunch yeah. in Chicago too. It's just underground. You just uh, and some the size of uh, dogs. What? Yeah, they were gigantic Labrador retrievers. They sent like drone okay. cameras down into certain areas, and they were like, we. This uh, is all. <laughs> yeah, we're living on rats. What are you watching on Friday night? <laughs> it was a documentary from the guy yes. who did right. uh, Morgan Spurlock. He did the guy. The guy me. There's a huge pile of trash, and they're walking back to the hotel or whatever. And the guy goes, "Watch this!" And he takes a broom handle or something and bangs it on the ground. And there's like a thousand rats <gasps> come out of the car. Uh, just you wouldn't have known it. You, you would have never trash known. bags or whatever. Uh, and, yeah. It was amazing. It's, it's something. Just amazing. Watch okay. this. Whack, whack, whack. <laughs> uh, boo. Uh, uh, Allie Breen, sexy time. And she's now a, uh, what is it, uh, Josh? She's got her own. Uh, uh, she's a content creator on OnlyFans. Content creator. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And we'll find out about that. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Reach us toll free at 1 888 Bob Tom 1 or at bobandtom.com. This. Hey, did you enjoy those videos played in that break? Check out the Bob and Tom YouTube playlist for more great stuff. I got a slide guitar. Uh, I wrote a song a long time ago called The Lifelong Tiger Fan Blues. I know the Cubs and have issues and but the tigers uh mm -hmm. have had for a long time and i wrote it when we were like oh for 19 years <laughs> and um and then we got good in 2006 but then this particular season 2010 here um we're we uh, we were great and then we you know went off the cliff so i yep. rewrote it about a week ago uh Baseball fans, since I was a little boy, I had a bedroom full of little baseball.
baseball toys, batting a ball and a Wilson glove. Yeah, me and the national pastime, we was oh so in love. Every opening day, oh, I still get that itch. I can hardly wait for that very first pitch. All my hopes and dreams all in place. I get visions of my Tigers in a pennant race. Win or lose, I got a lifelong Tiger fan blue. 2006, we made it all the way to the fabled fall classic, only get a St. Louis whooping and our Detroit ass kicked. <laughs> 2009, we was tied with the Twins. We had to go to Minnesota to lose it again. In 2010, started off with a bang. We was leading the league in everything. <laughs> Hang on. It's for you. Oh, but come the All-Star <laughs> break, our season's done. Our goose is cooked, oh, they're setting our sun. Win or lose. Long Tiger fan blues. Bring back K line. Bring back Cash. Bring back Greenberg and all them homers each smash. Mickey Cochran, Schoolboy Row, Ty Cobb and Rocky Calavito. Win or lose, got a lifelong Tiger fan blues. This is the rewrite. First, Samaya broke his arm, then Inge broke his hand while Mags was breaking his foot. Gian was pulling his ham. <laughs> half of our roster was MIA. Now, half of Toledo's been called up to play. I don't believe in fate, I don't believe in signs. Waiting on your destiny's a waste of time. But how the hell else can we possibly explain Armando Galarraga's imperfect game? <laughs> Win or lose, got a lifelong Tiger fan blues. Ain't fair, nice guys finish last. You can't have a future if you don't have a past. Yet still I hope, still I pray. Another World Series gonna come my way. But folks, mark my words and learn this lesson. Cut your losses and count your blessings. Or just like me, you're gonna end up crying while spending Sunday afternoons with the Detroit Lions. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Oh, there's some frustration there. Jeff yeah. Daniels. The imperfect game. Tiki Barber here. Remember the days when I was a running back in the NFL? Well, if you're on your feet all day like I was, you get the struggle. The secret is orange insoles. Their insoles are like magic for your feet and body. They'll help you kick hip pain, sore feet, and lower back discomfort to the sidelines. Feel better, do more with orange insoles. I should be having a better time <laughs> if this was a part. This is Bob and Tom Radio. Put, the one above, put that one on. This one here, Youth, Youth Health, Health and, and Sex, sex education, education Program for oh, Sex. Here we go. Here we go. What uh, the? Track number one, menstruation facts for little ladies. Let's oh, pass. Hey. Let's pass. <laughs> it's on vinyl, Bob. <laughs> we got to find out about these things. I got three daughters at home. Oh, oh I have to my find God. These Look at that record. Affects my body. See, if there any, see if there are any, uh, any seeds in there. <laughs> in that album? Stems Probably and not. Marijuana, as such, is habit forming and fortunately is not an addiction. And I'll explain this to you in a little while. What? 
Habit forming, though it be, it is the first step to addiction. Okay. And it is something that makes a person feel as though he is on, quote, cloud nine. It makes him <laughs> what's wrong with that? Wait a second. Stop a second. Hold on. Here's what's wrong, what's wrong with that. Cloud nine is a nice place. Let's you know, go. <laughs> if you're trying to do anti-drug stuff, yeah. you don't go. Hey, it makes the, you feel like they're on cloud nine. <laughs> the problem with this stuff is it makes you feel really good. <laughs> so whatever you do, don't try it. Are the stars out tonight? I don't care if it's cloudy or bright. Because I'm blind. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Hi, this is comedian Tim Cavanaugh. And Thank you, Christy. Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Christy Lee at the news desk. There's Pat Godwin. Hello. Jessica Alsman joins us. Hey. There's Josh Arnold at the I Hate Steven Singer sidekick chair. Chickster. There's Ace Cosby. Hey. I'm Chick McGee at the OriginSouls.com sports desk. And here's Tom. Coming up, it'll be uh, Allie Breen, comedian, and now uh, has her own uh, uh, page, page. Is it? You, what, do you, what do you call it exactly? Entrepreneur for OnlyFans, maybe? Oh, yeah. Con like, content, content creator. Oh, content. Yeah. Oh, that sounds... Mm -hmm. <laughs> content creator is... Uh, Sort of an elegant way of saying it. Yes, but it's... Uh, it's we'll find out what it's all I'm looking forward to finding it out. Creating what, it, what it's all about. Yes. Uh, that's that's coming up. But right now we have uh, Christy Lee at the Bob and Tom News Desk. What else is Canadian going on? Canadian authorities say a suspicious package delivered to the Ontario legislature hmm. turned out to be gravy. Really? And not your cat. Aww. The Toronto Police Service said officers responded to the scene and evacuated a small area of the building. An explosives unit determined the package contained powdered gravy. Uh -huh. Police believe the item was intended as a joke. Observers say that the gesture was intended to serve as a reminder of the political slogan, Stop the Gravy Train. Okay. Oh. I see. Mm. So what do you got? Onion, onion gravy? Beef gravy? Chicken no gravy. gravy? What do they put on poutine there? Maybe whatever. Uh, maybe it's yeah, poutine with gravy. <laughs> Isn't there slang for one of the gravies? Like, uh, like... Drywall gravy or whatever. I like, whatever. I like sausage gravy with biscuits. Oh, yeah. sure. Yeah. Very good, very good. What kind of gravy they use on poutine? I don't remember, and I don't know if it changes from uh, area to area. Recipes. Isn't poutine already gravy? No. Well, no, there's gravy on, on it. On the yeah, fries. Right. Oh, it's fries. Oh, with the gravy. And cheese curds. Mm -hmm. And what is that flavor? Of the Sawmill. Um, Sawmill gravy is what oh, I'm trying yeah. to think of. Yeah. The umami. Isn't that the yeah. word? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Does poutine have that? Is that the word? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, sure. That see that that flavoring seasoning. So this would have been the umami bomber. <laughs> the umami <laughs> bomber. Um, okay. Uh -huh. There's a mushroom gravy. Oh yeah. Mm, love it. Giblet, giblet, giblet. Do you go giblet. gib or jib? I, I say don't know. Giblet. Is that giblets? Is that well, yeah? Mostly right. giblets. Yeah. Giblet. This gets into the whole thing them. about uh, uh, in the world of computers. The J or the G sound? Uh, Jiff or Giff? Jiff or Giff. The guy who invented him says Jiff. I always thought it was Jiff because JPEG was the letter J and then you'd try to say peg. So I thought it was the letter G and then you'd just say if, like G if. Hmm. Hmm. There you go. But the guy who invented it says it's Jiff. Yeah. But I, I say Giff. It's interchangeable. I say I don't use them. Yeah, I don't <laughs> necessarily care for them. That's oh. Why. And that's why. It's the reason I uh, won't go to. Uh, uh, restaurants that have that uh, thing you carve off with the lamb on it. <laughs> gyro? <laughs> gyro meat? It's gyro. That has been, gyro. Yeah. gyro. If anybody doesn't say gyro, well, I... When I say gyro, the guy goes, you mean gyro? Okay. That, that person's no. wrong. That's no. not, that's no. not no. true. <laughs> that's true. They, they make You're their, lying they make their, They make their customers feel dumb. It's always... It's it's gyro. It's always always has and always will be gyro. I do okay. not like gifts. Oh, okay. So you're a fan of The Office. Yeah. Oh, great. Uh -huh. I gotta, oh, look, I gotta open this damn thing. There's John well, Krasinski under... looking befuddled. Who makes those? <laughs> is there a GIF machine? Like you know, a... I say that, but I am a GIF. Did you know that? No, I didn't. If you type in like fat or something oh, really God. terrible, <laughs> <laughs> something oh. that just you know causes me to go to therapy. But no, seriously, who makes them? I mean, how do you? I think anybody There's... can. Who yeah. started that rumor? What? what? So, so fat, I'm so, so fat. <laughs> I'm the fattest, I am fat. Nobody's fatter than me. Nobody's fatter than me. All I do, I eat and jerk it and jerk it and eat. Take them panties off and put the salami on. Pack me with a breadstick. Pack me with a breadstick. Pack me with a breadstick. I'm so fat.
look at him over there. I know. He He's can't breathe. Big red laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> So mean. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Man, I had breadsticks right out of the oven at Olive Garden yesterday. It was like the best day of my life. Oh, that is wonderful. Oh, yeah. They were so oh, those good. Are just perfect. God. <laughs> so good. A U.S. federal official say a man's been sentenced for operating a $175 million psychic fraud scheme. Hmm. Wait a minute. Psychic fraud? Uh, no. <laughs> according to the Department of Justice, Mr. Patrice Runner operated the mass mailing fraud scheme from 1994 through November of 2014. I'm glad they caught him. Yeah. <laughs> That's some good police work. <laughs> through his co-conspirators, he sent letters to millions of people that falsely claimed to be personal communications from well-known so-called psychics, Maria Duval and Patrick Guerin, who had no role in the scheme. They promised great wealth and happiness with the assistance of the psychics in exchange for a fee. So those psychics didn't even know what was going on? No. Uh -huh. And authorities say Mr. Runner stole more than $175 million from more than 1.3 million victims. My gosh. The 57-year-old Canadian and French citizen was sentenced to 10 years in prison. Look, That's wait, it? When you've made $50 million, all right, and you haven't gotten caught yet, don't yeah. you go ahead and stop? It's a greed thing. You go, hey, I'm set. <laughs> And I haven't been caught. How, mm -hmm. how, and he did this for years and years and years, and no one... And isn't the phrase psychic fraud redundant? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And if you listen to the story, the psychics weren't, weren't the involved. frauds here. He's not the but psychic. telling people... Uh, psychics are real. So, okay. Uh, You've never had a feeling about something? Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. You just got to be in touch with... You got to want to be in touch with it first. Yeah. It's like any... It's You're a not muscle. in touch with yeah. yourself, let alone the spirits from beyond. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, he should have seen this coming. Yeah. One of his psychic employees should have told him. Mm. No. I wonder if he was actually still giving <laughs> advice, though. Like, were they actually getting advice? Or he know. was just like, give me money, and then that was it. Oh, no. 175 mil is not bad. Yeah. I, mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. I think he, he just had, you know, whatever, the interns. Right. Yeah. See something green in your life. It's, it's either money or syphilis. Oh, that's good advice. Yeah, that is. Okay. okay. 1.3 million victims, $175 million. Do the math. That's sad. You know it was mostly yeah, like that old is people. So sad. A new poll out there reveals some gaps in many Americans' financial literacy, and it has nothing to do with psychics. The survey of 2,000 adults found over 40% have no idea what a 401k is. I know what it is. It's the new electric Kia. He's right. <laughs> right? right? Yeah, that's what the K stands for. K -k -k Kia. The, the results revealed a significant lack of confidence among respondents regarding their financial literacy. And over a third don't know what interest is in a financial context. You know who loves hearing that? <laughs> Credit card companies. Yes. <laughs> Finances also influence relationships. Nearly four in ten reported that their or their partner's unhealthy spending habits have negatively affected their relationships. Yikes. Ooh. Well, now, 401k, Sorry, any idiot knows 401k is $401,000. <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> That's right. I know that. And, uh, yeah. You're not Next wrong. question. Don't <laughs> tell me. That's one of those things I've heard of. I know there's one out there, but... 401k? Yeah, I know not, what a 401k I, is. I know what it is, but yeah. I don't know. Couldn't tell you how it works. I just, oh, I'm sure you have. Yeah, I know you have. One. I have one. But yeah, I, those guys handle it. I have no idea. For all I know, they could be in Rio right now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I know oh, the sweet life. You know what I know, and I learned this the hard way because I don't like to adult like chick. And I found out if you don't switch the paperwork when you change uh, companies with your HR, you don't get your money into your 401k. I'm still trying to figure out how to get my 401k from like 20 years ago into my current one. Oh, really? Yeah, and yeah. Uh, two of the companies don't even <laughs> exist anymore. Yeah. I'll, I'll just have to yeah. say Is there goodbye. some guy having a really nice lunch in Washington, D.C.? <laughs> no, this is Josh Island from 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, was, your, was your steak rare Eat enough? Eat up, everybody. Uh, yeah. Eat was, up. was your steak rare enough? I, I, I'm sorry. Arnold's <laughs> buying it. Heat up. <laughs> Well, they always say they have those studies that come out like once a, a year. The, the government says there's three billion in unclaimed money or whatever. Yeah. So that's it's all that stuff. Yeah, and you're like, I got money. Let me <laughs> I, uh, yeah. On two it. occasions since I've been doing this job, I have had a letter from somebody who listens to the show telling me, "Hey, by the way, I was looking at the list. You've got unclaimed, and it was they were right." Yeah. Really? I got yeah. like 60 bucks. Yeah. When it, was, you told, it, was, you, it was like $40. Yeah. You I talked have, about that one time, and then I looked it up. I had like $60, and I got it. 
Nice. Huh. Yeah. Well, aren't you a tightwad? You know, what do you $60? mean? $60. That's a lot I'm of money. So let's just let the... Well, think about it there. Hey, look, he put in 50000 <laughs> Yeah. He got $60 <laughs> back. <laughs> and you. This is like the lottery. And what about you? Yeah. $40. <laughs> really? <laughs> uh, on two occasions, yeah. You invest that, and after like... You know, a million years, you'd have something. <laughs> unless, yes. unless that company goes out of business. The key's not to check it. Just let it, yes. let it, let it simmer, man. The Dave Matthews Band led the fan vote for the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame before it closed Monday. Our buddy Peter Frampton finished second, followed by Foreigner, Ozzy Osbourne, and Cher. The top vote getters will now get a fan ballot, Cher. which is tallied with the rest of the votes from the industry insiders. Inductees will be announced Sunday. They can't be during serious. American Idol on ABC. BC. Uh, oh. Share. And Rock Hall inductions will be the help. Uh, share is more valid than 50% of the people who share are in is there. not valid. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Do I look like I'm uh, kidding? I, <laughs> she's, she's, I think, the only person that's had a, what is it, a, a top yep. five hit in the, in the last the five decades? Yeah. It's pretty cool, but that's it's the Music Hall of Fame. Yeah, it's uh, not really yeah, rock It's no longer the anymore. Rock Hall of Fame. Yeah. And there's because a, if it were, Frampton would have been in there years ago. And it's True. certainly not based on sales. There are a lot of great bands that will never get in that have sold uh, literally a million more records than some of the people who are in there. I can't think of any other band other than Dave Matthews that there's one song I really like and everything else you can kind of have. So, oh, really? Yeah. That one about they sing about their dog or something. A doggy on a chain or whatever that is. What? Yeah. Pat, what's your favorite Dave Matthews song? Oh, yeah, I like Crash. Like that's a, that's a great hiker's, 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 okay. hiker's skirt up. Yeah. And, yeah, I like you, that's that one part. of my favorite. Can you just do a, a little oh, taste sure, of sure. your Dave Matthews? That's I love this. this crash into me. Like yeah. Don't yeah. crash the album. Dave Matthews. Oh, is it? <laughs> yes. Under the table. Now, how, how does Dave sound to you? Well, he sounds like a donkey falling down the stairs. I thought he was talking to me, but that's fine. Go ahead, Pat. <laughs> Sing your song. I thought Tom and I were having a moment. It's okay. <laughs> Have a moment then. We're not no, going to do No, no, no. Let's hear your stupid song about where you're gibberish. We're done. No, come on, Pat. Pat, I'm kidding. Please. I didn't know you were kidding. <laughs> you didn't know You're you such were a good kidding. actor. <laughs> and <Yeah>. scene. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Dave Matthews sounds like a donkey falling down the stairs. <laughs> That is so dead on. That's okay, enough. That's all, all we need. Get the <laughs> this is quite a bit. No, no, I, I wasn't even. No, the, joke the, 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 the early seconds. Dave Matthews. You've got that droning That's saxophone. That's the song I like, though. The droning saxophone. Yeah, 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 but, but oh God! Dog, on a chain. God, that guy flashed a kid. Oh, He's out of the band. Um, I'm, I'm a big guy fan. Flashed a kid. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Can we be done with this break? Now? And he mentions it. <laughs> I'm an, hey, I'm, I'm are you like me? Are you ready to go home and cover your head with your Afghan? Yes. And I mean your dog. And, <laughs> and uh, lock lock the compound down with Simply Safe. The design it yourself, do it yourself. Save money yourself. Home security system. It's one we recommend. And you all will get peace of mind like I did. I uh, was on this early, like five or six years ago. I told Tom about it. And he, the typical Tom, he said, get out of my way. And I said, no, you have to learn about Simply Safe. I'm a big fan. I'm you a big fan of, it yourself. of uh, smoke alarms, uh, uh, sump pump alarms. Simply Safe has sensors to detect break ins, fires, floods, more sump pump alarms, freezing temperature control alarms, Ooh. indoor and outdoor high def cameras to keep watch over your property day and night, and a great way to check in on your puppy dogs or. Kitty cats. Backed by 24 7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day, and Simply Safe professional monitoring agents help stop crime in real time. Like Simply Safe. Read the reviews, they're the best. Now, um, uh, coming up, we're going to talk with the lovely Allie Breen, who is currently on display <laughs> on OnlyFans. That's right. On display. On way display. To put it. Yeah, it is one way to put it, I guess. Well, I mean, I, uh, she's an active, uh, what do you call it, content creator? That's correct. Mm -hmm. Boy, that is a elegant way of, that just sounds so distinguished. It is distinguished. <laughs> yeah, because back in the day, in Hustler, no one was ever a content creator. <laughs> no. A beaver shooter, but not a content oh. creator. Coming up, we'll find out the elegance of. Uh, she's a very classy lady. We'll find out. We'll find out. We'll find out how it's going. You totally saved me. I, this is the Bob and Tom Show. Bob and Tom, twenty four. Okay, now, um, uh, uh, yep. Pat <laughs> is going to remove her wig. Um, go ahead, Pat. Uh, 
Can you can you see it? We're taking a little video. Well, let uh, let Miss Pat put a hat on. <clears throat> okay, go ahead. Oh, you okay. it right off. There, there, Is that there clipped on? Oh no, you've got like a yarmulke. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a that's, that's a skull, skull cap to hold the wig on. It's kind of like so a yarmulke. So it don't fly off in the wig, wing, see, Tom. See, we're already down to the skull on your head, uh, so we don't get, give you oh, a skull no, Ms. cap. Miss Pat is not going to place her wig oh, on my head. Go. That's really tight, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, Let me do it. Don't mess up my wig, Tom. <laughs> You've got a giant melon, Are you supposed Tom? to cover my no ears? Idea. Yeah, for Ow. a minute. Wait a minute, Tom. I got this. Ow! <laughs> Let the listeners know out there that there are about 30 cameras right Ow! now. You're really hurting my ear. Let me make sure it's style right. Trained on Tom. Do I have bangs? I just want to have... You look like over. Weird Al Yankovic. Like Chick, describe how do I look. I can't see. Uh, you have a very dark, uh, curly-haired wig on your head, you and you're what? with there your you pale go. skin, you kind of look like Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln. Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln. Not Denzel? No, no, no. Not Denzel in no, Flight? You, no, no, you're a little too no, little too light. You look like, you remind me of Tommy Lee Just Jones Just because you have Lincoln. dark hair does not make you a black man. <laughs> the 13th Amendment. <laughs> well, what, did Tommy uh, Jones have the black wife? Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Oh. You're giving Oh, don't give that's away right. the movie. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Oh, they don't already won the Oscar. Oh, you sure oh do, Tom. You need a sister in your bedroom, Tom. Oh yeah. I have. To. That's what you need. I was Tom. hoping that's... for Denzel, and I, I've no, got. You, no. You, look like, you don't look like you Denzel. Look like a slave owner. Christy hit it on the nose. You do look like Tommy Lee Jones in Lincoln. Yeah. Did you hear what she just said? Mm. No. He looked like a slave owner. I look like a slave owner. <laughs> <laughs> like oh no, <laughs> yes. Look at that. Be very uncomfortable. Does it really? Yeah. I, uh huh. <laughs> as well, far as I know that. Never mind. We'll just move forward. Miss Pat could be your Sally Hemings. How about that? Hey, it's Josh Arnold with a food recommendation for you. Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese, their famous oven-baked cheese. It arrives pre-baked. You just heat it and eat it, grill it, skillet, or air fry it. Check out their new oven-baked cheese flavor, jalapeno. Ooey, gooey, spicy cheese. It's sure to tickle your taste buds with real jalapeno flavor and heat. Perfect for game day parties or Anytime. Excuse me. Are um, are you serious with this? I mean, why are you doing this? Me, uh, the real me is right here. I could easily be doing this. We, we don't need you, man. I uh, look. There's only room for one of us. That's Gardner's Wisconsin Cheese Jalapeno Flavored Oven Baked Cheese. It's now available in Gardner's Oven Baked Bundle Package, so try all the great flavors. Receive free cold pack shipping and free cheese curds when you spend $59 or more at GardnersWisconsinCheese.com. Click the link below and tell them your pal Josh, me the real Josh, from the Bob and Tom Show sent you. Essential Morning Radio. Don't. This is Bob and Tom Radio. 24 7. 24 /7. And then the thing between your the back frenulum. door and your. You know, what? Genitalia um, is the perineum. Is that what it is? Perineum? Perineum. Okay. Perineum. Just refer to it as the. <laughs> That's like an azalea. In slang, can we use the word taint instead of the, the taint, back of course. door? <laughs> My husband calls it the beach. The beach. <laughs> really? You know, you can almost hear. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's have a little picnic at the beach. Yeah, why does he know. call it the beach? I don't know why. That little area down there is the beach. You mean beach. he goes, oops, I hit the beach. <laughs> is that what he says? Wow. No, when we, we've we talked he, uh, about this subject before. Does he, like he it, said, does he like it when you're on the beach? Does he like you to... <laughs> he likes it on the beach. That, you know, you he lives in it? a different century you than play me. With his so, beach? No, I'm he just saying that's what he calls beach. that area. And what? how does that come up in conversation, the general? <laughs> Pass the salt, by the way, my beach itches. <laughs> uh, what, All right, man, let's hit the beach. <laughs> so back to your bedroom, Christy. We've decided uh, mm -hmm. you need to remove the crucifix from the room. Okay. I think you should just we go, go, go all out. Go all out and do what? 
Well, as soon as you open the door, <laughs> disco ball. Right. Yeah. Condom machine right there on the wall. <laughs> Incense. <laughs> you know, even better, Tom, one of those little uh, machines that dispenses cologne. <laughs> no, no. One of them is uh, condoms. The next yeah. is French ticklers. Oh, yeah. Something that looks like a cat toy. Oh, you know? right. And then... <laughs> yeah. I think we've done all the damage we can do. Oh, no, no. We and then, oh, I know. Start it. And then, uh, then a little the little button you walk over, uh, press it, and you hear your chick going, are you ready? To- are you ready? <laughs> yeah. And then, the, then the disco music starts. Uh, oh, yeah. Techno action. Uh, 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 Christy. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Actually, it's chicks. Hi, this is comedian Sean Mori, and you're... <laughs> Welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Joining us on Friday, I understand, Willie Griswold. That will be exciting. Josh will be away for, what did you say, a week, week and a half? Job hunt. Month? Uh, job hunt? Yeah, probably. Gap year? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Turn that into. Oh, uh, I'll be gone Friday and Monday for a bass tournament. Oh, good Is luck. Right? Thank you. Yeah. That's oh, no, great. You, you read that wrong. It's a bass tournament. Oh, no. Oh, oh, boom, 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 boom. Annual boom. Barry Oakley bass tournament. They need to buy that boat. Barry Oakley. He can't help himself. Oh, one of the greatest, uh, the Allman Brothers. Son of a bitch. Oh, there we go. There's something beautiful on the screen. It's Allie Breen. Hi, guys. Hi, Allie. Um, Hello. Uh, Allie, uh, we're getting a lot of mail. After uh, <laughs> after your agent, Josh Arnold, uh, suggested you join the... Uh, I don't think... I think Josh is out. The, uh, He's been... Uh, oh, really? I don't want to speak on your behalf, but it seems like you've been uh, disrespected at the very oh. least. I uh, <laughs> I have been uh, uh, discharged, yes, uh, because yes. I suggested that Allie do certain things that she's unwilling to do, <laughs> like make love to me on OnlyFans. <laughs> Seems a little. Uh, I, I did consider it. I don't think anyone Decided. wants to know. see that. Uh, uh, Allie is now um, uh, on OnlyFans. And, yeah, uh, people saw a lot more of me this week than ever before. Okay, well, um, so so far so good. Yeah, it's pretty fun. I mean, you basically you do what you're comfortable with. So, I mean, for me, it's a couple donkeys and an eggplant, and uh, <laughs> yeah. you know, okay, good. Just put it out there. Uh, and you're having fun. People are being nice. People are really nice, and it's funny. You get all kinds of suggestions, obviously, which I've been telling people I'm keeping it very, you know, I'm just having fun. Like, I'm trying to kind of recreate movie mode or, like, having... I'm keeping it very Playboy, definitely not going penthouse. But then other people, even with, like, the kind of stuff that I think I put up that's tame, they're like, whoa, whoa, Allison, you're putting it out there. Like, <laughs> so, oh. <laughs> I have, like, parental figures on there that are like, oh, my God. And then uh, people who are asking for crazy stuff. So it's very interesting. Here's the best way to find her. It's OnlyFans.com slash A-L-L-I-B. So if you go to OnlyFans and you just try to search her, it's Mm -hmm. not very friendly. It's not very searcher friendly. So do it that way. Type in OnlyFans.com slash Allie B. A-L-L-I-B? Yes. Okay. That's the best way to do it. A lot of uh, suggestions regarding the show. They're like, you should read the not safe for work letters. On there. The oh, that's swamp. a funny idea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's yep. actually, that, is, that is a funny idea. Um, and the, l- l- that's the point of this show is, is is the letters. We try to help people with their love troubles. And you can reach Allie at A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N in uh, the world of uh, of the social internet media. to find her on social media to send us a letter. What have we got, Allie? Dear Allie, I am a happily married woman, and I recently found out that my friend's husband has feelings for me. I told him I'm sorry he feels that way, and we can only be friends because I'm also happily married. But should I tell my friend and risk losing her friendship, or should I not tell her and hope she doesn't find out? Oh, you don't say anything, right? Yeah. You act like this never happened. No, keep your mouth shut. Yeah. That's not Yeah, just let that go. Yeah, no. You know, there's such a thing as the lie of omission. Yes. It's the same as lying. Uh, well, I mean, uh, why would you bring look it, it up? Look it up. It's in the Bible, heathens. <laughs> oh, really? I, that's, I saw it on Ten Commandments. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can just make, well, I thought he was joking. I didn't think he was serious. Come on. We're both happily married. Let's move on. It never happened. Oh, yeah. That's what guys usually tend to do if they put it out there. I feel like, like I was kidding. Right. What? Are I'm you just... into it, though? If you're into it. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah, no, nothing good will come of this. Just nope. Shut up and nope. move on. Nope. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, the next thing you know, you're going to be getting photographs and 
You go up to her, hey, you recognize this? <laughs> <laughs> and when the tables are turned, it happens to you. You can throw it right in her face. So it would be great. Yeah, That's a good idea. It's a healthy okay, relationship. Okay, okay, yeah, that's a good idea. Uh, let's move on, Ellie. What Real else you got? Good. Dear Allie, I started dating the hottest, most fun guy I've ever dated, but he definitely has arrested development. Like when we go to the movies, he brings Fireball that we can pregame with in the parking lot. <laughs> We are in our 40s, and I'm having fun. All right, but how, how you I doing? I'm, I'm, I'm Tony Douche. Wait a minute. How's it going? He's just being thrifty. Oh, What's thrifty. going on, man? I'm uh, like, you're this to be a more serious relationship. I don't know that that's what that guy is. Yeah. If he's 40 and he's, he's fireballing, it's not going to go away. For the movies. Wait yeah. till he gets out of the rehab for the third time, yeah. and then see, yeah. what, see how he is. You have to do fireball shots before a movie. God, I, have fun, enjoy the hotness, as you say, and, yeah. uh, and, and then, take it but for don't, do not is. take this too seriously. No. And then look up on your iPhone how to block contacts. And you'll be <laughs> hey, hey, Ace, I heard you say something. What was that? He's just being thrifty. Just being thrifty. thrifty. It's real chip. Yes, yes. The, fi the fireball you bring yourself is much cheaper than the movie theater's fireball. Yeah. They have a movie theater fireball. Yeah. yeah. They well, do? Yeah. What? You some. can drink in some movie yeah. theater. Well, yes, but I don't know that they have fireballs. That That's ridiculous. <laughs> Wear your fanny right. pack. Put some if you in. can't go to a movie without getting loaded, <laughs> <laughs> what's wrong with you? I guess if you can drink in a movie theater, I guess it is okay then. It's not uh, so bad. Uh, no. I, I think it, 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 she's just not. saying for a 40-year-old guy, You're he's acting like You're not drinking in a car and yeah, in a exactly. parking lot. What about sex? Yeah, right. Also, you That's would think maybe good. bring some yeah. wine. Always into good. The theater, exactly. But... They have wine and beer and some cocktails that you're not. Be a little classier. Maybe some mozzarella sticks. Yeah, maybe the guy's great. You know. <laughs> maybe stick hand. a straw up your nose. You know. That's how. What's what girls like? A nice sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Cut the bottom out of your popcorn box. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Do a Put your bump wang up in there. Night. Hey, you know the Pull best. The best corns at the bottom. Oh yeah. Uh, Dick uh, Salty, uh, how are you? I love it. Uh, uh, once again, our guest is Allie Breen, A-L-L-I-B-R-E-E-N. You'll find her on social media. You can send us your love troubles, or you can find her on OnlyFans at A-L-L-I-B. Right, John? Should That's correct. Okay, Nailed okay. it. And right. by the way, when you talk to her on OnlyFans, there were some questions. You're not talking to me. I'm not doing. I'm not. <laughs> I'm, I'm not you. doing her <laughs> messages. No, no you've been. You've been, been employed, Josh, you were dismissed. You were fired. <laughs> you were, uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. No, you are. You're talking to Allie. We so. should do a week where you take over. You know how they do those takeovers on Twitter? <laughs> One oh, week where. Post amazing. pictures of Josh in a bikini. Yeah. Well, yeah, I apologize. Yes, that's you've, fantastic. You've lost all your subscribers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I think yeah. Josh should do it, by the way. I get a lot of letters where there's crushes on people, and Josh is a big one. So oh, well, that's I think nice, he's being. Yeah, well, yeah, you should do very could, well. No, yeah, put could, your money where your mouth is. Could you Why do, don't you could do Josh it? do a guest <laughs> spot with you? Where the two I of your, think he has to do like a split screen a big, thing. Maybe they have to, I have not. Would that work? Could you no, I, according to OnlyFans rules, I would have to be a content creator, and I'd have to give my. Uh, well, it's holding you back. All what, that, leaving money on the yeah. table, Josh. Exactly. <laughs> That's what you say. Hey, look, if I thought there were, I, I need enough people to tell me, yeah, you, you'll make money on there. You would. Oh, make I think money. that'll happen. It seems like. Fun. Yep. Well, we'll find out. Okay. What kind of a world do we? Live? <laughs> So fast. It's really a cesspool. Yeah, yeah. Really dear Josh, please spread eagle. <laughs> Sign, <laughs> Signed, Good. Luther. Good, great. Here you go, twenty-five bucks, Luther. Oh. Okay. Uh, yep. Okay, Allie. Uh, next letter, please. Dear Allie, me and my wife have been in therapy because I get very jealous, and I would accuse her of cheating. It's been a few years and things have actually gotten really great until last week when I found out that the cheating I originally accused her of doing years ago, she actually did. So not only did she cheat on me, but she acted like I was crazy and that we worked on my jealousy and my trust like it was my fault. I'm so mad. She uh, says, let's leave the past in the past, but what should I do? Oh, oh you're done. Wow, that that's sucks. tough. That's the definition of gaslighting. But yeah, yeah you, should, yep. I, I, you should bail. Yeah. You're not going to, you guys can't get past that. No. It, Sadly. Usually when someone cheats, they will accuse the other person of being crazy. As soon as they drop yeah. that C word, it's like, okay, and go with your gut. Mm. That sucks. Like, well, he doesn't even need yeah. to go with his gut. He said he found yeah. proof, so... Bummer. Man, what a um. waste of time in therapy. Well, no, don't look at it that way. <laughs> well, like, she's over there talking her talk, and, yeah, he's actually... But she may all, he may also be a jealous person, so, uh, you know... Right, well, maybe so. he... It sounds like he had, he had reason, reason to be jealous. Yeah. But maybe he's also unreasonably jealous. Okay. It's but both. 
Well, then I like her response. Like at this point, oh, let's just leave the past in the past. Yeah. <laughs> it's easy for her to well, say. Well, then he can sleep wow. with someone today, and then they can fight about it next week, and he can just leave it in the past, and they can move forward. Right? Does that count? Yeah. Mm, that's not gonna. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Yeah, you gotta break up. So far, uh, we're not helping anybody today. I'm sorry. What, what else Wait. have we got, Allie? Dear Allie, I've been with my girlfriend for three years and she still makes me wear condoms. She is 39 and I'm 44. Will you guys please tell her this is insane and I've obviously mastered the pullout method just fine at this point. Oh, oh. Have um, you? Oh, wait a minute. Hang on a second. I've, uh, dear I idiot. <laughs> wait a minute, I'm sorry. I worded it wrong. Dear dad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on this guy's side. Yeah. It's been proven that condoms are only like 19% effective. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and if, you, and if you're a, a detail-oriented, you can keep track of the days, and you know. For sure. The rhythm method. Yeah, they call people yeah. who use the rhythm method sure, parents. Yeah. Rhythm parents method. And Have you considered Catholic? that yes. maybe she's having you wear a condom because of something she has? Oh, oh, my gosh. Ooh. She's been hiding it for years. You might want to give that oh thing a look-see. She's, <laughs> she's riddled with gonorrhea. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. I got to get a miner's helmet and a couple of Q-tips. <laughs> Head down there. No, I... Uh, it's yeah. It's yeah. not supposed to look like lasagna. Oh, right? man. Yeah. Yeah, it's steak. I'm supposed to. Oh, you know what, though? You the pulling out method totally works. I think it works just fine. It does not work. It works until it doesn't. It does not <laughs> yeah. work. There's a little bit of also, leakage before you all know that, right? <laughs> but they're on the older side, too. In your 20s, I'd say you have to be a lot more careful than in your 30s and 40s. Uh, so. Well, you're, you, you I, are right. I mean, the percentages go way down. Right, but I had my yeah. kids at 38 and 42. Sure. So, yeah, don't... <laughs> You gotta be Easil careful. Easily no help or anything. No. It just was. And Tom had a <laughs> child when he was 112. So <laughs> it varied. It, I mean, it was in my 60s. I forget what it was. You gotta make that deposit downtown, fellas. Oh, man. <laughs> Attaboy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you really hate it so much, talk to her about it. But Tell her she'll like it more without the condom. My no. God. Boy, Think oh, about boy. what she wants. Mm. What Wouldn't fraternity are you in? <laughs> You'll like it better if I don't wear one. <laughs> yeah, make it's sure. like showering with a ring. I, I, uh, I, can you blame me? I, I do have some serious news for this guy. This is important. It's drilling. Time. Pepsi, not Coke for the post coital douche. Uh, that is correct. Yeah, yes. that's, that's the Have one her that... hold a penny in her mouth. She'll never get pregnant. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. Is that what it is? Yeah. Okay. That was so this guy's crazy. an idiot. Okay. Uh, He's next. not an idiot. He just doesn't want to wear a He doesn't want to wear a Dear Allie. He hates robbers. Come on. Flirted with a cop to get out of a ticket, and it worked as he flirted back, and then he actually asked me out. Oh. I have a serious boyfriend, so do I explain what happened to him and just try to cancel the date or just go through with it and don't tell anyone? I don't I, know if I'd I get don't in know, trouble. Uh, I don't know enough about your present boyfriend. Is it uh, advantageous enough uh, as a cop? I mean, if the cop's a better boyfriend, uh, Dumpsville for uh, what's his name and go mm. with the cop, right? Yeah, the right cop on. can arrest them on some That's trumped up right. charge. Trump up a charge. Yeah, get rid of this yeah. guy. Lose him in the system. <laughs> yeah. That's what I do. Yeah, he's up in Sing Sing. Yeah. <laughs> you just, don't love him anyway. You were, you were flirting with just someone Just bang else. the cop and then move on. <laughs> Give it up for the boy in blue. And maybe he'll give you like a handicap plate, and a, I'm I'm allowed to go through ten red lights a year. Yes, <laughs> this is good for twenty miles an hour over any speed limit, including a school zone. You know, oh. I've been oh, trying to get those passes for years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> good God, we're if horrible she's, people. If, if she's even contemplating going out with him, then she obviously yeah. isn't that committed to her boyfriend. Yeah. She doesn't want to hurt the guy's yeah, feelings. She's, but. she's a people pleaser. She's like, I don't want to let the cop down. I don't want to let my boyfriend down. Like, found herself in a real predicament. Real yeah. pickle. She's a, mostly dick. Yep. Just her acting crazy around the cop. <laughs> Putting the dick in predicament. Does it really matter who this whore ends up with? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I mean, come on. Let's <laughs> all be honest. You guys okay. are terrible. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's the segment of this show. <laughs> Boyfriend, we need to name this, this terrible segment. We have time we for one more it. letter, Allie, please. Dear Allie, I have been with a woman for almost two months now who I met online. We have absolutely nothing in common from mu music to movies and just sit awkwardly in silence when riding a car when going somewhere. So, uh... I don't see it lasting in any way, but she's been buying me really expensive stuff. The first Wait a minute. Hang on. I think I fell in love. Dollars. Hang on. <laughs> I mentioned I wanted to start gaming as a throwaway comment, and she went out and bought me a new Xbox. How do I ride this out in a way that's not going to be an unethical? You don't. No. Silence in the car. 
she God, wants terrible. companionship and she's <laughs> getting it. Oh. I guess so. Uh, oh, it's almost awful. like he's taking advantage of the situation. Yeah, think? Don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that sounds uh, awful. Yeah, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. Uh, boy, if you can it's be bought, if you can stuff. be bought with a PlayStation, you may want to rethink yeah. your values. Uh, isn't, your, isn't your time and your soul worth more? Well, maybe he can loosen her up. No conversation, right? Like maybe he can break her. Are you insane? Yes. People don't change. They have nothing in common, though. That's it. Always works when you force it. Tell them that. Yeah. It is true. They could come around after sitting in a car with no talk for long enough. Something's got to break. Right. I don't think they like each other. No. It's weird. Are they at least having sex? She's probably telling her friends, "I gotta buy this damn guy an Xbox now." What the hell? How odd. She might be having a great time. Yeah, that's the thing. I think she that's might be. yeah, that's actually I think what's happening. Oh well, in that Aww. case, you're not hurting anybody. No, but I mean, that's true. You she can't does, tell if she, she's having she a doesn't... great time because she's an emotionless whore. Yeah, yeah. The, 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 this guy, <laughs> this guy, with money. He's, he's a miserable, but she's having a great time. Aww. You think so? She's apparently she's they're both quiet. In the... No, she's that's her that's her nature. But she's listening to him because doesn't. he's it. Gaming and uh, she came up. Yeah, with you guys are bringing a lot to this instead of what just what's in Try the this. Try this. The next time you're sitting in our silence, go. You know, don't you think it'd be good for our relationship if I got a girlfriend? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then see what she does. Maybe yeah. she'll buy you an yeah. escort. Buy me a girlfriend. Yeah. Why not? She starts yeah. paying for your whores. Yeah. 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 Then it's, then then never then leave. it's a win-win-win. Yeah. Yeah. Well, so this little mousy girl, I never thought she'd bring up a three-way. Uh, Do you yeah. mind if I grab a strap on? Something's unhealthy. She though. might be a freak like that girl at band camp in that movie. Yeah. Oh, Never yeah. know. Man. The uh, hidden freak. Allison Hannigan. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you, Allie. Once again, you can find Allie on OnlyFans, A-L-L-I-B. Or you can find her social media, Allie Breen, B-R-E-E-N for Ms. Breen. And are yeah. you on stage this week, Allie? Yep. I'm going to be at um, Sheba Mason Speakeasy on Friday and at Eastville in Brooklyn on Saturday. Oh, cool. All right. We'll go see Allie do some great stand-up. Thanks, Allie. Good luck Perfect. this Thanks, week. Guys. Let us know how it goes. Thank you. Uh, that sounds like fun. Right now, the Bob and Tom Show is sponsored by BetterHelp. BetterHelp is a, a better way to access therapy for yourself. Find your sweet spot in your social life and uh, in your life in general. Recharge your batteries through therapy. And BetterHelp is a, uh, a better way to access therapy. It's a lot easier because the whole thing is done online, including your sort of initiation. What I'm talking about is you fill out a questionnaire and you will be uh, matched with a licensed therapist, one of some 35,000 participating therapists, and you can switch therapists anytime, no additional charge. And the way it works is the therapy itself is done online uh, via whatever, phone call, or uh, uh, you can have the camera on like a FaceTime or a, a Zoom call, or you can even text back and forth. It's about what works for you. It's also about convenience at a time that is convenient for you. You don't have to cross town in your car to go see a therapist. You can do the whole thing right there online with that phone that you're carrying around in the privacy of wherever you are. So find out more about what I'm talking about by going to betterhelp.com slash BT show. That slash BT show part will knock 10% off the fee for the first month. That's betterhelp.com slash BT show. Betterhelp, H-E-L-P. Betterhelp.com slash BT show. Help yourself find your center and to help yourself recharge, as I said. Betterhelp.com slash BT show. Coming up, we're going to learn about important aspects of contemporary world and about history. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Add to or continue the conversation. some milkshake. She, Christy got the chocolate. I got the vanilla. Should we do that thing where we like do the like the flavor kiss? Like uh, we get like, like a mix? Oh, what do you mean? I thought you were going to do like that. Like we were married and do this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> mm. 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 I'm now going to sell this spoon on eBay <laughs> to the creepiest listener because this was in Christy's mouth. That is so. Creepy. Okay, so Josh, we're about to walk into the Midway at yes. the Indiana State Fair. And I know we should probably ride a ride together. I want to ride the Crazy Mouse. I want to ride the no. Log Flume. No. Uh, no. I what can't do, ride those. Why not? Are you afraid? Yeah. The only thing I like is the Ferris wheel. 
No, that's the only thing I'm terrified of. We're not no, riding we're the Ferris riding, wheel. We gotta ride the Ferris wheel. You're never gonna get me on that. <laughs> oh yeah. I, uh, oh my gosh. I, I genuinely do not like this. <laughs> oh my God! You hear it? Oh, we're Look stopped. We are stopped. <laughs> Look at this lovely view. We can see the Coliseum. Oh, uh, man. You can see the track where they, you know, have some racing. And I'm sure. You can see the Midway. What a beautiful I can see midway. downtown. You can see downtown. That's right. Oh, <laughs> I can't take it. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there might be one way to relax oh, a little bit. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I'm here to make you feel better. <laughs> I'm just grateful that you decided to ride this with me. I don't know, maybe we're stuck up here. We haven't seen the move That's for nice. a while. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, I hate the way it moves. I can't take it. <laughs> it's it I feel like we are going down. <laughs> we are swaying far too much. <laughs> we are not swaying, Josh. Ooh. We are not doing all right. Oh, we're done. Oh, oh damn it. Oh, man. Josh, I'm really sorry. I had no idea that that really would get to you like that. You know what I'll do? Since you did that for me, I'm going to ride one of your rides. Oh, you really like that, didn't I? Maybe I shouldn't do that. No, I don't really want I'm backtracking. No, I didn't mean that. I didn't mean see all of it. Oh, and, yeah. I, uh, and don't forget, you've got all these wonderful food vendors that we haven't even hit on. I mean, we only, what do we get? Pork chop? You know, I'm not too worried about that. I think yeah, I'm going to stick with, uh, oh, I'm going to okay. stick with uh, most of the, just the, we pretty much ate a lot. Yeah, I'm going to stick with uh, the things I can see. It's Josh Arnold from the Bob and Tom Show. Miss some of the show? Become a Bob and Tom VIP and subscribe to the audio and video podcasts. The Bob and Tom Show. On air, on app, and on demand.
don't know. The oh. funeral homes that have the Wait minivans that they... That's very funny. <laughs> oh, that's have you sad. Seen that? good. The minivans that home. they've put those, you know, the fancy scroll work thing they put oh, on the sides. Oh, God. Yes, I'm not making this up. And they're like the big town and country vans. Well, I didn't want to die before, but now I really don't want to. <laughs> it's really God, disturbing. I just had this discussion yesterday with one of my You're gonna sons. You're going to be dead, honey. You won't know. I know, but the whole minivan thing, I... The bumper stickers on that'll be horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. my orphan child is an honor student. <laughs> <laughs> Beautifully done. Uh -huh. Scott <laughs> Dunn, ladies well, and gentlemen. Jeff Rothband is our guest. Uh, Jeff is a fine, fine comedian. <laughs> I um, actually had to do that once. What? Be a pole bearer. And that, oh, my that's God. Heavy. Yes, that's heavy. That's a heavy job. Yeah. I actually had to go to a funeral, and I was asked to be a pole bearer, and I, uh, <laughs> always a pole bearer. <laughs> <laughs> Never the corpse. Never the corpse. <laughs> Good morning, sunshine. Bob and Tom. G. Hey, welcome back to the Bob and Tom Show. Wrapping her all up for another day at work. Yeah. You're tired, Tom, I can tell, but it's a good kind of tired. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that right? Oh, oh, boy, I could use a nap, but I'm working down some in the mines. Exciting stuff right here, right now, though. Very excited about this. Is oh, what right? do you got? Oh, can you give me the number of the day just off the top of your head? Yeah, sure. It's uh, uh -huh. 17 April... 2024. Oh, European spy. Yeah, don't ask him about mm -hmm. uh, yeah, uh, that. That way, Josh, you, you should know that. Yeah. It's very elegant. Save yourself a couple of commas. Jeez. Yeah, oh, yeah. Um, 1964. I'll talk to you, Walsey. Okay. What the Beatles do? No, many things in 64. It was a great uh, year for the Beatles. Yeah. Um, Is it Dave Clark 5? The famous World's Fair. Oh. Ah. Uh, in, uh, in New York? Yeah. A, a car debuted. I know. I didn't ask you. Oh, oh man. So uh, I, knew, I knew you'd know. Damn it, 64. 64. Uh, the Patterson Hammerbringer. <laughs> uh. Remember that? 64, World's Fair. One of the great cars. I really, it changed the world, I think. Oh. No kidding. Do you oh, know? Yeah. Is it a Camaro? Oh, no, you're close. Uh, Shelby? Uh, Mustang? Close. Ford you, I, Mustang. I, I, it was the Ford Mustang. That's okay. right. Oh, great. I had PT Cruiser. Ah. No. <laughs> no. No? No, that, they finally gave up on that. <laughs> Well, it had the turn radius of a school bus. <laughs> <laughs> it was such a small car. It was weird. It had a and um, with the yeah. chassis, I... uh, the Ford Mustang. Um, <laughs> interestingly enough, the uh, first. Did you ever call it a Stang? No. Mm. Hey, that's a nice Stang you're driving. No, no, but I did have a friend whose dad had a Corvair that they referred to as a Vare. Uh, I know. The way you call it's the that Corvette. Corvette, Corvette yeah. of course. Um, guys who drove Mustangs were the first to wear their sunglasses in the back of their neck. You know, oh, backwards. yeah? Yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, so okay. That's a, that's, a, that's a fact. Mustangs are cool. Yeah, oh, they're... they're you cool know, guys too. who wear uh, sunglasses on the back of their heads also uh, drink Fireball before movies. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. There's no doubt. Yeah. Absolutely. Did you have a tribal tattoo? Yeah. Yeah. What tribe were you in? Uh, uh, the douche. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's see. Apollo 13 returned to Earth on this date in 1970. Allegedly. Ooh, of course. Yeah. They just drove it over from uh, Boy, that was a Santa Monica. Scary where they were time. Filming. Great movie. <laughs> uh, let's see. Yeah, I uh, almost made it. Okay. Uh, Game of Thrones premiered on HBO in 2011. Mm. Mm. Okay. 2011? Yeah. Great series if you wow. haven't seen it. It's very good. Very uh, good. Now, uh, birthdays. Uh, okay, I'll, here's an easy one for you. Alzi. 1837. What distinguishing uh, facial feature did this man have? J.P. Morgan. Um, a big old stash. Was it a mustache? No. Was it Josh? Right. Uh, he had a dollar sign tattooed to his forehead. Uh, no. A uh, unibrow. Uh, gigantic nose. Nose. Looked like I a dog toy. I not know that. A dog toy. Yeah, Who all that money. J.P. Morgan looks hmm? like. What? What? <laughs> Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Oh, <laughs> well, now you do. You see an old rich guy with a... I remember J.P. Morgan on the Gong Show. Dog toy. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> was never, never yeah, funny. The, was yeah. Who was, was she? Not was, she was that just her job I, to be on the Gong I Show? I have no idea Famous where she came from. It was either the... Uh, yeah. uh, you could have J.P. Morgan on the show or you could build a suck and then you could yeah. tell... <laughs> yeah. She was 70s cute. 70s cute. You're out of your tree. Nice. Um, um, happy birthday, uh... This would be number 70 for Rowdy Roddy Piper. One of my all-time favorite entertainers. R.I.P. That's, that's a good name for a wrestler, but not, I don't know. I'm here like to chew bubble gum and good. kick ass, and I'm all out of <laughs> bubble gum. Um, they live. I mean, that is so scary. wouldn't be a good name for, like, a neurosurgeon. No. 
Row, the, the, the term rowdy, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, He's now, real rowdy. Followed by rowdy. Yeah, rowdy, rowdy Rex is going to pick your brain, literally. Tom's right about J.P. Morgan's nose. Yeah. yeah. He looks like Kevin That's... O'Leary with a mustache and a giant nose. So he yeah. did have a mustache. All right. Now, is I'm that, that. You're I was right. right. Is yeah. that gin blossoms? Is that what's going on? That well, or... it's hard to tell in black and white, but I think so because in early photos of him, his nose is just normal. So, yeah. so yeah. Um, here we go. You have a pencil? Yes. Yeah. Okay, write this name down. Uh, I'm Alsman again. I just want you to do this. All right. Um, <clears throat> S-E-A-N, mm -hmm. B-E-A-N. How do you pronounce that? Sean Bean. Ah, oh, darn it. I thought you were going to say scene bean. Oh. <laughs> well, she's not a also, moron. Also, he's from Game of Thrones. And, uh... I would have said scene bean. <laughs> that's, Lord, uh, that's Lord Stark, Tom. You know that. Got his head chopped off. You know yeah. all this. Of course, I have yeah. no idea. Any more spoiler alerts for the yeah, people? You know that. You know all that yeah, Game of Thrones. Monster. Who's yeah, Sean Bean? He's, he's a British actor. Uh, actor. Actor that dies in every movie he's ever been in, pretty much. I don't know. Good by, by definition, he's in every movie he's ever been in. Well, It'd be weird to not be in the movie that you're in. But then he dies. Uh, okay. Okay, good. Uh, the fine filmmaker Adam McKay. That's enough. Okay. okay. <laughs> Jennifer Garner. I found an eagle feather this morning. Uh, evidently, federal authorities are in the parking lot right now yeah, waiting wait. for me. Oh, wow. Which Sorry. is uh, clearly a goose feather. Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm an ornithologist. Uh, Tom purchased Febreze for the building's <laughs> bathroom. Thank you, Tom. And wants you, to Tom. be hailed. So, linen scent, so yeah, not right. after an yeah. epic, Only because epic they uh, silhouette altering event in there. Truthful, truthful about like. it. Instead of linen scent, they couldn't call it whorehouse. <laughs> it's a so. very nice scent. Reminds me of uh, sheets hanging on a country line. Does it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Following a diarrhea festival. <laughs> Josh Dad, uses... do we have to go to the diarrhea festival this year? We hate it. We have free tickets. We're going. <laughs> I what, Chick? Please, more about me? Yes. Josh uses DuckDuckGo for searching. Well, I, I like my privacy and my uh, information to be uh, non-biased and real. He's believing the lie. They know everything he does. <laughs> yep. <laughs> There's no doubt. <laughs> Name, address, what the... Tattoo in his taint says. Uh, thank you very much. This is the Bob and Tom Show. Thanks for listening to the Bob and Tom Show this morning. Even though we're not too much to look at, you can also watch.